Cool. Yeah. But one uh, thing that is nice, um, I saw a lot of the online retailers, they, um, they're putting in the, uh, the orange plug. And I don't know like how seriously they're going to be glued in. But uh, this one did not come with an orange plug. Right on. Fine. And right. to start off the show with the Ready orange plug where it is in the barrel. <laughs> Welcome to Plastic <laughs> Fanatics, the late night after class. <laughs> Roast Victory Saber 77. What a great April Fool's there is today. I uh, got a good show for you. Sit back, relax. Got a shit ton of news to look at. So um, let's go through introductions and hauls. So, Mr. Brian Brink, how you doing? Hey, what's up, people? Happy Saturday. Hello, hello. Oh, yeah. We got a little over here on the East Coast. The spring, spring said not to show up today, but uh, you know, so uh, at least I get one more opportunity to wear my, my, my rock beanie. You know what I'm saying? There you go. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I didn't, uh, didn't really get anything, but I did find this thing that I picked up a few weeks ago that I forgot about. Oh, and, we're backtracking. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what this is. It's... Uh, it's the warriors of virtue. I don't know. Um, some some dude, uh, John L. in the ROC group posted something about it. And I decided to go on eBay. It was six bucks shipped. So I was like, all right, I'm in. And uh, so it's <laughs> it's Alicia. I have no idea. But it's a nice figure, to be honest. So Cool. Was that the movie a- where they were all like uh, kangaroos? Yeah. Yeah, they- it was. Oh, okay. So... I don't know what that's about, but uh, I hope to watch it someday. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but she's got right. like a she's got like a Game of Thrones kind of aesthetic to her, so I thought it looked cool. Cool. Uh, that works. So are you gonna jump down that line now? Like get no, off? no, no, no. Oh. Is that gonna be on the NJCC table? <laughs> Indeed. No, I, I doubt it would sell. <laughs> <laughs> Please buy this. Take it. <laughs> I'll give you money. Why is there a five on her? Oh, it's just take it and you get a five. Take it and I won't be looking. Um, <laughs> all right. Charles, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Uh, how was this week? Uh, uh, goose egg. Goose of the egg. All right. Cool. Yeah. When are you going to get them fan stories down, buds? Huh? Uh, Come on. I definitely plan on getting more of this. Don't know, not sure when right now. All right. Next week. Make it happen. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right. Chuck said he needs to get a bigger place. I was like, yeah. maybe he would have room for them if he didn't clear out FYE last week. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> 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 or you buy that <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Nice. yeah. All right. Moving down the line, uh, I guess Dust Point 2.0. We're having the house here because um, we usually have another dust. Um, but hey, what's up, man? That would be you, Rick. <laughs> oh, hello. All right, we'll move on then. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Uh, my, sorry, my audio was cutting in and out. Can you hear us now? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. All, All right. right. Introduce yourself and uh, what'd you get? Yourself and what'd you get <laughs> today? Can you hear us again? No. Oh, okay, you moving on. Megatron. <laughs> All right. Woo-hoo. Russ, what's up, man? How you doing? <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? You know, I got um, a pretty good week. We just got a, one thing in this week. I got a Figgy Arts uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Anna went ahead and ordered him. And okay. He is, that is yours or is that Anna's? Well, I, it, it's hers, but I'm, I'm stealing Oh, but you're, 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 you're laying <laughs> claim to someone I else's. Oh. I am, because this Damn. is my – I told her, I said, this is my favorite Star Wars character. You know this is going to be mine, buddy. I'm claiming him. He looks really cool too. I I, I like Vig Vig Arts is amazing. We are down that rabbit hole now. I know it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. It's, it's, it's on. So, but other than that, nothing else really. I've just been chilling out. It was a busy week. Yeah, time to look for anything. So, did you get the yeah. Black Series Obi Wan yet? Uh, I we have the we have the, the Black Series um old old man Obi Wan. Yeah. Um, from um, so you got that one too. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we got that from uh, NJCC when we went there. So. Uh, that was a, that was Anna found it and she's like, oh look Russ, what you been looking for? I'm like, yeah, yeah, thanks. <laughs> so, <laughs> nice, cool, all right. Moving on down to me, I got some really good stuff. Um, 
I got some Star Wars stuff. I found that Target exclusive. Got some three and three quarter inch uh, Black Series Walmart stuff because they're five bucks. I thought, what the hell? Turtle stuff. I got some Play Arts Kai uh, Metal Gear figures. I got my Holy Grail of all of the Play Arts Kai stuff. So I finally got the red Cyborg Ninja. So I can oh, finally awesome. have a gray fox with his uh, mask opened. And I also got a little bit of quiet from Metal Gear Solid 5. Nice. Oh, with squishy cool. boobs. <laughs> yeah. Squishy boobs. Yeah. Squishy right. boobs. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it would be nice if Player's Kai would continue the line somehow. I don't, I don't know what they're doing, but I, I still would love to go back to Metal Gear Solid, get a Sniper Wolf, maybe a Vulcan Raven, Psycho Mantis, all that type of stuff. That would be nice. But, um, yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen. All right. Um, moving on to our good little show. Um, I got to get it prepped. So Blast from the Past this week is a little bit different. It's not going to be your typical look at a toy series, um, all that type of stuff. It's not even going to incorporate looking at video games since my thumbnail was all about the arcade we're going to be doing a versus yeah. thing. So we'll get into it in a little bit. But I want to say congratulations to my Gonzaga Bulldogs for making it to the finals. Unbelievable, um, by the way. So Un- that was freaking believable. <laughs> that was nice. Hey, a win's a win, and I, I like it. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Good it's the first awesome. time in <laughs> ever. <laughs> so that's, yeah. that's really cool. Um, yeah. So let's see here. We got quite a few pictures to look at. Um, so should help anyone that needs to go to sleep. So, <laughs> pretty good. All right, here we go. Trent, it's about time. I am not going to screen share until. <laughs> What's up, Trent? What's up, Trent? Good night. How's it going, fellas? Good. Right. Man. Pretty damn good. What did you get? I didn't get anything Save the day. yet. All right. This is going to be probably a two-hour show, so you got time. So if you need to dip out for a little bit, go get yourself something. <laughs> All right, fine. Man. No, that's cool. Um, let me see. Where am I at here? Three screen share here to there. All right. Cool. So... Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Plastic finesse. Yes. yes. Little thing. Okay, good. All right. Yeah. All right, my little thumb. Affirmative. Thumbs. All right, so I got to do my plugs. We have a cool table network. Got a Facebook page. It is like minded podcasters to give you everything in your collecting needs. We have a show for you. Uh, we have Shattercast Uncut, Enter the Realm, which is on Monday nights. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Roma Collector's YouTube channel. We have Beers and Bulges 40K, Plastic Fanatics, which is what you're watching right now. Stasis Lock, which is on Wednesday night. Um, it's at an earlier time. I forgot to mention that last week. It's on at 7 p.m., I believe, Eastern Standard Time on Clutch's Bricks on the Dollar YouTube channel, all about Beast Wars. We have Nerd Rage Radio. We have Toy Detox, eight weeks. We also have the ROC Hangout with the Ambassador Tommy Barricade with his co-host, Hurricane BX and occasional Kid Matt. Occasionally Crab Legs. <laughs> kid Matt. I don't know. They keep getting longer and longer and longer, but you know what? It's all good. Uh, um, that is on at Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, on the Roma Collector's YouTube channel. And also, Dust is um, going to be doing another international hangout, which is going to be April 20th or something like that. It is in the Rama Collector's Facebook page. There is a post there if you're interested, you're from overseas and all that. Go um, like it, comment in there and everything, and it um, should be a lot of fun. And then on Wednesdays at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there is Figa Bang, hosted by Ace Milo and Mr. Brian Brink here, the analyzer. Hey. <laughs> there was a show last week, so there will be no show this week. And don't um, watch last week's show. Oh, come on. It wasn't Transformers <laughs> based, but jeez. <laughs> I think it was better than Loose Skin Batman. Oh, I guess so. But um, go check it out. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much. And I believe that's all the shows. Watch it if you have insomnia. 
want you to be able to solve, <laughs> solve your problems real quick. <laughs> Definitely go watch Shattered Cast this last um, week of Shattered Cast. Uh, really good. Uh, really, really good, actually. I really like that team. Team did a good job. I love SCU. Oh. All right, moving on. All right, so I have to plug in some stuff here. Uh, Sakura Con anniversary, 20th anniversary. This is a Seattle-based anime convention. It's happening April 14th to the 16th. And um, it's going to be a great show. Um, we have, or they have, I have nothing to do with it, but um, Vic Manoa is going to be there, if I pronounce his last name right. And Todd Habercorn. We got Caitlin Glass. We have uh, Chris Sabat. Um, Johnny Ambosh is going to be there. Oh, nice. and I'm sure I'm sure there's some others, but really good um, assortment of anime voice actors, and uh, looking forward to it. I've never met Caitlin Glass, Johnny Ambosh. He's been to uh, SakuraCon before, and um, Vic Manoa. I've always wanted to um, meet. Also, Todd Abercorn, I've seen and um, met Chris Sabat, also with uh, Sean Chamel two years ago, but or a year ago, maybe it was a year ago. But it should be good. It should be fun. All right. And I, I, I love these more than the Emerald City Comic Cons um, because the voice actors are more personable and you don't have to pay money most of the time. Oh, that's always nice. So, and they'll take the time and like, hey, let's go. We're like Funimation's debuting something. that So they'll be there and they'll be talking and all that happy worship. So. All right, moving on into some other news. We have Rogue One on Blu-ray DVD. Digital copy came out last Friday, but if you want a hard copy, it comes out this Tuesday. You know, yep. I saw the commercial for this, and I yeah. saw it. I found it very, very interesting that they were using John Williams' music in the background for the promo for it. Oh, they got. They got to sell it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't want to be like, yeah, it's a one and done. I don't need that in my collection. Well, I mean, considering he he didn't do the uh, he didn't That's do the right. score for the movie, I thought yeah. that was interesting. <laughs> but um, yeah, it, it's it's kind of odd. But he is yeah. coming back though, right? Oh yeah, he's doing yeah. the main the main yeah. saga. Yeah, it's kind of odd. Maybe the, he had no confidence. Not gonna put my name on that. No, well, I think they really are marketing this as a Star Wars story, right? Um, yeah, not not part, not of, part the of the trilogy. And what yep. he, he only signed a <laughs> trilogy or like continuation of the story type of main. Yep. I guess I don't know, but this comes out. This is the regular release box look, which you'll find at all retail outlets. And we have the Target exclusive, which we went over this like several shows ago. But I thought, why not? I will show it again so there you go this one you get interchangeable covers so if you don't like gin there you can have k2so and cassian all that i'd rather have had the death trooper by himself instead of with Kernick, but oh well can't really <laughs> and how many are you gonna have forrest whitaker <laughs> as their um their little cover i don't know save the dream <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only person in Star Wars that I care about with breathing problems is Darth Vader. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here is the Walmart exclusive, which is exactly kind of the same way um, the previous release, Force Awakens, where you had BB 8. It has the open up kind of flip cover, which is stupid in my opinion. Now the other one did come <laughs> with trading better. cards. I don't know if this one will come with trading cards either. Yeah. So let's all get our feet wet before we get burned <laughs> up. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> let's go wade into the water. Oh, Have you seen shallows? Um so yeah. yeah I don't know. And then here's some other just kind of pictures of artwork and other things. It is funny. Did they make a Force Awakens 3D version? I don't remember that. They did. Because um, I remember when I went to see it, maybe the fourth or fifth time, I could only get seats in the 3D theater, if I remember correctly. Oh, wait. Sorry. <laughs> did they, I, only, did they really... I only saw this one twice. Sorry, I was thinking Force Awakens. My bad. Okay. Well, no, no. Yeah. This It's 
I'm just wondering, did they release a Blu-ray 3D box set for uh, Force Awakens? Because uh, I don't remember that at all. I thought they were super. Oh no, yeah, they did. Excuse me, uh, they, they did it later on. Um, so here you get the 3D box set right away. You don't have to wait. I think it was a couple months after or something. You had to wait for Force Awakens, but it came with all the directors cut and all that type of stuff. You get a steel book at Best Buy with the 3D. Um, Blu-ray DVD set with extras, which is reminiscent to the overseas steelbook that we kind of looked at. And then if you really want to wait till the latter part of the month, you can get the Japanese release that comes with all the different pictures that you kind of got with the Target exclusive, and you also get a figure arts death trooper. Mm. <laughs> Hey, who's vacuuming? <laughs> <laughs> Got some going on. Yeah. Somebody's in a wind tunnel. Ugh. All right, moving on. Russ, stop vacuuming. <laughs> 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 so up next, we have some news. There is a Batgirl movie. Uh, Josh Whedon here is going to be writing it i believe directing a old nine yards i'm sure nerd ridge i've talked about this i haven't watched nerd ridge or listened to it yet so um but i saw this and but it's not going to be affiliated with the current dc movie lineup i believe um really? as far as what i read they they did say they'll have some gotham characters in there not i don't believe from the tv show gotham but you know you'll recognize some people so and I just put the killing joke down here just for shits and giggles. Uh, I doubt they're going <laughs> to put that in there. But you never know. Maybe it's a live action uh, Batgirl. <clears throat> little hump action? You think they would little, be Yeah, Batgirl <laughs> does Batman. I don't know. <laughs> little humping around. Yeah. Right? So, who knows? Got to get those R ratings in to compete with Deadpool. And Logan. And <laughs> <laughs> Poor Babs gets thrown under the bus. It's like, yeah, who can we use? Batgirl. Yeah, we'll use her. Harley's untouchable. Um, real quick, <laughs> hey, what's up, Dust? Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? What's up, man? Huh? Hell in. Go, go. Up. Nice. Carry on, carry on. Okay, sir. Oh, we're just carrying on to the <laughs> sea <of the> world. <laughs> All right. <laughs> cool. You made it just in time. Dust, you came at the perfect time, man. It's your favorite. You know, one of the show. I'm fine. <laughs> I, I keep it up with the Flash, man. I'm um, keep watching the Flash until that uh that episode oh. with Supergirl, and I just like I'm out. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, I like to spoil things on this <laughs> show about all the shows. So, um, uh, Victor's right here. Right uh, do you mind if I spoil? Oh, spoil away, my friend. All right. Uh, Supergirl, I don't really watch as much anymore. It's kind of just too much for me. Yeah, that's what he says. <laughs> yeah, I secretly got it. <laughs> You're a closet <laughs> Supergirl watcher, aren't you? Um, <laughs> I know the last episode was Kevin Smith's. Um, he directed that episode, and it was, um, Mon El and Supergirl and all this other stuff. Shout but, out to that dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When's he going to get on this show? No, I'm just kidding. Um, never throw up the invite. <laughs> but um, Flash, though, is good. I'm getting kind of tired of the whole, like, I'm trying to save you, Iris. I don't want you to die. More time traveling. <laughs> you don't need to. I know. That's the thing. It's like yeah. you fucked up so many times. Right. You're going to go do it again. <laughs> Diggs' baby turned from girl to boy. Or vice versa. I don't remember. And all this type of stuff. And then all of a sudden, he comes down. He's like, you know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to run to the future and find out what I need to do. Like, really? I was pretty happy this week at the end of the episode where something bad happened that wasn't Barry's fault. Yeah. Abracadabra was a pretty badass character. I don't remember him being that way in the comic. but I waited a long time to say this. Stop talking over me, Dust. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, I, I saw the last. I saw the last episode with that dude dancing around. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Killer, Fro- Killer Frost is now here and probably here to stay. Thank goodness. Um, I would have thought they would have just killed Caitlin, but no, they um, stinking ass. Um, Malfoy couldn't live without her, so um, that should come back to my ass. 
I see nips. Yeah, that was the thing I was talking about. That wasn't Barry's fault. Yeah. That's, so. that's what Cisco gets for stealing uh, her Jello. Jello. We don't raspberry. I don't like the lime. Um, yeah. And then Gypsy coming in and out and just, I don't know. Who knows? It's Flash is tolerable, but I know that we don't really care a lot about Arrow, but Arrow's getting a little better. I'm hoping we get more Talia al Ghul, but um, his little relationship with the Vratva or whatever is gone, tanked. Um, and he's in the woe is me, but it's coming back to take on Prometheus. So, yeehaw. We did get to see in DC Legends of Tomorrow the costume that I showcased last week of uh, Felicity as Overwatch. It was kind of, yeah. She just looks <laughs> like, it just looks like a freaking purple hood, I guess you could call her, you know, whatever. So, didn't really pan out to anything. And then DC Legends of Tomorrow is getting kind of tiresome with the whole crap. I mean, they destroyed the staff and now, I don't know, Vixen's dead. Uh, Mick turned good and turned bad, or he doesn't give a shit, and it's just it's all over the place, and I don't know how they're going to solve it. So, I, so, I like how weird. really over-the-top campy the supervillains are. Oh, yeah. I did like the fact that we got to see the uh, Legion of Doom's little dome base being um, constructed. We yeah, see like that. a little blueprint there from the Super Friends. That was cool. Oh, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Nice. But other that's than nice. that, it was just like, oh, <clears throat> man, this is... Yeah, it's pretty tough to watch, man. Yeah. They're going back in time again, so a la Back to the Future. Um, so, But here's some news. Uh, Katie Cassidy, so that's Mary. Right. Saw them picks a couple weeks ago, but uh, no. All right, here comes the skills. Huh? <laughs> Wait, skills what? <laughs> Wait, what? What? You saw Pixar as a, a black canary again? Uh, no, we got to oh, see. Oh no, her she birthday. was a she was a little bit more than a canary. <laughs> yeah, she's was one of the exposed. <laughs> she was one of the. Got yes. her too. <laughs> <laughs> yep, she was. What do you live in a box, Trent Smith? <laughs> Dude, oh, I didn't right? know about her. <laughs> I didn't know about Katie Cassie. Yeah, seriously, I really don't mm. follow her. Like, yeah, so, man. Man. You don't need to follow her to see right. it. It's all over right the place. Man, <laughs> you can't get anywhere near Black Canary without like, Oh, what the hell? Trent's is gonna be like, hold on a minute, guys. <laughs> 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 No, no, no. I'm, I'm not going to right. no. make a pizza with Katie Cash. <laughs> Just mute your mic, please. Yo, it's, right. more than, it's, more than, it's more than fucking naked pics, man. Yeah. Uh, really? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, See, uh, now we got your attention. <laughs> now, now you got it here. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, she, uh, she's uh, doing uh, it. All right, hit me up, y'all. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> but coming back as the Jeez, oh. Graham. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Tim, that's fine. The Black Siren. So she's going to be coming back as that reoccurring character. Oh, she's coming. Oh, I'm back. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I couldn't tell from the picture there, but. <laughs> but yeah. All right. So I, moving I, on. I just wish she had the mask on for that one pick. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just me. With that said, you would think that there might be ramifications her coming back to the show and that leaked out and be like, yeah, I don't know if we want you back. Damn. You were wearing the costume. <laughs> what would you do it? Maybe that's why the new gal doesn't want to be called the Black Canary yet. Mm -mm. She says she hasn't earned it. Mm. And I don't want to go into detail with that. Okay, so moving on. Here's the next C-Dub property that they're doing. The uh, Black Lightning series. Love it. Um, I think it's going to be good, but it's C-Dub, so it's who knows? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I don't, have there been any updates on whether they're going to bring this into the, the Arrowverse? Because I think it films in Atlanta right now. I believe they're bringing it in. I mean, most of the – all that stuff is filmed in, what, Vancouver? Yeah, that, that, uh, they the Arrow. Come on. It's, it's, it's cheaper to film in Canada than it was in, in the U.S. So. Oh, yeah. Um, but I, I believe it, it's supposed to be in the same universe, universes. I'm not sure if it's the same Earth. It could be a Supergirl thing. Hmm. Okay. Um, 
you know, type of whatever. So I, I don't know. I don't know if they're ever going to do a crisis and merge all this <laughs> stuff together. But you know, it's, it's Black Lightning from Atlanta via the outer suburbs of Vancouver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, wait, didn't I just see that uh -huh. in Arrow and in Flash? And then, wait, that's the back lot for uh -huh. the Legends. Yeah. The I recognize that dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> the same alley that they keep going by. Yep. What's going on? <laughs> But it should be good. Hopefully, they can do quite a bit of special effects with him. I mean, since he is meta, that's not, you know, his powers are lightning and everything else. So we better hopefully see it. We'll see if it yeah. lasts. Yeah, I'm interested. But you know, Fox did have it and then decided no, we don't want it. And C Dub picked it up. So I'm glad about that. At least it it can work into the into the worlds somehow. So what's this guy's? Uh... What's his um, shtick? Super speed? Or is Lightning. it just electricity? Yeah. <laughs> it should be super yeah. speed with all the, everyone having the speed. Um, um, yeah. Everyone does have power. power. Um, black lightning. Lightning, yeah. Yeah, he's got lightning powers. He's got yeah, lightning. He's a Think of electro, powers. but good guy. Yeah, good guy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Pretty much. Yeah. Hey, Russ, what do you think of this guy's glasses? <laughs> If he was blind, Russ, how would you like him? <laughs> I, I would I would trip him up, man. I would trip him up. <laughs> Stop stealing my shtick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Russ Lightning. Going into <laughs> um, back to the Star Wars stuff real quickly. It's not too late, but you should be watching this show. But 20% off at Target. Uh, for your Star Wars um, plastic crack, if you want it. Um, so just putting that out there. I, you can get the little new ATACT driver for like 16 bucks instead of 20 So there's my my plug, my happy, happy time. All right. Okay, so here we go. We got Megatron coming out. I know that Rick has it here. And um, everyone else is like now getting it shipped and everything else. I'm going to wait for it to drop, and then I'll have my um, loot um, get sent to me. But I found it funny how it says MP36 Megatron, but it doesn't have a Takara box. It's a Hasbro box. I was mm. about to say the same thing. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Oh, it doesn't mean like it's going to be Toys R Us and all that, but it just it's kind of weird. It should be a Takara Tomy. Uh, we should get the Bloodhound uh, gang on this one. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So. I just thought that was interesting. What'd you say, Charles? I heard you screaming from the background. <laughs> no! You were far, far away. Uh, well, um, the, the box is on there. It says uh, HKG, though so that could be uh, like Hasbro Asia uh, boxes uh, shipping to Hong Kong. Could be. And it says made in Vietnam. Oh, great. Yeah, I know. That's... Yeah, most of the stuff is being made over there. Mm -hmm. That's Pink why I think I'm not saying qualities change because of they're in a different factory, but yeah, I don't know. Paint shipping. <laughs> yeah, I've heard about paint shipping, but there's the box right there. Really? It's a fairly decent sized box. Yeah, he looks paint. like he's grabbing you. Shout out to that box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Wait, there it yeah. is. There yeah, it is compared sure. to the MP10 box. Oh, mm. nice. So nice. it's the box is exactly the same size as uh, Soundwave. Cool. So the same nice. size as the Seekers, and I think even Ultra Magnus. G one Star Saber. Yeah, um, same, but, same size box as Ultra Magnus, but half, <laughs> half the size of the figure is Ultra Magnus. Yeah. <laughs> but what, double okay, let, price. Let's <laughs> let's let. Um, I know Russ, you 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 love pricing. Oh. Um, that's the name of the game, oh. but. Now, when this guy came out, MP10, Takara, he was $250 back in the day. The Takara version. The Takara version. That's the only the version we had. We didn't have the Hasbro yet. And everyone was clamoring like, oh, damn, but you get the trailer. You didn't get the trailer unless you get the MP04. You know? So that's we kind of justified the price hike for MP10, Takara. But now we, you know, we're, we're bitching and complaining about the price for Megatron. Obviously, that's import price, BBTS, all that stupid shit. But MP36 Megatron here is at what, 230 Yeah. 
do you get almost the same amount of accessories yes you get a big trailer with mp10 but does it does it do anything besides complete your alt mode it's the same thing with megatron you get the silencer in the stock does it really do anything to complete except the alt mode i think it's a justified price i'm i mean for me he's the victory reasoner 77 i am i'm trying to reach uh, <laughs> i am now i am we're gonna russ and i are gonna debate no, okay just, you um, you make really good points um <laughs> Just think about the amount of accessories you are getting. I don't throw out mm -hmm. the seeker shit because that's 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 horseshit. I will agree with that. At the one seventy nine dollars price point. But this, I mean, I don't know. You're you're getting quite a bit of stuff, just like you got with him. But I think you're getting a little bit more. I mean, you got a roller, you got spike, you got a matrix, and you got an energon X. Here you get a mace. You you don't get crimson unfortunately. You get two maces actually. Yes. And you yo, also yo, get yo 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 puff. <laughs> <laughs> um, you get faces, different facial expressions. You get battle damage. Um, I don't know. And we'll you got a it. fucking yeah. back that looks like it's fucking. Yeah, she. Th that that was gonna be my my, my retweet <laughs> to you. Is that uh, MP10 uh, is just a much better love figure. This fucking, like, I love this figure. I know, but that. are you gonna be displaying with its back? Oh, here we go. Don't do it, Gene. <laughs> Oh, are you, you did it. Oh, are, you, are you gonna have it just like okay? I want this. It's a you know this month, this quarter. I'm gonna be displaying all my toys with yes. their asses to me. Yes, every three so, months I turn them around. Turn them around so they can say a little turn. bit of Sir Mix a lot. Baby's got back. Well, every I'm, quarter we do a quarter turn. Quarter, quarter turn. There you go. And I'm spinning in my chair right now to show you. But I know you can't see. I'm spinning. I'm spinning. I'm spinning left. I'm spinning right. So is but, he, oh, um, so he's out now, huh? No, yeah. he's out. Oh man, oh, he's yeah. out. Okay. Like Russ with those glasses, he's out. Yeah, duh. <laughs> um, this is one of the things that you do get with him, which is pretty cool. Um, quite a bit of stuff. I don't know why that they put on the box here. You can have a gun face mode. I mean, hmm. thank you, Michael Bay. Well, yeah. Oh, I mean, or you, uh -huh. or you can say, "Fuck you, Michael Bay." I don't know. Did the G one do that? We didn't realize or something. Um, <laughs> G one toy. I think it was oh, in the episode. Know, I think it was the episode from, with Alpha Bravo. Was it the, or was that the Die Clone? What? Oh, I, I remember that shit. It was something that they designed, or I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna call senior moment. Um, so I'm just <laughs> but I, I do kind of remember that shit. Yeah, of something you could hook it on. Um, <laughs> the G1 had that mode because. Um, you probably more than often broke it, and you couldn't get it back into full robot mode, so they gave you a compromise. That's probably there you go. That was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, but God. you get a key to Vector Sigma. You get all that stuff in the plastic. You don't get the Rebel Tech guy, though. So. Hey, anybody with me that I, we wish that they would not put the fucking tape on these trays? Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with does you. Anybody, yeah. Does anybody feel that the tape is fucking annoying? Yeah, it yeah. is not just... Right. If the tray's oh, deep yeah. enough and it actually has like right, like right here, right here, that actually clips. Yeah, you divots. Pops you in. Divots. Yeah, yeah. You, shout out to divots. Yeah. You don't really need the tape. <laughs> he's, a, he's on my Instagram page. He's a friend of mine. <laughs> but here's the thing. Um, well, I guess as long as the box is taped, um, so you just you can distinguish whether it's mint yeah. steel box to mint in box, you know all that. Yeah, man, I got the flipper, man. So it fucking kills me. Kills me. <laughs> I tell you what, for you guys who get uh, Star Wars figure arts, they um they they have them. They're in there with friction. And when you try to pop those things up and open, all the hands fly everywhere. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, that's all figure arts. Stuff. Brian Briggs like wave yeah. your hands in the air. That's right. They're everywhere. <laughs> I gotta crawl that's on the floor like you don't looking care. for hands. It's like perfect. Looking for accessories that I don't even know are in the box. I'm like, I don't know. Did I get them all? I don't know. So. <laughs> The trays on Megatron are not. Uh, when I opened them up, parts did not go flying anywhere. It was a pretty smooth process. No. Awesome. That's good. Hey, Dust, yeah, you, might, you, have, might, you uh, might look out, Dust. Yours might be open ahead of time so they can put an orange <clears> cap on. <yeah. laughs> <laughs> which, which Dust are you talking about? No, the, Mom, uh, I'm going to have the orange cap. <laughs> Dust might, of see, course. See, you know, Brick, you, you <laughs> fuck shit up, Brick, you know? <laughs> I'm sitting here forgetting about the other guy. Now you got to remind me the other guy's here. We're gonna we're gonna have a dust off at the end of this fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> what up, dust? 
<laughs> so here's Russ's famous sign that he loves so much about the Megatron 2.0. Oh. Fucking Takara, I swear to God. Yeah, but you know what? All the other th third parties fuckers look bad from the back too. So. That's not well. No, one of them, the the, the Mitron. Yeah, Mitron swallow, looks like shit. swallow your poison. Yeah. Well, here's the yeah. thing. Not only How many of us wanted a 2.0? We we complain mm -hmm. like Transformer fans do. Sure. We got the Optimus Prime MP10. Oh man, now we need an M we need a 2.0. We need a 2.0. What are they ever gonna make it? Then we all hollered for, oh, Apollyon, yay, Apollyon, oh, it just it doesn't work. But now we finally get the 2.0, and we're all like, mm, this looks like yeah. Remember when we thought we'd never get one because <laughs> yeah, of the of safety laws? We yeah. never oh make a gun God, again. We'll never do a gun again. It's going to be a tank or some sort of artillery gun. or. But, uh, I mean, do people, now, it's gonna do be people a realize, though, like, this is a big friggin' deal. Like, yeah. They're finally making the leader of the Decepticons, you yeah. know what I mean? So. Let's move on. I don't know. I mean, the original Japanese one fired plastic bullets, and this one doesn't do that. So it's a real bummer. <laughs> it's a real bummer. True. But I think um, I could sacrifice uh, for that. <clears throat> uh, 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 I, for as many flaws as he has, he has a lot of pros. No, no, yes. that's true. That's true. I, yeah, I don't, I don't so, that. so it's kind of yeah. hard to. Uh, to make your decision on that sense, you know, I, he's very hard to photo uh, take a photo of. I yeah, see photos, he looks fucking incredible, and I see photos, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like that episode of Seinfeld with that chick, <laughs> that chick that he takes in the light. <laughs> that he takes in the, oh, you know, so yeah. And, and lately, there's a, been a lot of fucking figures that have been like this. So. Well, yeah, I mean, it's hard to get to find that good side, man. That's about it. You, know? you have yeah. option, which is nice, but you finally have an official option, which is even better. Yeah, so true. you don't yeah. have to love this, you don't yeah. have to like it, but you can't complain that you don't have an official no product. Mm -hmm. product. Yeah. So, yeah, man, man it's fucking right point. out your fucking TV, man. It looks good. I mean, yep. yeah, he's wearing high waters, but, you know, all my Solichigokins are all leg heavy. So I'm fine with a little torso. Yeah. And, and, like, like we've discussed, it's like from the the sunboat chart. It seems like it's taking from the the the, pit, uh, the cameras at the bottom up. Yep. And that's where yeah. this seems like these designers are going from from that one standalone arms down, you know, sunboat chart type look. Yeah, that's so, what you mentioned. I remember Brian about like they're all on the floor. Yep. Looking upward, <laughs> like let's yep. take a picture so it looks gigantic. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> and I always shot. and I always said that it was bad for them to do that. But it pays off. Look at this guy. Look at him right there. Look at that. Yeah. I like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I like the little helmet. And you also get to complete the gun opposed to MP5. So you can actually have the silencer in the stock. So that's uh -huh. cool. The man from Uncle. Yep. And you and know what? That, hand, that handle don't look too bad. Doesn't look too thick. Nope. Here he is compared to the MP5 and the original G1. Mm -hmm. in the middle. I still get an OG reissue just to have it, man. I now, the one it. thing that I know that we talked about before, and it's kind of a gripe, is it doesn't have that smooth type of barrel like you have with the original yeah. MP5 mm -hmm. or even for the mm -hmm. original. You've got all this paneling and stuff, so it breaks it up. But I don't know. I mean, how mm -hmm. many of you can have it in gun mode? Hashtag engineer. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, I'll tell, I would say this, James. People will—I think people will forgive that, depending on how cool the transformation is. Yeah, like if it's yeah, a really good yeah. transformation. Yeah. People will forgive yeah. that. I think. Yeah. You know, in the, on the ROC Facebook group, Chuck got this today, and uh, he posted a little video about how sturdy he was and how the joints yeah. were. He was shaking the shit out of it. Oh, cool! And, and it, was, it, it held up. Yeah. Well, here we go. We got. We got. Nemesis dust in the house. And <laughs> Nemesis <laughs> dust. <laughs> you can shake it, but we're not going to see it because I'm screaming. He's screen sharing, but we could see it here on the panel. So, yeah, oh, man. I can't see it. I'm shaking it like a Polaroid picture. Yeah, cool. there he goes. Right. Look at him. Um, the one thing that I don't like is the Feeling fact that thunder is uh, broken up from this gray piece. Yeah, I agree. Really nice, but uh, yeah. it, it's all good. 
I agree. I don't know how many people you're not going to see it in this mode anyway. So you know the power <laughs> lines kind of suck, but you know what? The engineering is incredible. So that's what I mean. I it's can't heavy. wait to see how it is in hand to transform. There it is. Well, speaking yeah. of in hand, there it is. Hey, look at that glove guy. I know. I don't know what this guy's doing. <laughs> I, I remember seeing these pictures. I remember seeing these pictures. Uh, Megatron alt mode with glove. <laughs> I, think that's what it, I think that's what it said. <laughs> doing a Seven Eleven near you. <laughs> I mean, look at that. He's dressed all in black, like he's ready to go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, give me uh, your clothes and your motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me if you want to live. It's a cartoon gun. What is he going to do? Rob a Quick Mart? Nice. He's going to rub a schoolyard. And then, uh, Give me all your candy. Get in my van. <laughs> um, there it is, how si the size of it. That's what the uh, 3A Optimus, movie Optimus. Interesting. Cool. Why does he have Batman cars pinned to the top of his... <laughs> Gets him in the mood to do a review. Like, I guess oh, so. Yeah. We like you, the Dark Knight mobile. And it's, yeah, it's a Batman in, uh, what was that? The Batman Forever Batmobile. Yeah. Jerk it's not the greatest one. Tumblr, I can easy pass, I guess, for you. But yeah, weird. All right, so <laughs> we're going to see a lot of pictures of Megatron. So this should um. So that's a great pose. Inspire you to go out yeah, there and buy one. Fucking nailed it right there. Yeah, he looks great right wow. there. That's awesome. Yeah. Shockwave's a little. I don't know for you guys, but a little too short. He should come up to the shoulder, I think. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Honestly, mm -hmm. really, I mean. I love I love my lavender wave, but yeah, <laughs> that's a cool pose until you start looking at it. Yeah, yeah, but I mean it's it's cool that you can get them into poses. Like it's that. definitely it, it's very poseable, but his body breaks. Kiss K I S S. Keep it simple, stupid. I mean, you know, it's... Mm, there it is, right there. That's yeah, not bad either. Right there, yeah. yeah. Exactly, Dad. It yep. does look good. I like this. This was funny. His face is off. Sound was holding it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a, that's a really good touch, man, from the animated movie when they broke it down in, in the grid yeah. form. That's really yep. cool. Yeah, yes. they, they did nice. some. They did some cool stuff, man. That they did not have to do. And that was a nice touch. Uh, well, Russ, maybe this will be under the Christmas tree for you this year. You never know, man. <laughs> you never know. Eggnog in hand. Like a wow. and gun bone in the other. Nah, nice. look, look how they had look laser, laser beaks beak. just chilling. That's yeah, nice. That yeah, is one, nice. Yeah, I, I these, think I'm more impressed yeah. on how laser beak is posed. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, no, no, no. I'm just saying, like, it really looks good, man. Like, menacing. Uh, like, he's looking like, yeah, I'm chilling, you know? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, uh, Rick, is the, uh, does yours have any tabs on his forearms to put laser beak on? That's one thing I've been <clears throat> forgetting to check in the pictures. I think it's I have a picture of that. Um, it's oh, okay. Not Rick. Oh, no, he's rolling uh, out. Well, Rick. my name's Patrick, so I guess you can call me Rick, too. Uh, um, nemesis, but, um, nemesis dude, Dust. He's got a he's a man of many names. Darth Dust. Oh, like that right there. Well, oh. Hey. But um no, there aren't any any tabs that I can see that would uh fit laser beak like on Soundwave. Shout, exactly. <laughs> Shout out to Apollyon. Shout out to Well, Apollyon. I'm a big yeah. now. I'm just going to keep my Apollyon. Yeah, picture, I think he's just busted in there. Yeah. <laughs> there is next MP10. I like how he's a tad bit taller. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yo, just was killing him on that foot, man. <laughs> just was like, what's up with that foot? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, ben, ben's a little funny, though. Yeah, well, he that just foot looks like a freaking jack. No, yeah. the other foot. Oh, that one? He's the Wait, he's, <laughs> that one. Yes, <laughs> that one. <laughs> All right. He, you know, he, he was excited. Well, he had the up. figure. Yeah. He had the figure. He posed it. He put up there. He forgot to like, take yeah. the foot to a notch. Or you know? maybe he had the hand on the hip and he was doing yeah. some other stuff. He dipped. Pose. He dipped. I forgot. I just, when you see him next to Prime, you really see the proportions problem on Megatron. He's <laughs> long ass legs. Waist oh, is up. Here up we go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever like? <laughs> Did you ever like? But he kind of—I guess he kind of was like that in the G1, though, wasn't he? He was sort of crotch high, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Can we go. all just get along? 
<laughs> Let me get you on a primer getting along, Russ. Hey, we? listen, listen, Dust. I've been crying. Okay. <laughs> prime, <laughs> let me touch your hand. Shake my hand, Prime, now. <laughs> it's like, over. Why are you prime. tickling my inner palm of my hand? <laughs> so, uh, here hey. is Make Toys. Football yes. player versus slim, real yeah. deal basketball player, player. Make, or make soccer choice. player. Look at the soccer size player. of them or, heads. Or Holy just basically G, or a basic G1 too inaccurate fucking toy. Nah, he'd be a swimmer, yeah. I think, with those trunks. Could be a swimmer. <laughs> Shout out to the I think he'd be a runner. <laughs> the fucking make toys looks like Megatron wow. beefed up. He's been working out. Yeah, yeah now you look yeah. at yeah. You know what? You know, everybody <laughs> can say, like, you know what, Dust? You're not crazy. Nah, you, you are not. You're really right. Uh, Fuck you! Yeah. Looks like freaking Brock Lesnar compared. Yeah, <laughs> it is getting five your ass. <laughs> Everybody said, "Oh yeah, that's great." No, no, it's not yeah, great. Yeah, Dust kept saying, "I remember you saying that, Dust." I do remember you saying it's a little too bulky. You know yeah, what? You know what we need? We need someone to take all the oh. versions right here. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Dan. Go. And just <laughs> exactly. push them all together, <laughs> and Frankenstein a fucking good one because every one of these fucking figures. Has something good about it. About them. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Nobody can fucking nail it. Nobody. Uh -huh. didn't nail it. Nobody nailed it. Put them all together because there's something good about each one. Yeah, well, that's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. now, these aren't complete because they don't have the orange plug. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, I think, it's, I think the orange fucking plastic was used yeah. on Russ's glasses last year. <laughs> look, at, look at that Apollyon. It looks like they couldn't get the plug out, so they painted it silver. They painted yeah. it. <laughs> That's sad. Yes. Oh my gosh! Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Great. So hot water. Get and I'm shouting out Apollyon. Someone <laughs> needs some forearm muscle. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Look at everything. There's something about each one, if they just put it together. And I don't know if anybody's going to be able to do it, man. But oh, I yeah. think this one, R the, the official looks and gives you the best out of all. If the price was lower, we wouldn't be bitching. I think as no. much as we are. If this was if this was a hundred dollars, everybody would be like skeet 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 skeet. But but Jane, oh. that's why I think we are bitching about the price is because of the all the rest of them are priced a lot lower than a this lot one lower. And sure, and sure. they're just as good and probably might be better quality. I don't know. I, I haven't got the true, out the, but. You know, I mean, there's that issue, and I think that's why people are freaking out about it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's. But again, the price I believe is justified if you compare it to what we got with MP10 back in the original release. Yeah. Not, not now, where it's been re-released three times. Right. And then we also got the Hasbro and Hasbro Asia, which is the same as the TRU and all that type of stuff. Mm. Um, I think there is some justification with it. Um, yeah. And that's it. And, and, and once it's said and done, you're you got Megatron. I mean. Yeah, you got four to choose from. Hey, yeah, the price is too high for KO. It's all good. Hey, but oh, you got this one though. There's, there's oh, five. Oh yeah, that's my. <laughs> you got wow. Oh, so don't God. forget this bad boy. Damn. He bold, wants to be bold part boy? of the, the bold, bold boy. boy. <laughs> oh. This is um. Gosh. Shout out to Bram. I think this is his Megatron. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the one he's been talking up. <laughs> the gun mode yeah. does um. Scare me a little bit as far as how realistic it looks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Other than that, um, mm. it, yeah, uh, no, yeah, no. Um, yeah, man. Just well, think, good. just think. But if that's what you that. like, cool, go for it. <laughs> well, you know what? If you know anything, I think it's a one-man operation over there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Chug, I do get props chugging on. along, man, and just leash your dream. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it just seems to you, you got to be quicker. Um, and I know you don't have inside information on that, but it, it just, you know, it is, it's a, one of those worlds that you're going to get critiqued on because, hey, you're in the Transformers. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I just sent Trent those pictures, so he's going to release his dream soon. Ooh. Oh, right. Trent. <laughs> Look at no, I really Canary cry. Me. Here I come. <laughs> Trent's is like, nah, man, been there, done that. <laughs> you guys talking about Megatron, and I just fucking, yeah. <laughs> you don't mind if I smoke your vape on the show, do you? Vape it out, buddy. But um, okay. Moving on to fans' toys. This just dropped for all of you that wanted the 
Diclone G2 or the comic book accurate grinder, aka Grimlock, uh, you are going to be able to get it for an extra, was it 15 bucks, I think? Nice. Yeah. 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 You get the right. Diclone, which is just a blue crotch. So there you go. A um, little bit of you know blue into the it's my life torso. Story. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there you go. Swords different. They all had silver in the Diclone. Yeah. At least the original. Old mode. Not gonna spend too much time on this. But um, there's the G2. It all blue, except for the crotch. Hey, real quick on G2, uh, G2. S Slag, Grimlock, were they the only ones with different colors? I can't remember. Snarl. Snarl. Is a yeah. Color too. Snarl was red. Yep. Slag was green. Grimlock was um, this. Mm -hmm. And then I believe there was um, like a turquoise. I thought there was a kind of a different color. Maybe that was like a harder. Wasn't a there also Canadian like an version. unreleased uh, G2 Grimlock that was like yellow or orangish? Something like that? I have no idea. There's a purple one too coming out. Oh, uh, you is you his name Barney? <laughs> you <love me. laughs> it can go with my little um, Lamb Before Time. Little. And you guys could rebuy all the heads for all these different versions. <laughs> yeah. So. Unless they're going to come, uh, they're not coming with the new Dino Head. I was going to say, unless they come with the new Dino Head, and then I see this. <laughs> no, they're yep, not. There you go. It's cool that you get this. I mean, I, I do like that, but um, I don't know. It's a lot of money to get a full yeah. set of each one. Hmm. And I have an, I I want to get into the Fan Stories Dinobots, but I I went off on another track and went Soul Chikokin. So I'll come back around to these guys, but. I'm glad that I now know that they have Diclone and all that. Here's the comic book version, so you get the kind oh, of bluish super, chrome look. Yeah, it's super clean, though, man. Look how clean that looks. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's, awesome. yeah. that's awesome, actually. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Shiny. They just need to re-release the stomp because that is sold out everywhere. Along I'm with Sword. <clears throat> I'm surprised they didn't give this one the really dark blue legs and head. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Typical with the comic version. Oh, and even the uh, finger, the hands. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Well, you got Rexmas Prime out there. Well, I think that blue is because of the comic shading. Usually, like a blue or a light blue on the black is kind of yeah. like a shading. You know? What I, mean? I, I hear you there. Yeah. That's gonna be bright on the yeah, show. You hear me? You hear me? You hear me? I hear holla, you. Holla, holla, but holla. it's not. But it's not comic. It's not comic yeah. accurate, dust. Holla 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 back, man. My comic cuddles are just not being satisfied. Comic cuddles. Comic cuddles. <laughs> awesome. You trying to my two tickles? <laughs> <laughs> it's a KO. Of it. Ryan, Ryan, I, I like that. Comic Ryan, cuddles. Ryan, I like that. I got the two tickles. You got the comic cuddles. What's wrong wow. with that, man? <laughs> I totally want a shirt. That's great. Oh, comic man. cuddles. That's cool. Comic cuddles or two tickles. How long did it take you to come up with that one? I don't, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> He's like, how many beers are here? Let's see, yeah. one, two. He's like, when's the last time I paid my mortgage? Uh, seven, eight, nine months ago. <laughs> well, uh, here they are. Uh, this is the the comic cuddle versions. So we have there. <laughs> yeah, scoring a grinder hand. Nice, no. Brian. Nice, nice, yeah. brother. I gotta tell you, man, that was good. Not bad. Look at them nice chrome blue teeth. That is cool. And tail. Like, hmm. He's like the little Wayne of fan stories. <laughs> <Yes>. uh. <laughs> they call like him. He just had a blueberry lollipop. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, and this dropped. We don't know if it's April Fools or it's true. We we know that fans always likes to do this type of stuff. But here is yeah. Skylinks. It's a silhouette. I'm assuming it's <laughs> yeah. Skylinks. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, no come on. Else. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, it's pretty obvious. Uh, yeah, a masterpiece, yeah, I, Skylinks. I as much as I would love it, I don't know, man. I don't know. No, like oh. if it's real or that you would want it. 
I don't know, really think it's real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, you can't trust anything today, you know? Yeah, that's true. Sure. <laughs> yeah. There were so many things I, I, I wanted mean, to do today, and I'm like, no, don't do it, Dust. Dude, how big would that thing be? It would be Is he going to walk? No, he I walks, don't. walks, walks, and he pecks, pecks, pecks. That would be the first <laughs> one that fan <laughs> has ever put electronics in, as far as a motorized. Yeah. Which would be hell of an expense. That would be the. That would be so stupid. Well, you know yeah. what? No, no other. I don't think no other uh, company did some fucking April fucking fool teasers. What about Mastermind Creations with their Tarn? Well, they that, don't know. That. Um, yeah, right. we're still. We don't know. Yeah. Uh, that looked pretty cool. Posted a picture of Optimus and Bumblebee holding hands. Hmm. Okay. I think I got one of those on my Instagram. <laughs> but um, this would be cool. This would actually make sense if they did the two part again, like they did with Omega Supreme. Yep. You get yep. the links. Yeah. You, get, you know, the bird. You know, whatever. Uh, I think that'd be cool. I I don't know how big. I don't know how much. I would assume probably maybe the same amount of money as Omega. I don't yeah, think they're going to try and go nice. more. Um. But yeah, that would be. Nice. Yeah, everybody. We all want the Skylinks, you know. Everybody's been saying that. Where's the masterpiece Skylinks? Well, yeah. Well, Machine Boy was supposed to do something a long time ago, but I don't know if that was masterpiece. They were going to do Omega. They were going to do Die Atlas. They're going to do mm. this. They're the ones doing that Astro Train, but then it got sold off to someone else or something. But, yeah, yeah. Um, the transformation for this will be right up Fansway's alley. It'll be simple. <laughs> Real yeah. Simple. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, here you go. <laughs> I got them. <laughs> Squeaky and simple. Oh, yeah. It's going to be squeaky in that neck joint. Keep, and the it, tail keep and it squeaky. <laughs> keep it squeaky, fuckers. <laughs> Trying to have it stand up and all of a sudden the joints get a little Oh, low. the legs. The legs on the fucking bottom mode. <laughs> it's all die cast. It's plastic on the bottom. <laughs> so, yeah. It's just going to be It's just gonna be their jet fire with Stomp's legs on it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the true oh, Phoenix Gerwalk mode. So, um. There you go. All right, here's um, KFC's Ditka, the mighty. The boxer bear. looks pretty damn sweet. I, I actually like it. Yes, it does. Yeah, it's out, man. That 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 bitch is ready to ship. Uh, out how many of you guys? These. How many guys want it? Get it. Okay. Cricket, cricket. Hey, you know what? I was, all, I was all about this guy until fans toys, man. I just want to just wait. I'm I'm being a smart. Yeah. Like they're nowadays. I'm not the old school dust. I buy everything, man. I'm just gonna wait it out. But it's but it's got a football. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, and it's got, got little noodle. things better than diamond rings. Football. It's got a stand. Mm -hmm. um, no, nah, it looks good, but yeah, I'm I'm in the same boat. I mean, dude, they're getting their mileage out of that stand. Yeah. Hey, there. hey. <laughs> Russ. Yes, sir. He's still standing. Better like he ever did. <laughs> like a <little> child. <laughs> like a little kid. Nice, nice pull. Cool. Right. Sorry. He's a southpaw. I like that. So that's cool. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, it looks good. I, I think each mode has their pros and cons. I think um, this is probably the weakest. But it was already weak to begin with, even from back in the G1 days, even to the yeah, it looks, cartoon. It, it looks very G1 accurate, man. It yeah, does. It does. Yep. yep. I'm not hating on it. You got the tank turret underneath, like old school. You got the little bombs that you could have on the sides and everything. That is such a small cockpit for a huge effing blade. Cock, cock, yeah. cock, cock, bit. Cock, 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 what is it? All right. Someone likes wow. that. Right? Mars, Mars <laughs> <laughs> Um, Back end is... Yeah, okay. What's the other one that's very really square that just came out? The other one. The, the G-Walt? Yeah, the, that one. G-Walt or G-Walt? Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot longer, too. Yeah. Here's the underside. Yeah. That's what she's like. <laughs> He's got oh, double turbos. Huh? That's yeah, that's pretty cool. Underneath the tank turn, you got some yeah. extra extra thrust yeah. action. That's interesting. Like the, like, like the missile action that's going on right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah there's like sixty of those fucking things. It's on a tree. 
Shout out to Trees. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> looks fantastic. Yeah, oh, boy. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Come boy. on down, Auto Brad. Brad. Fury, Fury, Fury. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. Yeah, yeah buddy. Get the Legends Cup. Uh, but if you ever won the Warm Pocket or whatever one that had made it, yeah, that would be a cool scene to do. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. But yeah, uh, Tank Treads, I don't think they move. Uh, yeah. It would have been nice if they That's did, like they did right. with. Um, I mean, Bandai did a great job with their Solo Chigokin, Gal Gygar, Drogal, plastic treads, but they actually move. It can be done. Back end, it's okay. You got some feet sticking out the ass. Mm -hmm. um, some thrusters, you know, for for yeah. propulsion. But it, it's good. Um, I do like the fact that the uh, the hatch, the two hatches up top, can actually open. I don't know if they can fit like the spike or Daniel or maybe your sun surge chip. Daniel's hips, in there. Dan Daniel's hips ain't fitting in there. Daniel! <laughs> <laughs> the birth and hips. But that is a nice little touch, man. Like yeah. That. Oh, this fucking thing. Oh, yeah. Cloud Nine Quake Blast. Or whatever right. they call it. Right. Um, Astro Magnum in the clear version of Shockwave. Black and gold. Gotta love those colors. Yeah. It does look nice. I mean, it does yes. look nice. Wow. <laughs> Pull up a stool. We milking this bitch. Damn right. <laughs> hey. And I know some people like this better than Quake Wave. Mm -hmm. This mold. You can check those guys out to the insane asylum down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Mark them. Here we come. <laughs> all right. So that's all the accessory pieces you get. You get a. You get a Megatron, which is exactly the same one you get with all the other official seekers and such, except it's missing the Decepticon symbol. I don't. I I must have a, a dozen of those things. Oh, I know. I got yeah. red. I got red. I think purple. I got the original color. Yeah, they are. They're all over the place. There's a clear version. There's some nice chrome feet. Yeah. Damn, that looks good too. <laughs> True. Mm. Who's into clear stuff? Is that uh, yeah, we're hey everybody. I like this one. I was gonna buy this. One. <laughs> <laughs> I just want a toy hunt with a giant. Chris Pinkerton's gonna pick this one off the shelf for me. Dude, his hunt video is awesome, but it was so weird. His camera <laughs> yes. perspective, I was it's so like... <laughs> super low, man. And I know he's keeping it like probably, he's probably like down by his chest. Yeah. But it's, it seems like it's like <laughs> la 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 la. Oh. Shout out to Deluxe. We, his, we um, love you, Deluxe, man. We love you, man. Go check him out. His YouTube channel, Deluxe Review, Hasbro Deluxe Review. Yeah, it's Hasbro Review, man. Yeah, Hasbro, yep. Yeah. Floor yeah, time, I, all that. I thought he was going to do a little bit more fucking skid action with Chris, man. Uh, I would have been fucking like, yo, Chris, you're going to go over here. I'm going to be over here. We're going to throw something across aisles, you know. I would have really been into that. Or like at least like film like them coming out like one at the end of an aisle he's coming around the other yeah, know, yeah, yeah. of the aisle and then they just have like a, like a Mexican standoff <laughs> and they charge each other and like I just want to see like <laughs> oh my god he just did the spear he did the spear <laughs> Chris goes down he lifts him up. <laughs> oh, oh my god it's the figure four he's putting the figure four on him it's all for like an RID toy <laughs> or yeah. yeah. Wow! They, they, they did. They did catch. A, they did catch some footage of like some some girl going to her mommy. I want it. I want it. Yeah, yeah that's funny. <clears throat> that's cool. All right, here's DNA Designs. Out? This is their bludgeon. <laughs> the um, like basically the Revenge of the Fallen tank bludgeon that we got back in the day, but now a third party is making it oh so better with their own mold. Hey man, I like my original with the head the head add on. Well, yeah, the head robots. Yeah. yeah, it looks great. This looks good, but I don't know. Does the plastic, just from the picture, look cheap to you? Chuggish? I can't believe they're still going with this. This is <laughs> like masterpiece size. They, 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 I think they released a video in the way they were showing how it transforms. And it, really? It, 
it it almost does transform like the original Revenge of the Fallen one. I'm sure it does. Oh man, that was if I remember correctly, that wasn't fun. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. <laughs> So, you know, I, was, I, was, I wasn't really big into this character, but like when I first got back into collecting, I went down that rabbit hole with all the comics and all the fiction. Yeah. When I got to that one point with the Dark Ages shit, I was just like, I need to have this. Yeah, oh, it's pretty cool. You know, pretty cool and, I bought, and I bought, and I bought the fig, and I bought the add-on, and uh, yep. You notice it wasn't on the NJCC table. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, that's one of the things I'm going to hold on to. That's cool. I didn't hold um, on to much, but be cool if they're doing a Thunderwing uh, to go with the comic book release. But here's all the um, accessory pieces you get: you get the the long katana, short sword, you get a different face, you get the turret, which turns into a storage unit for weapons and all that stuff, which we'll see here in a second. So right there, you can see where you can store the short sword and all That's that. Cool. I didn't know they would keep going on. With, I thought this was dead on the table. <laughs> holding his sword I don't know it, to me it just looks oh that's cool you can combine the guns into a nice little type of shotgun rifle type thing that's not bad but I don't know the plastic looks kind of odd to me for a masterpiece style I don't know I think a little bit of a shine a little or something or maybe a little more um like dirt rust effects weathering since he's a tank, he's, you know, badass. He's too clean. But there you go. There's tank mode. There it is com compared to the Combiner Wars Megatron. What? Damn. That Combiner Wars Megatron is big. Yeah, leader class. Holy shit. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this thing is so huge. Yeah, yeah, really. Holy cow. Wow. Skeet, skeet, skeet. <laughs> I want a shirt too that has skeet 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 on it also. It just has some yeah. bamboo yeah. in the back, just like just oh man, oh god. It's over there, it's on the left, it's on the right, a little skeet action. A little skeet. A little skeet. A little <laughs> little skeet. <laughs> you take a you Come take on, a collector and you just show him four screens of toys and one of them just or <laughs> little, no little four skeet. screens they're all like women except for the fourth one is a toy and the only one he's skeeting to is the toy. <laughs> <laughs> he's on oh. Little John's new label, Little Skeet. <laughs> little Skeet coming out with a new album. So there's the underside. It's uh, kind of interesting that the head like goes right into the chest. Yeah, it's still clean though. Yeah, it is. So yeah. they're like peeking out at you, like I see you. Do those treads uh, move or not? Probably. I think they do. It looks wow. Like that would be does. that. That's a plus. Yeah. Wow. Like getting them interlinked Kudos. with each other after you had it in robot mode might be yeah. cumbersome. Mm. But hopefully, um, Ace will get it, and we can have no figure banging. Oh yeah. no, they don't. They don't move, but um, they make Damn it look it. like it does. Yeah, oh, look at those yeah. ones in the back, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You see how it goes right uh, up. The, uh, yes, the dream is over. Maybe. Yeah, but it, but looks it does better, look it looks better looks than better. that Blitzwing that KFC did. They nailed the treads on this. You know? yeah. Yeah. Turn agree. moves yeah. side to side. All right, moving on. Yeah. Anyone want a hoist or a trail breaker? I do. Dude, so these are – this is tickling me for sure. Which which tickle? Dude, I love how they use trans translucent plastic for the blinkers. Like that kind of shit, I really like in the yeah. yeah, it's, modes. Yeah, that's that's real world shit right there. You, so know? The little, yeah, you know, a lot of people don't catch yeah. that. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. But what about the actual headlights? Are you disappointed? Yeah, on that? I am. Yeah. If you go this route, why can't you go? Yeah, the yeah. Why the rest of it? <laughs> go the distance. Go the distance. Yeah. <laughs> Fair point. This yeah. looks like a. If you look at this, I don't know if it's a reflection, but they look like characters from Cars the movie. You have like little eyes right here. I don't know. Did. Yeah. Did I see the mouth. I don't know. Now I can't unsee that now. Oh, I'm glad I ruined it. I'm glad I ruined it. <laughs> Get her done. Get her done. What's up, Lightning McQueen? Make some, better, make some better headlights. Get her done. <laughs> sure yeah, it's a shame that, you know, now I'm going to keep thinking about that. That they went the <laughs> distance on that, but they couldn't do yeah. the fucking headlights, really? Yeah. It's... Hey, Keith, eat a dick. 
Yeah, no, right. Are the plastic, are the tires plastic or are they, they probably not? They look plastic. They look plastic. But who knows? <laughs> uh, shut up the fucking mind. He's the plastic guy. Yeah. So they used <laughs> here how what how do you feel about this, Brian? <laughs> Is that painted? <laughs> it doesn't even look it looks <laughs> like it's fucking oh, nail polish. Fuck so I've only what? seen like two pictures of these, so yeah, I'm out. Fuck it. Look, look at the, the other <laughs> fucking the hoist over there. It's all fucking. You know, at least they that. paint on it on there. So, I mean, it could be a check shout shot. Out to, it could shout be, out to MP you know? Inferno. No, that's MP true. Inferno. <laughs> Does it have anything that you could put on the back end? No, I still like this. If the transformation is good, I don't know. I, I gotta be, tell you, I could be in on the hoist, like, you know, maybe. Like, you know, like everybody says, and we all we we all agree, they fucking nail it. The fucking aesthetic. Yeah. It's the engineering, and it's the fucking uh, the, pro, the the plastic and the fucking tools that they use. It's fucked. And I do like the fact that you can store the weapons underneath. So do cool. I. Yeah, it looks like a muff, m- muffler. There's uh, some of the accessories that you get with hoist, and then back here's with Trailbreaker. I like all these mm. too. So that's what you get with Trailbreaker. You get the little scene of him and uh, Spike Spark plugging him. That's <laughs> <laughs> funny. Oh my Someone, god, it's so funny. Someone's got the show on in the background. Nah, that's my son. That's my son. He's playing. He's down there. Um, he's playing video games right now. He's on live. Right. Kick, so it, kick him. In the, kick him in the neck. And <laughs> kick him in the shut the fuck up. <laughs> Can't be watching this show because it ain't that funny. Throw your glasses at him. So throw my glasses at him. <laughs> <laughs> throw that Obi one you got. Um, but no, um, that looks pretty good. Then there's what the storage looks like. Clean yeah. That's pretty cool, actually. Nice. I like that. Mushroom pig. I love yeah, mushroom pigs. Yeah, I know, man. <laughs> Fuck you, mushroom pigs. <laughs> but, all right. Um, some more. Hearst? Uh, insightly. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Little Hearst act. Uh, look at that. Yeah, I know. You can't see that. I know that. But, you know, it's yeah. got to. It's got to. Oh, man. I'm hoping that. I mean, did I, do they do shitty work with their paint normally, or is it just. Or they weren't thinking, you're not supposed to take a picture of the pack. I'm not feeling Yeah. <laughs> So, there it is with the um, arm accessory attachment. It is um, carrying the red Diclone Bumblebee. Hey, Cliff Jumper, what's up? <laughs> yeah, right. really the faux is. Cliff Jumper. Oh, Money, Ace's Toys. Or Ace Toys, whatever the heck that was. I do like the fact you get the alien mass. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Yeah. So, there you go. Mm-hmm. We're there. Oh, so it is for tracks. Uh, we suspected. <laughs> <laughs> should have came with a Secret fucking hammer. hammer. <laughs> the figure should have came with a hammer. So they didn't. They didn't make one for Bad Cube uh, Sun Surge. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, oh. I forgot he was in there. Um, so here you go. Here's a different variety, I guess you could have, or your yeah. masterpiece trail breaker. <laughs> Don't picture. forget Toy World. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm open for. That <laughs> grace is right there. The picture doesn't do it justice right there for X Frame World, huh? The last the last couple of pics we've seen looks really so much better than that. Yeah. Bad cube, yeah. man. It looks weird. Yeah. Um, MMC, why did you have to let us down? I kind of like Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. They let you down on quality, man. Yeah. That wasn't it's, that we, wasn't up to snuff. Really, what really surprising. Uh, they're doing work. I almost feel yeah. like I'm settling for fans' toys now. You know, <laughs> yeah. Ouch. the Pinkerton approach. What are you doing there, the buddy? Pinkerton approach. Yeah. Did you say you're settling for fans? Was how do you settle for fans' toys? <laughs> I think <laughs> it is. I know you're getting a better fucking product. Because yeah. they're the last. Because they're the last to come, and I really yeah, and wanted they're, one. They're, and I, my high, my hopes are so high for that Studio Ox one, man. It's really high. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah. Oh well. Cool. I was all about that so, bad cube until I saw the transformation. <laughs> I, was like, I remember I was watching like, you know that. what? Fuck it, I'm out. Dude, when that thing came out on Facebook, I was like, oh god, yeah. this is looks I was watching it on mute too. I was like, this just looks beautiful. Yeah. It's, it's like yeah. watching the fucking towers come down, man. <laughs> this this toys looks good except for the alt mode. That looks yeah. very so much like a hearse. Mites at yahoo.com. <laughs> All right, so here is the MP hoist. Brigade, got the cartoon. 
So for reference, you got Ocular Max, Backcube, and X-Trans bots. X-Trans looks good, but the uh, ankles are too wide. Or the calves, or whatever the fuck you want to call them. Got the, got the cankles. Cankles. But it looks it's, just, it's just like the, the show. Which is yeah, 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 yeah. Everything That's else cool. above, it looks yeah. great. So nobody, flip up the damn... Yeah, nobody, piece. nobody is close on it. Nobody. Look at Ox. No. Yeah, Ox is a green head, so they're going toy. No, it's not yeah. even about that. Look at the lower green section. Head. Look at the legs. True. Uh, yeah, that's too too long. Uh, Bad cube, too long. You want the tire on the outside, like the tune? Yeah. Like they have over here. Okay. Well, of course it is. God, that tune is. But so even Bad good. Cube is too too long. All right, this is one of those cases where I think the tune accurate. This he looks too piece. beefy. He looks too yeah. slender. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. A, it's, it's there ain't no satisfying y'all, is there? No, he's yeah. a sloppy uh, dumbass. Well, you know what? You know what, Trent? What, 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 which one do you like? Oh, uh, oh man. See. I'm not saying which one would you buy. Which one do you like the most? If you were going to buy it. But you probably uh, won't buy it. But. Honestly, and this is just me. because uh, Sure, sure, sure. Don't be afraid. Don't. don't Always come on, this is a safe zone. Here, this is a neck, safe but, Come on, uh, flap your wings. Swing. Ocular Max. Right. You're I off like the show. Feel. Get the hell out of here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're oh, dead to me, Trent. You're dead. If you want to come back in, shout out to Asian Kid Matt. He'll tell you how to come back in real <laughs> quick and fast. <laughs> no, that's cool. Create a whole new email no, I think, address. <laughs> I think the Ocular Max one looks probably the best one for myself. I like them. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, so like, there's no place to store those parts. Um, I like. I don't like the fact that the the nozzle hand or whatever, yeah, um, doesn't fold into the arm. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Like this does this goes in there? Uh, yeah. Okay. Because uh, after they did their their inferno and grapple, they incorporated it for that figure. I was I was kind of disappointed when they didn't do it for this one. Because it looks like the same people are designing it too. At least yeah. they're promoting yeah. it on Facebook that way. Hmm. Cool. All right. Speaking of Ocular Max, their their GoFund or support. I don't know why, but here's their um, Art Fire PS08 Kojin, their Perfection series. So I believe they're more than halfway done with um, having this go into production. But here's the tech cards. I don't know why you'd want this now that the official's been announced, but I guess if you don't have this mold yet, um, why not? I, don't know. I, I think it's silly for them to even do this, mess around and do this with the official one. Gonna be done. That's just crazy. I don't yeah. know why. Well, I don't like that they have to ask for support to do it. That, that yeah, that's know. a little, yeah, that's kind of crap too. I, I don't... If you need this mold, I mean, a, it's a TFCon exclusive and it might be a little costly, but you can always, it's not as costly, I think, but um, you can get their hauler, the green sure. version of this mold. And yeah. then, I don't know, whatever, but there you go. <laughs> okay. All right, next two toys, a little teaser. Maybe this is an April Fool's. I see an Optimus there. I see a Jetfire. Yep. We see their yeah. backsides. <laughs> and the bugs. Dude, who are they teasing with this? People are like, oh, <laughs> whatever, yeah, no, man. Like, <laughs> squinting, and they're just pissed off. Or like, this sad, <laughs> like, this is for that collector. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Who don't it's really awesome. have the perfect vision? This is going to be the perfect toy for you. Yeah, you'll love it because you can't see fucking two <laughs> kids. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. I don't know, I just threw that out there. All right, so DX9's Hanzo, you're going to be getting a G version, which is there for green. So it's more um, toy accurate. Cool. I saw this coming a while ago. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I think Kuma, he had both of them for sale. <laughs> oh, did he? <laughs> yeah. Granted, it's a test shot, and I'll have it still. I was like, oh well. I'm like, because I'm like, what the hell? He's got two of them. The frick. And then, yeah, then I saw this. I'm like, oh shit, they are doing. That. That's cool. Exactly the same thing. 
except coloring. So. Not too bad. No. Buck. What's that? Buck, buck. Hans Hans code. Awesome. Does someone need help? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I heard something. Um, the retro color version. That's what they're going with. I don't know. That, okay, so here you go. Talk about angles. I'm like, all right, that's cool. You know, right. Hanzo, cool. you're going to display in robot mode no matter what. But still, whoa. <laughs> hey, what the hell no. is that? I mean, that's exactly no. what it's G1. It looks like but, the G1. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> A little too much like the G1. I don't know. It looks kind of weird. Yeah. I'm not making fun of it, but if you've watched Shallow Hal, you know Hal's best friend that goes out with the one gal who walks around in his pants. It's kind of weird. But I'm gonna get <laughs> flack. I'm gonna get flack for that. So, I'm not saying anything. Uh -oh. That's that's the rust in me. I'm sorry. I apologize. I got it out. Oh. <laughs> All, right. All right. Here's fans hobby. They are making a trailer for their um their scourge, MP scourge, and their um, laser prime. So arch arch enemy, I believe, is what they're calling the scourge. Black convoy from RID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. robots not yeah. sure if it's going to be chromed out or if it has a base mode but i'm assuming it looks exactly like they just took the original design and be like yeah let's it's good maybe we'll fire some discs out of it you know yeah, i mean that uh that uh original mold i mean that thing worked pretty well oh yeah that mold is fantastic yeah they could just yeah. upsize it and it would probably work fine oh yeah but i don't know if i want it chromed I don't know. We'll see. The original, at least with Optimus, it was gray. And they chromed it with yeah. Scourge. But not bad. Seems like it should be a tad bit bigger, but that's just the collector in me. Mm -hmm. Matter. Okay, and you also are getting new parts. I don't know if this means separate or they're delaying. I don't know. But you get a shoulder piece that they're showing their um, laser optimus and new chest piece to reveal the matrix then you can see some of those pieces flaps used in vehicle mode covering the leg right behind the cab the before and after i guess it looks okay good yeah that's not too bad. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. There's some. Uh, this some there or that's missing. There's was it were those chrome doodads behind by the smoke tax? Yeah, what are those? Yeah, those, yeah, no, they're they're on the previous, but after <laughs> they're not. No, there. they're not. <laughs> yeah. They off. Hmm. They look like they just plug in though. Yeah. Right there, but I don't know. And also, these need to be flipped around. Looks like. And then the there's a black thing right here. Hey, easy. Which is not right there. What is it? Like a mirror? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> or, I uh, believe so. And then, yeah, what the hell did they do? The before looks kind of better than the after. <laughs> <laughs> they did yeah. You got the grill. You got the chrome piece. It's missing here. I, uh, no, they're yeah. showing you the new parts right on his ass. Yeah, but all the other parts are missing. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. transform. Why is it longer? <laughs> it's a completely different figure. If those are the only new parts, why is Before, it longer? It looks like this. Oh no, those aren't. Yeah, uh, even the you front get windshield end. wipers. So you get windshield. Oh, okay. They did show it after. Okay. But why, those were part of the before. They, though. Why are they redoing it? They're just uh, showing you some of the added parts that they uh, put on here. Is that, that coming to make it better? Is that coming with the trailer? I don't know. I decided hmm. not to dive into it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I wanted to keep it a little bit of a mystery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. But this ain't a mystery. Let's look at Toy World. Huh. So, what? Something about an asshole. I heard something. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Calm down, Russ. Golly, no. God only knows the shit that's all, that kid is talking down there. I don't know. <laughs> awesome. All right, so we're going to be taking a look at the next combiner T 
team from Toy World. We have the aerial bots. We have skydive, not skydive, excuse me, um, air raid, air raid right there, and fire flight. And we also have vortex, and we have blast off. I don't know their Toy World name. No. Yeah. I don't really care. Uh, one no, is bul- bulky as fuck, and the other one. Yeah. <laughs> bulky as fuck. What did Snarlex call this? Yeah, that, that <laughs> Snarlex had called it that. like Turd World Blast Off, and he had it in a picture <laughs> in, a, in a toilet. Turd World. <laughs> and my wife saw that. She's like, what the hell is in that toilet? Because it kind of looked like something. I'm like, that's uh, actually Toy World uh, Blast Off. <laughs> oh, that's a toy? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I don't know how it is. <laughs> There's that Aaron. And it's too reminiscent of TFC toys in a little bit of just I was thinking that. clear plastic like I don't know. No, well, why couldn't they've done know. blue instead of gold? Even Toy World went back and did uh, blue contacts instead. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, light wow. piping is I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Right. Well, why is the light piping yellow? Yeah, eyes. that's a little that's a little silly. You know, it does something different than that. But as far as the engineering goes and then why it looks, I mean they're I mean it's the aerial bots. I mean they're they they have a certain distinct look, so they're all gonna to them, yeah. Yeah, yeah, where's I mean, the it's, it's gonna be where's the top of the plane? It should be right here. No. That's true. No. You know what? We looked at this guy's pictures the first time and we were like, uh and then we saw the official pictures for the Combaticons and we're like, yeah, not too bad. Yeah. So, let's yeah. wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. yes. I mean, we're. I love the aerial bots. I'm glad we're getting them, but I do want it to be as accurate to the character. It looks like you might be able to have yeah. it, but it's going to be extremely long if you decide to put the. You know what? It just. It's kind of. It's kind of weird where 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 they went with the uh, the constructicons to this. You know, constructicons weren't on point, but they were close. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they were close enough right. that you were like, you know what? These are my Concepticons. And that was Studio yeah. Ox. So was that the design or was that um, the Generation Toy? No, I was talking about the Toy World. Yeah. Well, I mean, which their their Devastator was based off of G1 cartoon or was it off of the Studio Ox? No, it was Ox? more Ox. Yeah, it was okay, more okay. So I'm just yeah. curious if this is going to yeah. be more Ox. Well, but, uh, well it just didn't look bad. Hit but, Google. I mean, hit Google. And yeah. Well, I got it. I got the, the little book. I'm sure you yeah. have there he is. There's the combined leg mode. That's why we, we can't discuss until we're done with you. Huh. It's fire flight. Yeah, he looks, yeah, he looks pretty good. good. I'm happy. Yeah, yeah see, but yeah. we got that up there. Yay. You know, I yeah. wasn't hating the TFC. Uh, their their single modes, other than like Silverbolt, but these guys, you know, yeah, the part, the part to say until you see their Silverbolt. <laughs> I don't want to see it. It's a mix between TFC toys and the Combined Wars. Nice, uh, well, nailed it. <laughs> the head sculpt, though, if they could take it from the Combined Wars, I'm I'm happy with those head sculpts. Like, throw those on here. <laughs> I mean, mm. it depends on where they're going to go. Are they going to make the, it go for G1 accuracy or nobody you know? else? <laughs> but man, engineering. I mean, engineering for a. There's not a lot behind the aerial bots. The front end no. cockpit's going to fold up. Cack. The back end's going to fold up, connect Cack. to each other. You're going to fold mm-hmm. this back. Cack. The wings have that little swinging <laughs> joint, just like TFC more, toys. Yes, the cock. More, more cock. So, <laughs> they're basic robots with jets on their back. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. what the hell is this? Gal? Is this a gal? Is this a cosplay? Yeah. She's Rongiku. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. You ass. know who Rongiku oh, yeah. is? You know she's got a nice. Look at that ass, because the ponytail goes down and it bends out and comes around. <laughs> yeah, <buddy. Nice. laughs> I, I like I your front end. I wouldn't say anything, Dust, but thank yeah, you. Uh huh. Great eyes. Yeah, so I got great. You. <laughs> Uh, oh, and, and then we, we go from that at, we go from the ass to the limbs. To the limbs, we have <laughs> shout out to the limbs. leg, and we have an arm. Now, how do you guys like a, the whole concept of getting a combiner, but you get it all like just messed up? Like you get a leg here, you get maybe an arm here, 
you get the torso last or whatnot. How would you like it to be presented to you when it's out there available to buy? All in one shot. Okay, you want a box set. All right. Yeah. No, I don't want a yeah. box set. I could buy them single. Okay, but you want it all released at once. Yeah, I want to see it all. Yeah. 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 Or have That's that option. If you well, you know, a lot of these companies like one, one shit, the arm fucking pays for the leg. The leg pays That's for the other arm. And, you know, That's, yeah. But yeah, I think we're th- I think we're um, further on now. So these companies are banking money now. So Toy World, they got that fucking yeah, World. and they got that fucking Springer coming out. They got that cup. Man, them fucking dollars is just fucking pre pre order dollars are flowing in. Oh, oh yeah, sure. the Optimus so, Prime's probably paid for all this. Yeah, no doubt. They have. So and that Trailbreaker <laughs> that's coming out. Oh, so um, kind of. <laughs> Do you shout think out to, that, shout out to Shitty McGetty. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think do you think they could release like four limbs in one month? Like two for each combined. Well, how, how quick how quick did uh Devastator Debbie come out? They were coming out two per month. Yeah, it was like it was like, yeah, it was mad quick. It was like Dude, half that, a year. That's right? a that's a that's a lot of money for somebody oh in God, on both of these. Who cares, man? That's just, true. Uh, Get but here's here's the thing. So Brian, you sold your Toy World Debbie. I did. Why? Because I'm waiting for the gift set. Okay, so you're willing to shell out a lot of money for. A gift All right, set. you you sold it for four fifty, and you're gonna buy the gift set for four fifty. <laughs> for four, well, but the gift set. Has, yeah. I'm thinking. I'm thinking the gift set might have some improvements with some of the shoulder problems, and okay. Okay. also yeah. it has the right. uh, it has seven. the head and the barrel and uh, five seven. Forget what else. Yeah. So, hmm. okay. I'm just curious. So, and also, uh, I'm gonna wait for it to go on clearance. Well, that's the or thing. Or at too. least for a, for a Black Friday sale, right? So, all right. Twenty twenty two is right around the corner. Yeah. For oh. anyone who bought <laughs> Devastator, and now that you know that they're coming out with the box set, are you hesitant about this set, knowing that they probably will do the same thing and have a box set? And I'm did they shoot it. themselves in the foot for doing? The box that's so it's, fast. It's definitely going to kill sales, I think. Because people are going to wait and want that. Yep. Yeah. And it was a pretty fucking shitty move on them for to do that because it's going to kill all their future sales because everybody's going to think they're going to be doing the same thing. And they're going to wait. Yeah. yeah. Just curious. Mm-hmm. All right. So next up, we're looking at the Combaticons. We have Blast Off on the left and Vortex on the right. right. And Vortex, man, he's a beefy dude. I didn't know he's he was that beefy. Dude. Yeah, he's a little. <laughs> I mean, these look a lot better than the other pictures that were circulating. A little blackout action. I mean, yeah, I was just thinking that, Jane. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The blackout with the with the blades. <laughs> Do you guys listen to SCU? Dude, Joe KW was on here. He said it looks like he's just like an Eskimo. <laughs> he said Eskimo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know. I didn't know it was SCU this week. Oh, oh man, oh, there was. Yeah, I know. Not <laughs> me, baby. You ain't getting me. <laughs> Saving my time. Yeah. So this is better. This is probably the picture you're thinking about, Dustin. Yeah, I mean, yeah. This like, is yeah. the one that was like, wow. That other one was so much better. Yes, it does. Yeah, I'm not hating. He does like, he's a definitely a, a bigger, a chubbier guy here. <laughs> yeah, he is. Easy, Russ. <laughs> no, I, I mean, sorry. I'm not, I'm not Easy, body shaming. Russ. I'm just saying, you know. Your body shaming. <laughs> well, do you think that this puts Brawl out of proportions as far as he's going to have to be bigger than these two guys, but he can't. I mean, but these guys are two, two arms. So I don't know. Or yeah. up, maybe what I like about the arms. Did you look at the, when they were formed in arms, it doesn't have that quirky elbow. Oh, where you know it's what I mean? Part of the, part yeah. Of the- yeah. The quirky elbow it looks really clean. Yeah. Light piping again. Okay. Yeah. This guy is ready to go like deep sea diving or something. It's interesting. Know. <laughs> <laughs> it just needs a helmet right here, and he's deep yeah, six. Uh-huh. Boom, I'm in. It's deep six. <laughs> they decided to go the route where they kind of leave the junk on the legs, like you know, and they don't clean the legs up real great. I don't know. That's yeah. a little weird. Well, you know, sorry, but... translucent plastic too everywhere. Oh, now is this now is this Ocular Max ready? Is this like exactly what they were doing? I don't oh, know. Oh, studio. 
Oh, yeah, whatever. Studio Ox. Yeah. yeah. Studio Ox. Uh, Ocular Max Studio Ox. Um, I don't know. Yeah, that's, I don't recall ever that's, seeing that's, Studio that's Max. That's why we have the virtual Combaticons. Well, that's why we have Google. Yeah. Studio. I mean, oh. is there a more streamlined helicopter model they could have used instead so that he doesn't have to have all these, like, extra Yeah, I'm not a fan of all the blades, yeah. This, this looks like Sandstorm. Yeah. <laughs> that's just oh. painted orange. I got myself a Sandstorm. Except for Robot Mode, obviously. Cheat one vortex. And yeah. it takes me to the fucking... The, the <clears throat> evil... No, yeah, yeah. The Studio Ox, it looks... The helicopter mode looks okay, but it only has the four blades. It doesn't have all those extra blades. Hmm. How many blades does that have? Yeah. When they're Isn't that a blackout from the Transformers movie? That Bioko mode? It looks like it. Yeah. It does look like yeah. it. Yep. That's what James oh, yeah. is talking about. Oh, moving on. Oh, damn. Oh, I'm All sorry. Right, move on again. There we go. A little bit cleaner shot of the vehicle mode. <laughs> the helicopter mode is funny looking on the front end of it. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it looks like, what a, was it's that like a movie. Bus. I don't know. What was that 80s show? Riptide? That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't look. It, they, the, the figures doesn't look. They don't look that bulky from what I'm seeing from the art. Kind of looks like the helicopter from Rambo 3. I'm looking at some art myself. Oh, the studio it, it, ha it has the wide front on the alt mode with the gun, but it doesn't have the um, the multi-blades. There's the arm. Looks like sea spray supporting it. <laughs> yeah, it does. Pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, I can see what Dust was saying right there. Yeah, yeah. It's... Remember, live for now. Yep. Uh -huh. There Bye. may be no tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> Especially when you get to dust age. This dust. <laughs> age. I don't know about the other dust, but this dust. There's a blast off in robot mode. Throw them all in the coffin and just fucking seal me up. You see that they wanted to do the middle finger, it looks like, but they like someone pushed it back in. I don't know. This was raised more than the other ones. I don't know. I'm just pointing that out. I don't know. Just... All right. So <laughs> there's the uh, back side of blast off. There's the shuttle mode. <clears throat> I'm not hating actually, the shuttle mode. I actually like the shuttle mode. Yeah, it looks yeah. great. It's like a chocolate covered that. shuttle. Probably yeah, you know. That's an R&B album. Chocolate covered shuttle. <laughs> Straight up the rack. Shout out to you, baby. I'm not going to come that fast. Okay. Ready? There we go. All right. Shout um, shuttle mode. Backside. Front side. I don't think there will be any animation errors. Maybe that would be really cool if Toy World decided to give you a mini Bruticus so you could recreate when he is yes, running yeah, yeah. into Blast <laughs> off in that episode. <laughs> that would, that would <laughs> be <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's a mini so ridiculous. Yeah, but that, it's like goes the extra mile. Like, oh, yeah, that's that's <laughs> Here he is next to, what is this? Um, big toys? Toys. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Just to show that it is MP scale. So I'm curious to see how big Onslaught's going to be. He's probably yes. I can't wait oh, to see right the swindle. I want to see what swindle looks like. Looks like yeah. I want to see what the onslaught going to look like. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And we we've, we've seen this a while back, but here is. Bruticus next to their Devastator. Yeah. It looks like it's going to be a little taller than Devastator. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You guys fine with that? Prepare for Brutication. Mm. Yeah, sure. I like I mean, my Devastator yeah. biggest, but in my uh, smaller yeah. scale combiners, I mean, that's I got that, so I'm good. 
I don't know. I just remember in the G1 cartoon, Brutus just beating his ass. So I can't. Help. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, until the Stunicons came by. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm but not sure. I'm not even sure if I'm in on this Bruticus just because I'm not sure I want to go down that far. But hey, you should just wait Warbitron. anyway. They'll, they'll do a yeah. gift set. Yeah. Warbitron good enough for you? The no. is Warbitron. Hey, I got, no. I got a Warbitron for sale. Three hundred. Hit me nah, up. I don't. I don't have. I don't. I have the fans project one actually. Put it off. Oh man, I wouldn't. Yeah. Say. I, don't know, I just you know I started. I, I just I just never really cared for Bruticus that much. I am in on that Superion, though, I think. All about lover. Yeah, I guess. That's the way it is. So oh, here is the... BB-7! Um, yep. Starscream. A little What's KO action. BB. So you got Starscream. You got the MP-11 mixed in with the old MP-3 Takara slash Walmart. Yeah, they did a um, good job. Release. So you get the panel lining and all that. Yep. Slight weathering. Actually, I guess there's no weather, but... Um, Slight weathering. I thought there was, but I don't know. Nope. You do get a stand. Coronation uh, kit. I'm not sure if it actually does come with it. I think it does because I don't know why this would be yeah, the car unless it's backwards. There's no screws supposed to be in the front. Yeah, they all did. They, they all came with the coronation. Yeah, they all the other ones I believe did. Oh. Well, there you go. Like uh, a tea cracker and all those fucking douche <laughs> <bags. laughs> Nice. But there's all the entire team. You mean the other BB7s? Did they come with it? Shut up. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I'll tell you, they didn't. They didn't come with it. They they are now. It's a new version. All right. So there you go. It does or doesn't come with it. We don't know. (laughs) There you go. But there's that route. I mean, I'm sure you could go this way. But again, they just reissued the MP11 Starscream. I, it's still about what 140, 150 bucks. But yeah, shout out to that guy. Yeah, it's a lot better than 200, which I remember paying. And did these got that extra tab? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, tab life. You got that panel lining. <laughs> Hashtag tab life. Look at that! Look at and that color! Look at that! Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's pretty. He's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. Hello, bad. everybody! I was buying this new KBC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, comes in the right. seekers. It's okay for KOs. <laughs> Moving on into some oh, wow. Takara well, Hasbro what? stuff. What? As when it comes to the Seekers, I think the KOs, it's okay to be to go KO. It's fine. Only, it's, only on the Seekers? Well, I think that's the, the one that's better. Most other KOs, <laughs> I think, aren't that great. So Don't get them wrapped up into the <laughs> I do, I, Seeker. I just, I just, yeah. Don't Stay worry, Dustin. Right, in in right. five months, it'll be like, and, and also for Megatron, too, it's okay to go. <laughs> hey, I, I'm, 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 the KO I'll, de- I'll definitely get the KO Megatron. I'll get that. <laughs> you know, honestly, if I don't get it like this week, I'm going to wait out for that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hanny, hit me up. <laughs> so, next up is the Transformers Unite Warriors Baldigus from RID, the Deco of Rudicus. Oh, it's another repaint. Love it. Oh, yeah. They didn't make this yet? This looks good. Oh, it just came out. I like it. Yeah, I like it. (laughs) He's got pretty good coloring. I do like the paint's pretty nice on it. Yeah, the coloring's nice. I do like the fact he comes with the fist and the The fist. Oh, yeah. You look good, yeah. Much better than that other crap. You can combine the weapons just like the original toy. Wait, those aren't third-party fists? Nope. I don't think so. It's like the same uh, thing they did uh, with Victorian. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, Victorian she's got lady hands. Oh, yeah. 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 No, it's uh, Computron, right? Yeah, uh, Computron, you know, yeah. Computron. Hasbro Computron, I think. Was it Hasbro? Hasbro? Yeah, Computron? so he's got man hands. Yeah. But not bad. Yeah. All right, so here's everyone's favorite... Chuck figure. We got Big Toys is Striker oh, yeah. Noir. Striker Noir. 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 So, yeah, yeah. comes with all the weapons you see there. Unfortunately, they're on a sprue. 
Yeah, you have to cut them. So you're well, going to be in charge of whether you have spring marks and the way they'll look and all that type of shit. Gundam life, Gundam, Gundam, <laughs> Gunpla. Yeah. Not Gundam. sure. I like that. I think that's kind of a cheap, but the cost of this is only ten extra dollars. So I guess. Yeah. It's not too bad. Oh, but still, kind of disappointing. It sucks. It's okay, fine. It's it blows. <laughs> yeah, it blows. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you, big toys. Get fuck out. you. Together, fuck you. Fuck Good you. lord. Fuck you. You. Yeah, that 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 sword there on the far right, like you could poke somebody's eye out with that. <laughs> oh, I'm using that as a right. it's it's third party. They don't third care about party. That shit. Third party. <laughs> Safe for children under eight years old. That's right. <laughs> big, big, oh, big, my, big, mommy, 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 what's wrong? <laughs> yeah, there you go. But I do like the fact you can pretty much house every single weapon on him. Yeah. In both modes. Yeah. Nice. So there's all. Yeah. Again, so many. Oh this gosh. is what I want just because yeah. of Striker Manis didn't have a gun. So even if it's something that's more. Up uh, Prime's Alley is a little blaster ion cannon, whatever it's called. So, there you go. And there he is. Step to the hilt. Good lord. That's some serious ass weaponry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I cannot wait to get this guy. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Chucktastic. Yeah. That Chuck has a really weird right. proportion look. Crotch is going at an angle upwards. Yeah. Torso is <laughs> going back. He's like, yeah. Yeah. And it's looking yeah. down. The pelvic yeah, like super is. robot. He super is. robot to go get. He's sticking himself. <laughs> hey Jamie's but, putting himself out there, brother. He's like going he's like, like, yeah, so. <laughs> it's just striker man has got nothing on me. Mm -hmm. It's just an everyday thing when you let your nuts hang. Yeah. That's right. Oh, there you go. Oh, damn right. <laughs> now looking at it, it's I do like the fact it's got the red as far as the um, yeah. translucent. Windows mm. for the truck mode, but it just looks it makes it look so much more evil. You can see it like yes. it just looks like a pissed off truck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> something you can see a maximum like, overdrive or something. Yeah. You can see yeah. the yeah. matrix uh, inside of there and like it's really cool. It's like a matrix outline in there. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Fucking badass, man. All right. Staying with Make Toys, they're coming out with their black Zarek. And I like the fact that he can hold Ryder Despotron in gun mode. <laughs> it is so wicked. Badass. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. It is. I also like the fact that you can create a throne for your Ryder Despotron. I'm not sure. Oh, 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 I got to oh, ask Ace or because I know he's got both. He doesn't have this one, but he's got Scorpion. I don't know if you can do it with Scorpion. But um, I like that. This, I thought it was kind of weird. I don't know what the hell. Do you use him as a head? Master, like a power master gimmick. Rider Despotron rides inside of him. Yeah. <laughs> like he's a, what do you call it? Remember the robot things off of Alien that they would ride? Oh, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Power loader. That reminds me. Yeah, power um, loader, whatever. I, John Optimus uh, riding inside Omega Supreme. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. 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 But there's the throne. That's pretty cool. <laughs> the coloring is, I, I think, better than Scorponok is trying to do the throne look. But yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah. All right. So Dr. Wu is actually still alive. Wow, and, he is. And, <laughs> and it looks like he's Stop doing a add-on kit for your no. type return leader class six shot. Nothing that I even give a fuck about. But yay. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is a uh, ninja. You get two swords. You get an extra head, alternate yeah. head. You also get some fill-in pieces for the gun. And uh, and then you get little pieces on the back to actually house the swords on his back. So that's pretty cool. So there's the alternate head. Not bad. There's the guns and there's the filler pieces. As you know, the, the uh, Titan Wars stuff has a little seat for the tight masters. Yeah, and, right. Dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb shit. <laughs> Stupid gimmick. This is Stupid gimmick. <laughs> but you still get that because you can just plug him into the back and then you can still have the dude standing instead of sitting, but it still functions. So does that replace both the head and the helmet or just the helmet? 
the helmet, I think. It looks like it's the helmet. Helmet, yeah. Because yeah, it's helmet. on a stand. Which is cool, that's on a stand. Get a little more show accuracy. There it is. I'm hoping this is going to be painted and not just white. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. Now he's a ninja consultant. Because yep. of swords. <laughs> and then he can house the swords <laughs> on the back. Nice posability on this figure. I didn't realize that before. It's not bad. Uh, again, he can hold the sword in his mouth all right. for whatever Ultron. reason. A Voltron line ish, all right. Yeah. 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 All right, up next. Sword sticking onto the submarine mode. Yeah, submarine mode. <laughs> <laughs> submarine yeah. This is submarine. the water like a shark. All right, up next is the 40th anniversary Star Wars Black Series. This is the R5-D4. This, at first, was supposed to be an Entertainment Earth exclusive, but it is now, I believe, a GameStop exclusive, and it's up for pre-order right now. I believe it's 20 bucks or something like that. So um, there you go. If you want a new Astromech, which I'm sure all of us would like it, especially because it's on the, car, on the nice little blister card with Kenner down here, which I love. Yeah, I love that I want them all. So, I won't buy them, but I want them all. I still haven't seen these out in um, in the wild yet. I know some people have, but I haven't seen that little display, whatever they have in the aisles. But looking forward to it. I'm gonna army build the shit out of those stormtroopers. So, uh, hoping to get fifty. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I spare no expense. <laughs> Um, here is an R2-D2. This is part of the Chagokin line. They made a, a C-3PO. This is going to have some die cast. I'm not sure if it has electronics. I think it does. Um, but very nice, but very expensive. You're looking at around a $300 mm. ticket, which is mostly you know, typical Chagokin stuff. So, Damn. <laughs> it's damn good, though. <laughs> Looks like he's got a lot of um, detail, a lot of Two dads. Two dads, yeah. yeah. There you go. There's a C-3PO. <laughs> I'm trying to find the right word for it. <laughs> you know you wanted to use the word do dads. Well, now after you said it, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so there you go. That looks nice. Yeah. All right, so I know um, I'm a little disappointed with this, but these icon figures have been canceled. So we're not getting a dead shot. We're not getting a Sinestro um, yellow core or a Shazam or like I like to call him Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. But um, that's unfortunate. We are still getting the Superman Doomsday set, um, Nightwing. Winging him. Oh, winging him. Um, <laughs> Hi, <bring> guys. Him. <laughs> Is he coming back to the chat? I don't know. He's not here tonight. He's not here tonight. He's chat winging him. Oh, oh no! Don't say his name too many times. <laughs> it's like don't say, don't, say, don't say it three times. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> My lights just flickered. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! No. Chat wigging him. Chat wigging him. <laughs> God, I'm God. just gonna God. keep Hold fucking down. around, Dust. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> we triple dog, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> but um. There is Deadshot. Looks good. Um, that was funny. Uh, there's Shazam. Is that a book? He's yep. out there. So I believe so. Yeah. It's just for any of the people who need to know what Shazam stands for. And that's the book of Shazam. There you go. I'd rather have a wizard. But uh, there's Sinestro. Hey, Green Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bring back the Super Bowl. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. More uh, DC icon stuff. Here is the new Justice League um, box set. You get Aquaman, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, Superman. I want to say Derpy Man, but you know whatever. And then you get Batman, you get Flash, and you get Cyborg. Much kind of like the Alex Ross set that we got back um, a while back. It's kind of same looking packaging. Yeah, these yeah. are a bigger figure now, which is kind of odd. But 
I don't know. <laughs> they just <laughs> hey, look at look at Water Man. Water Woman. <laughs> Water Woman is like tall. A- which is oh, cool. Amazon. Hey, Waterman. Why are you so short? <laughs> <laughs> why is Superman so, like, therapy like? I just got off the farm. Yo, that's a big bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big bitch, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. So, um, yeah. Batman's a beefy dude. Yo, she's, she's fucking bigger than his fucking little ears. Look at that. So there's Superman. <laughs> close up and personal. <laughs> I don't like it's great. Confused um, dog look. <laughs> yeah, it looks like. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean, Lois? You don't like me. Which oh, you go, George. No. He, he hears this in the background. Go <laughs> 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 on, crypto. Let's go. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not trying to dog on the icons. If you like these things, cool. But mm. man, I don't know for a collectors, for collectors. This isn't retail, mass retail stuff. It could have been a little better on the sculpts. So and this, I don't is, like the, this is a little bit more of a premium, right? Yeah, this is a premium. This set's probably going to be, I, don't, I would say, close to 100 bucks. <laughs> Shout out to those guys. Um, the Wonder Woman's cool because Amazonians are a little bit bigger, so that's, that's yeah. nice. But okay. these don't scale with their previous icon figures, which we'll see here in a second. Hmm. But <laughs> that's super <laughs> I don't see it. Damn it. I fired a guy that looked like that. It's like uh, Megatron standing next to Prime. There you go. <laughs> what should I do next? <laughs> so, yeah. So here is Superman next to the icons previously released Superman. You can see hmm. there's a considerable size difference. Man, they got to put his well, hips on his and legs I, back into his hips. Oh my goodness! I thought the new one. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to make him a little bit taller, but it didn't work. I kind of like the new one more. <laughs> yeah. I take back my do 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 do. Yeah, they're right. <laughs> yeah. Now I kind of want to see Wonder Woman standing next to the old icons. Yeah. Titties. Oh, good lord. No. Titties. Now I'm curious no. to see how big the Doomsday and Superman are going to be. If they're going to go with this size scale, or they're going to go back to this size scale. Ooh. I'm kind of curious, but here is Superman with the Marvel Legends six-inch line. So you got Captain America there, and you got Wolverine. Um, hmm. I didn't remember Cap being such a big dude. Yeah, what's up with that Wolverine? Yeah, he is kind of tall, isn't he? Shout out to Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Shout out to Hugh Jackman. Aka <laughs> 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 Huge Jackman. <laughs> Still think yeah. this is the Johnny Walker version of Cap, but Could yeah, this be, is from yeah. the Jubilee Jubilee line. He does look like Super Patriot by the face. Oh, yeah. I think that's a Johnny Walker. But um, here is the Doomsday Build-A-Figure. If you want to go the DC Multiverse, I have pity on your soul. Um, but there you go. And this is this is hilarious. So here is the... On the left is the new DC icons. A little that's bit pretty, bigger. And then on the right is the old DC that's icons. That's the exact that's same, same fucking thing. figure. Pretty damn identical. Oh, God damn. Mm-hmm. They didn't do much oh, with that. God, no. A quarter of an inch bigger. Holy shit. And here's Wonder Woman next to some Marvel Legends. So you have Miss Marvel there. Or now Captain Marvel. And then you have Enchantress. Who is it? Asgardian. So I guess maybe a little yeah. size scale. Yeah. Look at the en- <clears throat> Enchantress fucking gappage. Man, that's pretty fucking wide. Right there? <clears throat> yeah. She passed- that's because she's got nuts, what dude. About these? <laughs> she's got nuts. <laughs> Passing through a fucking... What the hell? <laughs> okay. Cap's got some birth and hips. All right. Well, mm. well I'm critiquing the... Mm-mm-mm. Okay, so here's the new Bats with the icons Harley, Joker, and Batgirl. Yeah, the Bat looks good, man. Yeah, and this is the Bruce Wayne. The other Batman was the Dick Grayson. So <laughs> here's the difference. But man, Dick Grayson, I don't think is a kid. <laughs> but they portrayed him <laughs> okay. as like a little kid. Oh man, it might. I'm, I'm, but is adult Dick Grayson as tall as Bruce Wayne though? Should be. I thought he was. I thought he was close in height. But I mean, not, not maybe not like stature, you know, thickness. But I thought he was. That's more awesome. like the Tim yeah. Drake. It's all about how many weedies you eat. <laughs> I don't, yeah. 
I don't like that these don't have waist swivel. Yeah. And you don't yeah. get an actual well, maybe you get an ab you get an ab crunch, obviously. Right. But this I don't know. Maybe it's a ball peg, so you get some range of motion in the chest, which is kind of weird, but I guess Yeah, it's weird for a male figure, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those knees look kind of funky. Funky. Yeah, it's like a funky, cross funky. cut right yeah, there. Funky. Instead of that. All right, we're moving on to Waterboy next to Pizza Spidey. Hey, Waterman. <laughs> That's what Spidey saying next to Waterman. Yeah, man. You had never seen the fucking old school robot chickens? <laughs> Dig your spandex. I've got to go back and watch that show. Yeah, it's you have to. Be great, man. Hilarious. Oh, yeah. the they have compilations on YouTube now. So Yeah, we'll have to go looking for it. Here's a new Flash next to the old Flash. I like the new Flash better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he he has got a little more light. Yeah, but the old Flash has the fucking running fin hands. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he does. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, he comes with two pairs of hands and the treadmill. Hmm. And here's Flash and Green Lantern next to each other. And for you 66 Batman fanatics out there, you have a three and three quarter inch Funko Batmobile oh. and Adam West and Burt Ward. Batman and Robin set. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. Nice. That's that's quarter inch. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I think Maybe I saw this one. Edges. I think I think BBTS is carrying this right now. I think yeah, I saw they have it for pre order. Yeah. Eighty nine ninety nine. One seventy nine ninety nine. Oh, no way. <laughs> I doubt it. No, I don't think. I don't remember. I can remember how much bucks. it was. Thirteen bucks. But I do remember wanting some representation from this series, but I don't know if I'm. Route. This the is... car. The car looks a little off. Derby? Yeah. yeah, a little small, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, probably. All right, moving into everyone's favorite uh, line. This is the SH Figgy Warts Spider-Man from Homecoming. Thrust the crotch. So um, this has a lot of cool yes, posability. Did. Yes, he did. Yeah. Not as much as maybe the Rebel Tech. Uh, version of Spider-Man, but this is right up there. But um, look at that. You can look up. You can look down. Crotch shot. Look at all the joints and shit working. Ah. Look at the detail they put up in there where they made sure that it's got the same. Yeah, yeah, they made it seamless. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh Yeah, I like that. No balls. No balls. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's still, you know, young. It could be tucked in there. Enchantress stole him. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's, he saw Mary Jane like, oh, no. <laughs> They're back in. Sorry, I'm a purist for Mary Jane. Um, But, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Cross his arms. Where's his uh, web wings? His little web shooters. Nice. Oh, uh, and underneath his arms. Yeah, they didn't have those. Dude, they even molded under his feet. Yeah, I know. Crazy. I know. That's amazing. The details. So, it is. Is it spectacular too? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. We can be it is spectacular. No, I don't like it. <laughs> um, some other posing. Spectacular. Spectacular. Oh yeah. I think I gotta get this. Flip action. <laughs> I have him pose right next to Figure Arts Harley. <laughs> Dude, if they put this out with a conventional Spider Man sculpt, they'll they'll sell out of that too. Let's put that oh, yeah. revoltec to shame. I mean, that, that, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. And then you get the different eye expressions. It's not some dude. Made a mask or something that yeah. it's um you could do something like that. Yeah, it was um voice not voice but like moving his mouth that made the um eyes blink and all that type of stuff. It's pretty cool. But there's the uh, second pair of eyes. Ooh. The third. So that's, that's pretty cool. cool. Yeah, can really talk about some stuff in this, but I'm not going to. Comes with a phone, maybe. Spider oh, he's, got he's got the backpack and going him too. Like accessories, nice. Now, do you think they'll make a figure arts 
Aunt May. And would you oh. want that? Yeah, oh, movie. just reuse yeah. the Harley, right? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just asking. I'm just curious. Sure. Dude, they could double up. They could do, uh, they could do an Aunt May, and then do uh, Marissa Tomei from the wrestler. From the wrestler. There's a backpack. Cool. All right, more, um, more stuff here. We have the Figma uh, King of Fighters series. So this is Iori. I'm saying that right. I'm. I'm tempted to get these because I, I I have a game shelf. I have I like to have some stuff on there. It represents everything. The only thing I got on there from Figma for King of Fighters so far is Terry Bogard. I'm really hoping we get a geese um, by Andy Joe, but we'll see. But comes with quite a few accessory pieces, which is nice. And if you're an anime fan and looking for stuff, it's I always go Figma. It's, they usually have a pretty good assortment. Yeah, Figma's where if I want to get a Legend of Zelda figures, I usually go Figma. Yep. Yeah, yeah they got the Metroid, Samus, and all that. Yeah. That's cool. And they go with yeah. them. So Here's Kyo. <laughs> and most of the time, Figma comes with stands, which I also like, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Slightly smaller, though, than figure arts. Yeah, not, they are. Not, but... not by much, though. Nah, they're pretty close, and and, and, and they always they, they do a good job with um their deep like just the the anime detail. You know oh yeah, it looks like it came right off the yeah. screen. Exactly. They, yeah. That's all right. So for all you alien fans, Neck is doing a <sighs> motion detector tracker. I don't think it actually works, but um, it, I think this is retailing around was it six hundred bucks something like that. So if you went out and bought that. One on one scale. Um, oh shit! I forgot what it was. I know they've done a. Um, what's that gun that um, Vasquez uses? I I don't know the terminology, but that huge ass gun that she uses. That was like a thousand dollars. You can get this prop now. Comes with a stand. Electronics. Man, if this actually worked, oh god, that'd be so hilarious. That would be cool. <laughs> I would love that. But like if it actually detected it. Huh. If it actually detected where my kids are and they're coming towards me, like, oh, here they go. All right, cool. <laughs> I totally use this for deer hunting. <laughs> like, all right. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but that would be taking the sport out of it. Well, um, so there you go. All right, more NECA action. You're going to glow in the dark. Godzilla. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I don't know what it is. Ever since I was a kid, I still get, I love it, glow in the dark stuff. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember getting the creature from the Black Lagoon. He was glowing yeah. the dark. I was like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Stick him underneath the lamp. And so he's ready to hit up a ring. Yeah. There he is next to the burning version of Godzilla that is pacing kind of off of this. So. <laughs> NECA does a good job if you don't want to go in that SH Monster Arts realm. Right, right. So, yeah. and it's a lot cheaper. I mean, 20 bucks compared to like 60. Like 60 or 70. 60 something to, like that. Yeah, depending yeah. on what you're looking at. Yeah, depending on what you get. Like the King, what's the King, King Ghidorah? Or King whatever. Yeah. He's pretty, he's, he's yeah. high, pretty high up there. Yep, he's about that's like one sixty. Yeah, so. that's because that's a that's a big figure there too. It's a pretty nice figure too. Oh yeah, they look really good. I mean, if you can yeah. and get all that, like Destroya and all that, yeah, it's yeah, good. man. All right, so up next is sideshow. Anybody Clark. remember those uh, Microman uh, Godzilla figures where they it was like action figures and they came with uh, rubber monster suits for them to, to put on? No, I don't okay. remember that. No. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, up next, Sideshow Collectibles, Jason Voorhees, 616 oh, yes. scale, 12 inches worth of hockey mask goodies. Yes. 
dude. That is like, so I might get that for my kids. That's my shelf. That's my elf on a shelf right there. So I'm going to have Jason on a shelf. Yeah, it's better be good <sighs> this Christmas. He's watching you. It's such a classic look, too. It's wonderful. Yeah. It yeah. Good job on it. Oh, yeah. Um, but I'm not going to all life. I just I can't do it. <laughs> There's a machete. All right. <laughs> Axe and with blood. Yep. Yeah, nice, nice. Harpoon. Boy, that, that Jason boy, he liked, liked his weapons, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it for the news portion Very of the show. Cool. So we done. All right, see ya. We done. <laughs> it's been fun. <laughs> yeah. uh, what'd you put in here? I like to... yeah, cool. Um, all right, talk yeah. amongst yourselves. That was pretty Bathroom cool. Bathroom breaks man. if you need them. We're going to be up for the discussion part. We're, oh, Dust left? Yeah. All right, he show's canceled. I'm still here. He has to, he has to, I'm talking uh, original Dust. <laughs> he has to. Uh, yeah. He said he had to go to work. He has to get up early tomorrow, so he wasn't going to be on too long. He's going to uh -huh. bullshit with us for a while. I mean, oh, that's, that's how it is. I see how it is. Uh, he couldn't. Uh, huh. yeah, yeah. I, mean, he, he right. want you to, I understand. He to something for him. I don't know. I understand. <laughs> That's cool. Everyone, awesome. that's why I got the Saturday day because everyone's got their dates and everything else, and I'm the lonely bastard that's just here. May just the yeah. board, holding down the last <laughs> end of the weekend. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, so let's out. see. <laughs> Come on, let's go. We need to get to something. Else here. I am. Uh, I'm definitely gonna. I'm definitely going after that fake darts, uh, Spider Man. I, I gotta get that. That looks too good. Pass yeah, out. It does, it does look good. But are are you gonna go towards the Avengers that they've already released? No, I just want the Spider Man. Okay, All right. good enough. <laughs> good enough. All right. So up next, instead of doing a blast from the past, um, camera's off. There we go. Um, we're gonna be doing. He's back. Bit. Yeah, I'm back. Hey. <laughs> hey, I decided um, it's too much Rogaine, so I didn't want to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> too much testosterone. Uh, let me try something real quickly. But ooh, jackets. What, what about jackets? Jackets. I like jackets when it's cold out. Yeah, there you. They're, they're a necessity. <laughs> so it's pretty much all. Come on, why is my internet like sucking a big old turd? Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. It's nothing like dead air. Show must be over. Not talking. <laughs> Show must be over. We're not talking. <laughs> All right, check in the chat because I have to remember I need to check the chat. We got Deluxe Baldwin. He's good enough to be in the chat, but not good enough to be in the show. He said he's working. Yeah, exactly. No, that's what he always exactly. says. Oh, um, <laughs> shelf warmer. Happy birthday, dude. I saw it's your birthday. Hopefully it's a, it's a good one and getting lots of cool stuff, G1 stuff. Lots of... Uh, let's see what else is in here. Scrolling, scrolling. Fan B, what's up? Uh, books, books a little... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna butcher names. I, I apologize. I I should hire someone to do this for me. Okay, cheat Shara. Um, thirty. What's up, Frogman seventy eight? Cool. And 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 that's it. All right. <laughs> He said my name. I can retire now. Well, you could totally retire if you actually were on the show, Deluxe. Um, yeah. So. Because uh, I will boost you up. Two subscribers. Just being on this show, you'll go up probably two subscribers. That's why. This job. See. Job is more important. I don't know what the fuck he's thinking. Jeez, <laughs> <get out of laughs> here. He don't care. <laughs> Priority I'm on a little uh, podcast called uh, Stasis Lock. <laughs> yeah. All 
right, all right. So let's get on with the, um, the stuff here. Screen sharing. Yay. Whoops. Got to click on myself. You went too far. Cool. Or went, who went too far? I don't know. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shall we play a game? Oh, you see it? Yep. Oh, man. Awesome. All right, so I'm War on. Games. Okay, so mm. this Blast of the Past is going to be a little different. I wanted to spark up a little bit of conversation and such. Um, it sucks that Dust is gone because I know he would chime in a lot on some of the stuff. But um, it's just verses. If it doesn't apply to you, just come up with something, um, you know, whatever. It's fun. It's not going to be, you know, you know, like, oh, shit. This is going to be like calc or trig or something. No. So, so again, Plastic Vanass is the verses episode. This is just a special edition. I wanted to change it up. Next week, Blasso Pass will be coming back with its regular scheduled cartoon action for you. So, most likely. All right. So, real quickly, coffee or tea? What do you guys choose? Coffee. Ice coffee. Mm -hmm. All right. Ice coffee. I will go tea. All right. And try and stay within the guidelines of what you see on the screen and not be like, oh, I like soda. Why is that not on here? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it a cold brew here. an acceptable answer? Cold brew? Oh, yeah, that's fine. No, it's, it's coffee. It's cool. So, all right. Anyone else before I move on? They, they will get better. I'm just, this is just yeah. a warm up. This is the, base, the little basics, right? I got yeah. you. So, gluten or gluten free? Oh, I take gluten. <laughs> Gluten. Gluten. Good. Gluten, gluten. For sure. All right. Good. Uh, gluten. I'd have to quit the show if you guys said gluten free. <laughs> gluten free <laughs> is a myth. Yeah. It does exist. All right. Up next, do you like a bottle or do you like a can? A bottle. And it could be anything bottle. that you want soda or beer, whatever. Bottle. Bottle. Yeah, I like a bottle. Bottle. All right. I'll do can. You can shotgun those. Gosh, Dad, <laughs> on, Brink, that's a good point. I didn't Three, think about crush on my skull, too. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Coke versus Pepsi. Oh, shit. Oh, Coke. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I assumed I knew your answer, Charles. <laughs> um, I know I'm going to be an outsider, but I'm a Pepsi guy. Yeah, Coke. I'm a Pepsi guy, too. Right. Coke. Coke. All right, cool. You Coke know, as well. I want a good for you, but nice. Coke. Yeah, Coke. Right. Mexico with that, that cane sugar. There you go. Okay. <laughs> crystal crystal yeah, Pepsi. I saw that in Walmart like a month ago. I was like, what yeah, the hell? I, I did too. I was surprised. I was like, whoa. I thought this was an stink. <laughs> I was a big crystal Pepsi guy. Oh, I remember when they had them in the vending machines in my middle school. Uh, oh yeah in college we were um what happened i think um they changed all the vending machines in the dorms and everything to pepsi i was like what because in greek row we like to do rum and coke all the time like pepsi oh, that doesn't yeah. work it's like fuck that shit so oh, come but, on, okay. rum and pepsi's great anyway <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's, right. yeah it doesn't matter what it is as long as you're just getting wasted so it's like sure exactly yeah. um but for some reason that's what we were to stick on. But McDonald's versus Burger King. And I just threw this. I mean, it could be a whole bunch of stuff, but just McDonald's versus Burger King. Burger, Burger uh, King. Yeah. BK. Burger King. Uh, McDonald's. It's because you're there right now with siphoning their Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a tough one for me because I really like McDonald's breakfast. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. I, Good point. I, yeah, I, I could I couldn't tell you what Burger King tastes like. It, it's been so long since I've been to one. Oh man, get this guy flame broiled. Um, all right. I'd probably pick McDonald's. It's just me. I don't have better fries, that's for sure. And the Sundays and some other yeah, stuff. I don't know. And the nostalgia yeah. too. I remember the yeah. plan and the grimace and all those dudes. Hamburger. Apple pie. 
Mm. Burger King is icy. Yeah. I'm yeah, true. Really? All right, Taco Bell versus Taco Time. Taco Bell. Anything, Taco anything's time. better than Taco Bell. <laughs> wow. Oh, I would I would say Taco Bell because I've never heard of Taco Time. So. Okay, that's why I yeah. want to know if it's a regional yeah. thing for me because I have Taco Slime here and I hate it. But you we have Taco Bell. Taco Slime? Call taco, taco Slime. I call it Taco Slime because it's not that good. Awful. <laughs> uh, but so, all right, cool. Taco Bell. Right. Yeah, I would do Taco Bell for me. Now we're gonna get into some more heated, more heated stuff. Uh -oh. So, oh no, Apple versus PC. PC. It could even be Apple versus Android. Yeah. Android. PC, Android, whatever. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll I'll choose PC over Apple, but I'll choose Apple over Android. Yeah. So does my yeah. son. My son's a big fan of Apple products, and he he always picks on me about it because I don't like Apple. So I just like their phones. They're extremely easy to use. Yeah. Yeah. Not That's much maintenance. <laughs> That's the same with me. That's what I got. I got an iPhone, but I, I have a PC. Yep. Dude, I'm PC not a graphic. PC and Android. I've been doing a Galaxy Note for the past. Few versions, well, the past few non exploding versions, and uh, they yeah. should be pretty well. <laughs> exploding have the batteries on. <laughs> hey, you know, <laughs> the stories of those. <laughs> um, cool. Gotta, All right. Gotta, gotta steal some more Apple stack. All <laughs> right, another one Nike versus Adidas. Oh, boy. Nike. Just do it. Just do it. Well, I would do Adidas over Nike. I'll do yeah. Adidas too. What? Yeah. Well, Nike. Nike for shoes and Adidas for the tracksuits. Okay. God, I haven't seen an Adidas tracksuit in forever. Damn. <laughs> Actually, I've been going to do this, but that after wow. Nike. Yeah. I actually have a – okay, so here's a story. Back in high school, I worked after school as a furniture deliverer um, slash um, – I don't know. Um, maintenance person, I guess you could say. Not a sales rep, but so I would deliver furniture in around my city. And um and I lived in a predominantly older town. Um, just I don't know, it just seemed like these people, the older folks, would buy a piece of furniture so they could have someone to talk to, which is kind of yeah. weird. <laughs> but I, I was wearing some like Nike gear. And it had you know, Nike on the side on the chest. And this little lady, sweet lady, um, was talking to me and she kept calling me Nike. I'm like, all right. Um, and she thought it was my name tag. Yeah. And all this type of stuff. I'm like, ah. like, oh, it's, you know, it's like, thanks, Nike. And I'm like, oh, oh, I, I just went with it. I'm like, you know, that's okay. Cool. Because, I mean, she was happy. Hey. But, um, yeah, it was, it was funny. You're a god. But, <laughs> here, another story. I was wearing a Nike blue vest, and I happened to be in Walmart in uh, my town. I was in college, and I was doing some stuff. And I had some, again, elderly people come up to me and ask me questions. I'm like, I actually don't work here. This is just a Nike vest. And I look like an employee, but it's no, I'm not. So thanks for shooting my dreams down. I'm, you know, I'm just like, there you go. All right. Random trivia. Does everybody know what uh, Adidas stands for? I have no idea what's the is is this it's an anagram anagram acronym acronym yeah. whatever all day it. I dream about sports really does that, I never knew that I swear mm -hmm. I did not know that cool that was a one to grow on moment yeah I like it, was. it. Oh, the thank more you. you know nice all right uh -oh. all right next up D Generation X versus NWO oh new, 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 world, new world order, new world order. <laughs> <laughs> I was a DX I got guy, your answer man. right here. I can't see a thing. C Generation X all the way, man. There you go. There you see go. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, right. you ready? Cool. All right. Now, now hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Right, right. Here we go. Is it is it D Generation like D standing for something, or is it D Generation like for degenerates? It's, it's degenerate. for degenerates. It's degenerate. And then okay. what? Crew <laughs> came up with you D. Did he? Did Rick Root come up with Degenerates or Degeneration X when he was a, when he was a, you know associated with them? But something. Um, like that. 
But yeah, yeah. well, they. I remember Jim Ross kept called him and Triple H degenerates. Yeah, degenerates. Uh, well, yeah, they're pulling their pants down and all this stuff. Yeah. I love the stories of Vince. Like, you can't do that. USA yeah. doesn't like it. Wait, wait, wait. They like it. Do it. Do yeah, it. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. <Exactly. laughs> the thing you pull your pants yeah. down, you got to do it some more. Yeah. yeah. China in there, and then Xbox coming in there, and then the New Age Outlaws. So that was pretty yeah, cool. it was kind of crazy how Rick Rude was on Raw one night with the X, and then yep. the, next, the next thing you know, Booby's gone over the Nitro. Yeah, he was part of the NWO. <laughs> and Six was the same way, or Xbox. Yeah, yeah. Sean Waltman. All right, so <laughs> going to Monday Night Raw versus Monday Nitro. WCW Monday Nitro. Nitro. Oh, Nitro. Nitro. This was hard because I liked oh, them both. Yeah, oh, buddy. Like I'll go raw. It changes depending on the time period. I'm talking the pinnacle of both. Which one so, would you rather watch? Was that ninety? The pinnacle? Yeah, uh, like the pinnacle where like raw was at its highest with like Stone Cold, The Rock. You know, whether yeah. that's you think it's the Nation or DX, Monday Nitro with Sting I, and NWO and all that. With I, I gotta Kid go Man with uh, Nitro because I'm a Sting fan. Yeah. yeah I, I gotta go with Nitro because they were live first. They were spoiling. Sh- weren't they spoiling stuff? Yeah, <laughs> Nitro. Yeah, yeah, they Raw too. They would announce the results of Raw because Raw was yeah. Raw at one point wasn't live. They were they were pre recording things. So they would like 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 the night that Mick Foley won the world title. They announced it yep. before he won that. <laughs> yeah, I remember yeah. that. That was like <laughs> it was that a was douche awesome stuff. Thing to do, but it was funny. Oh yeah. <laughs> I would. I'd go with raw. I'm not raw. I'd go with nitro. I just yeah. like the more. Granted, raw was more adult, like pushing the envelope, which was great. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I like the more shock of like Kevin Nash and Scott Hall coming out. I'm like, Holy oh shit, yeah, the fuck, invasion. What the hell is that was that? great. Or when Sting went dark and like, oh my god, is Sting going to talk? I could care less about Goldberg and his stupid ass streak and all that shit, but um, just. Like Kevin Nash and all that, I was like, "Wow, that's something you you didn't play out, you didn't see as much." For me, uh, the big thing was when uh, Hulk Hogan went heel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Bash of the Beach. Yep. Yeah, throw garbage into the ring. That was a good moment. <laughs> uh, I like that. Yep. But nothing beats Stone Cold hitting Vince McMahon with a bedpan in a hospital. That's true. That, that was, that was true. freaking hilarious. <laughs> Or the beer truck and we took the beer truck and sprayed them all with beer in a ring. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. All right, moving on. To see some other stuff. I had to go out. I had a... What? I was gonna say I have to confess I had a the NXT takeover uh, running in the background while this uh, while we're doing the show. Cool. <laughs> right on. Appreciate it. Um, so yeah. next up. Is when you go out, do you go and stay at a hotel or do you go to a motel? Oh, hotel. My wife is spoiled, dude. No way I can stay. <laughs> <laughs> is, 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 is it because she's sitting next to you? No, no. She's okay. not even, no what, I feel what happened, James. She, she, with her company, when she travels for um, training and things like that, mm-hmm. they put her up in like five star hotels. I mean, really nice places, you know? Nice. So she started getting a taste of that. And now, like if I if we travel anywhere, she she says I'll take care of all the arrangements because you're not gonna we're not gonna stay in a shitty place and that's what children do. <laughs> so it always has to be a nice a nice hotel or she won't even she won't even stay there. Cool. Just kind of a spoiled little. Shit. <laughs> what about the rest of you? Uh, you know, in that time of my life, I would say you know motel when I was younger. Now I think more of a hotel type of thing. Yeah. All right. Hotel. Yeah, I would. I'd have to go with hotel, too. Um, yeah, I'm definitely a spoiled hotel guy. Did a hostel once. Will never do it again. Cool. Damn a hostel! Wow. I saw a movie called that. It was a hostel yeah. one time. Brothel a couple yeah. times, but the wife didn't really appreciate that. So I was like, all right, fine. Uh-huh. Go there again. No, I'm just kidding. That's no, just nice. <laughs> That's just a joke. Oh, big guy, she's not watching this. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so up next, Disneyland versus Universal Studios, hmm. or Disneyland. Oh, is this parks. specifically Disneyland? And let's not go Disneyland, Disneyland parks. 
Disney parks versus Universal Studio parks. So whether it's World, Land, whether you're in Hollywood, Orlando, Universal, or the Universal. <laughs> I'll do Universal as well. Well, yeah, I don't know. I would write, um, I, I would do. I might do Epcot over Universal, but yeah, Universal does every, have rides, every, so but, yeah. just incorporate all of it. Disney versus Universal. No, I don't need I don't need some freaky mouse walking around. I'll go universal. <laughs> <laughs> Man, a poor guy. Disney, they got all the Marvel stuff now. That's true. Oh, and they have Star Wars now too. Uh, good point. Well, they've always had Star Wars, but yeah, they're having Star Wars land. Yeah. Yep. All right. Cool. I I I go Disney. Uh, Universal's Cool for rides, but um, and Harry Potter, I guess, but you know, yep. and Jurassic, but Transformers, but it's not enough to keep me from getting my mouse yeah. fix and my princess <laughs> addiction going. Yeah, oh, you bring so, up some good points there, Jane. That's all. Yeah, as a kid, I mean, Universal was great. Nickelodeon Studios, Back to the Future, the ride. On now. Yeah. And they had, did they, what was it, the City Walk? Is that what they had? I can't remember. Or whatever, where they had all the restaurants. Uh, which which one? Uh, Universal. Like, yeah. The one in Florida, at least, they had like a Pat O'Brien's, I remember. They also had like a jazz bar. and They have something like that in Hollywood before you yeah. the park. It's off to the side, but yeah. yeah. Um, so let's, let's narrow it down. Disneyland versus Walt Disney World. What do you have more fun with? I would go to Disney World. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I don't know. America's Wang or California with all those crybabies out there. You said America's Wang? Florida, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. So, Jisk, how do you like Wang, Bill? <laughs> yeah. It is. It's hot and humid. I had a good time. <laughs> like a crowd. <laughs> Good time jumping around. <laughs> <laughs> keep, 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 keep. Here's the key. <laughs> All right. Wow. That's great. I made everything go <laughs> silent. <excited. laughs> I know. I was like, Woo. America's way. Yeah, I mean, Disney World is the better park, but Disneyland is so much better weather. Yeah. Man, I I'm still going to give it the way. Disney World, though. I don't know. Florida's pretty. Florida's pretty comparable. I don't know. True. California, it's not that different. Yeah, that'd be hard. I love Disneyland because it's just that old school feel, even yeah, that's though it's a smaller. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I'd probably go Disneyland just because of nostalgia. Yeah. I mean all that, but <laughs> happy a celebration. On the U.S. Wang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and man. I can't take credit for that. That's actually uh, Homer coined that phrase from The Simpsons. <laughs> oh, man. I did not sound like some Homer said, too. Six Flags. <laughs> oh, shit. Six Flags is what? Houston and Hall or Los Angeles and what? Jersey has one. Jersey? Yeah. Jersey? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Six Flags is great, but I don't know. The rides are okay. I don't know. I, they used I to have a bad bad ride, but I haven't been on that for a long time. Mm -hmm. I feel there. Yeah. We have a shitty Six Flags near us. We have Six Flags America. It's like terrible park. It's like right, the well, ghetto. The ghetto go to Dollywood, Island. right? Yeah. I, I would. I'd rather do Dollywood than that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Up next is Pixar animation versus DreamWorks animation. Ooh. Ooh, right. Oh, oh man, I, I think I need I, some examples. I enjoy movies from really? both. Yeah. yeah. Cars? I think the DreamWorks first. movies are a little less traumatizing, though. Traumatizing? Well, like Toy Story traumatized you? Or um, Big they, Hero they 6? Have like, think of like the first 10 like minutes of Up. Died. Big Hero 6? That, well, Big Hero 6 wasn't Pixar, though. That was regular Disney. Well, let's just throw that into the mix. Disney, Pixar. 
incorporate it all. All right, let's move on. I think I think I have to go with DreamWorks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. DreamWorks does Transformers, right? Yeah. 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 We're gonna yeah. get to that later. <laughs> oh. Yeah. We're gonna hopefully spark up something there. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I did an episode while oh. back, a long time ago, depicting Mortal Kombat versus Street Fighter. They both have cartoons. They both have great video games. <laughs> That's um, a good one. <laughs> they both have action figures <laughs> from various lines. Now we have Storm Collectibles doing both, which is really cool. Uh, so, who do you choose, Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter? Oh wow! Mo- Mo- Mortal Kombat all the way. Mortal okay. Kombat. You're a ninja fan. <clears throat> you don't yeah. like big. I don't right. um, I'll the go characters. Mortal Kombat. Are you? Because yeah. I've never played Street Fighter. So. Oh you never played Street Fighter, really? Oh. Brian, why? Why? Oh. Too busy finishing him, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're doing big balladies. Luke King promotes friendship. Um, right. I, I, I think Chun Li was one of my first crushes. Yeah, Chun Li is pretty awful. But I, I, I mean, I like them both, but I would go Mortal Kombat. I think I like that. Mm, yeah, it's a little bit darker. That's why I think I like about it. It's yeah, the blood darker. and all that. Yeah, you know, that was a big, right. huge shock at first mm-hmm. when I saw that in the arcade. Yeah, a little more sinister. So the, 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 I mean, the, the, the you know, the Finish fatalities. Him. Yeah, the fatalities were crazy, man. You know, and <laughs> um, but Street Fighter is pretty awesome though too. Vega is my favorite character in Street Fighter. He's yeah. just badass. Oh, Super Street great. Fighter when it came out was like, yeah. wow, this is good. And then yeah. Alpha, when Alpha came yeah. out, like, yeah, yeah, okay, this is now getting better. Yeah, definitely. Turbo is the best version. That was I enjoyed that too. I remember that. Was, yeah, my, my my little brother was a big Street Fighter fan, so yeah, that's so where. And yeah. even Mortal Kombat when they added the run button, like now I could, didn't have anything else to do with trying to get all the combos down. Now I have a run button to do the combos. So like Liu Kang's like sixteen hit combo. He was pretty <laughs> badass though. <laughs> kicking the shit out of someone, but that, yeah. that was fun. <laughs> but um, yeah, I did a whole bunch of Mortal Kombat tournaments back in the day. My There's, buddy and I would have all the codes of like the how to do the moves, and we would travel to different towns and take on other like, people and shit. It was it was ridiculous. No, really, just <laughs> show up with a bowl of quarters. Really, really like, just like well, because it, then it was like arcades were the yeah. shit. I mean, people yeah. wanted to go there, and they had tournaments and stuff, and so we yeah. we'd roll up, we we double tag, you know, tag team people, and be like, all right, here we go, boom, boom, boom. He's gonna take this character, especially when like. Um, Capcom versus X Men or Marvel versus Capcom, all that stuff. When you have yeah. cool characters, oh yeah, we tagging the shit out of people. Uh, but that, I'd have yeah. to go Mortal Kombat too. I I really like the the realism. I guess yeah, that's that's kind of yeah, that's kind of what it is. Plus, it had really I, the worlds that you would fight in. You know, like where the realms, they yep. got the different, yeah. Just yeah. amazingly detailed and really cool. So, but here's one. What would Knowing that we got both in a movie live action form, which one would you rather see come back? Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Live action. Okay. Yeah. Mortal Kombat. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. I'm surprised, Brian. Yeah. Uh, is Street there Fighter. room to bring Raul Julia back to life in this fantasy? <laughs> you know what? He might have been a saving grace of that Street Fighter movie because I didn't like. Yeah, him. he was. You didn't he like Jean Claude Van Damme. I did not. I did not like him playing That's... Guile. No. It was really great. Yeah. But I did, I did like a Raul Julia playing Bison. It was, it was pretty good. Uh, he, was, he did a good job. I thought yeah. Vega, I thought Vega was pretty cool though. Yeah, yeah, Vega. Was, pretty awesome. Vega was it a taboo from the Black Eyed Peas? No, I don't remember. What did you um, think? No, that's the, from the Legend of Chun Li. Oh god, yeah, that might have been. I don't even think. Of, oh yeah, well, well, I could throw in Dead or Alive oh. for the movie yeah. Alive. Which <laughs> 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 um. But, man, Brian, you need to go play Street Fighter. I mean, after looking at Figure Arts Cammy last week, I thought you'd be like, I'm intrigued with this Cammy. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, yeah. But, all right. Okay, moving on. I don't know if you guys are role-playing fanatics like I am, but Final Fantasy versus Dragon Quest. Wow. Dragon Warrior. Chocobos Hmm. versus Slime. Hmm. Um, Um, I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan, so I'd go with that. 
That's crazy. Go. I got to go with Final abstain. Fantasy. Yeah. If uh, if only for the music. Yeah, true. The music is really so good. good. It, it, oh, yeah, they always had good. Um, that's true. It cuts with it. Yeah, I in my my wedding, I actually had uh, eyes on me playing during a part of the ceremony. Oh wow, cool. Oh man, UNC won. Goodbye, Oregon. Well, Ooh, uh, nice. I mean, you know, what can you do, man? Um, be a good finals. <laughs> and I think we're going to get our ass kicked. I'm just gonna, I'll say right now, I'm glad we're going to the championship, but I, I think we're going to get our ass kicked. Um, uh, for me, I love, I like Dragon Quest just because of Kiri Toriyama. A lot of the design work, you know, we carried over and such later on. Uh, but Final Fantasy, I mean, Final Fantasy Seven. I, I don't think I even went to my semester of college when that came out. I'm like, oh my god, I'm. It's like my roommate's like, uh, dude, what are you doing? Playing Final Fantasy Seven? Uh, you have nine o'clock class. Fuck it. Come yeah, back yep, at noon. Yep. Don't you have a one o'clock yeah, class? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I don't care. I'm playing Final Fantasy Seven. So. I remember the first time someone described Final Fantasy Seven to me, and he's like, "This game is so amazing. There's like sixty types of gloves." <laughs> I was just amazed that they, they killed Eris. I'm like, whoa, the flower girl. Wow. That's some deep wow. shit. And I just love that Cloud had that buster sword. It's like, oh my god, damn, you're uh, compensating for something? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's the boy. It's like, okay, I'm playing some Final Fantasy VII. Give me some of that Tifa Lockhart and that Yuffie. Woo. That's a big throwing star. I don't know if he's playing. He might be playing Final Fantasy actually right now. I don't know which one he's playing, but it's either Final Fantasy or Destiny, one of those two. I would love to. Play. Um, I have all the Final Fantasy games except for some of the newer ones, but I like one through twelve and some of the or thirteen. I, don't know, I, don't know, I, I think. 12, I, think I think he's playing fourteen. Where where do you did we? I'm just playing on. Likes to play online. Yeah, I got thirteen lightning. Yeah, uh, but man, I would love to be able to play some of those again. But uh, my kids <laughs> got to go to summer camp, and I just need to have the blinders on and just like focus, <laughs> just <laughs> the shit out of that. <laughs> All right, moving on. Maybe this might spark up some debate: PlayStation versus Xbox. X. Uh... Oh, he's uh, re- Okay. PlayStation all the way, my friend. That's my uh. uh even even though I ha- own Xbox, there are some PlayStation games that I would lo- I would lo- love to play. So you're going with PlayStation? Uh, Xbox. Is that your final answer? Yes. All right. Yeah. Charles is not getting a Christmas card. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a Nintendo Wii option? No, I wanted to put that no. in there, but that's its own niche. You're you're gonna love the Wii, or you're gonna love the Switch, and you know all that niche stuff. So I just the hardcore. You want to straight straight console, straight gaming console? Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, you can only get your Mario's and your Zelda's and all that stuff. So you're gonna go towards Nintendo for that. Yeah. But yeah. PlayStation. But like, Okay, PlayStation, cool. And you can encompass all of it together. PlayStation, PlayStation 2, 3, 4, Xbox, oh, Xbox sure. 360, Xbox One, all that if you want. Throw in the PSP. Yeah. I don't care. I've had every single PlayStation console they've come out with. I keep Every time I, they come out with a new one, I buy the new one. <laughs> I'm, I'm such an idiot. I keep going. <laughs> no, I used to be like that, and then I... I I need to buy a PS4, and my daughter's going into kindergarten this year, so I'm gonna be by myself. And I'll be like, "Yay! I'm gonna start gaming again." Yeah, that's it's fun. Oh my god, it's gonna be so much fun. Sometimes I'll just take the day. I'll just I'm be fully I'm retired. Gonna... I love it. Oh god, it's so nice to be retired at the age of forty. Um, so yeah, I go PlayStation. I got I I like Halo. And I like some of the games that are only on, but uh, man, without Metal Gear, the original stuff, even though it got ported over, but Final Fantasy and just 
reminiscing on those days back in the day. God of War. God of, yeah, God of War. Sounds a crazy game, man. Fun. Good game. Yeah, that was a good yeah. game. Which which one gets hacked more where you lose your credit card information? The Xbox. <laughs> Pro- probably. The Xbox. <laughs> Wow. Probably Microsoft. They just don't tell you about it. Yeah, I've heard more stories from Microsoft. It's like an Android. Apple, you're not going to pretty much get hacked too much, so that's PlayStation. Let's go with that. You're probably going to get hate mail now. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> Xbox is for life. You suck. But, all right. Toys R Us versus KB Toys back in the day. All right, I was, I was a KB uh, Toys fan, so... I got to say KB, man, because they're the only yeah. ones that were in my town. <laughs> uh, see, there you go, yeah. yeah. I was, I just, KB was great, man. <laughs> I was a Toys R Us kid. Ah, okay. And I still haven't grown up. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, where other than KB can you go to for discounted items at full price? Yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah. You know, something to do in the mall too. At yeah. least for me, when I was a kid, it was the only enjoyment when I'd have like, ah, oh, I'm going to the mall with my parents. Please be a KBs. Please have a KBs. Oh yeah, yes, the KBs. But I would choose Toys R Us too. I'm I'm a Toys R Us kid. I liked everything about the nostalgia of the having to get the little tickets for the oh, video man. games, the oh, yeah. big you know oh, aisles yeah. and all that type of stuff. It was just what a toy store should be back in the day. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. You, toys R Us was always bigger, too, than KB Toys, wasn't it? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, it was yeah. huge. huge. I just like KB. Yeah, I just like KB because of all the... If I wanted something for if I wanted something for cheap, I could always go to KB and get it cheaper. <laughs> you get it cheaper if you had a red pin? Yep. You'll get it cheap. Change your own pricing. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Oh no! But so shady. <laughs> but yeah. All right, Hasbro versus Mattel. Oh. Hmm. Incorporate all uh, of it back in the day to now. Hasbro. 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 Yeah, Hasbro. <laughs> Reluctantly. <laughs> what is, is it? Because Transformers. Probably that would probably be what what yeah. pushed them or just pushing mm-hmm. you. Yeah, but but yeah. Mattel did some awesome stuff, man, back in the day. I love Mattel. Um, what did they have besides Hot Wheels? Barbie. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Barbie. <laughs> Wrestling. Wrestling, yeah. Mm-hmm. He Man. He Man. Oh yeah, they well they used yeah. to. I was you know. I was a big, I was a big Hot Wheels fan, though. I, so that's why Mattel was probably a big soft spot for me. Because were you one of the guys of that would run into the stores yeah. checking out all the Hot Wheels and pushing little kids over? Probably, yeah. I mean, you I probably, pretty, you're like, pretty, yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, at one point, I think I had, goddamn, I probably had about 500 Hot Wheels cars. Or something yeah, at one point. So my mom wow. and then my, my mom kept saying, "You're not getting any more of those," and I go, "Okay," and I'd get more, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you collect them because you liked them, or you knew like they were gonna go, like the value behind oh, them? No, no. I played with them, and I was like, "Oh, I would, okay. yeah, I would, I'd take them out in the dirt and shit and play with them." Stuff. Yeah, wow, I was. Like, I was uh, Did you set uh, up like a uh, big racks? Um, I had, I had, I had these big like giant tubs that my mom got for me that were just full of cars. For sure, wow. yeah. And, then, cool. and my my son was into the Hot Wheels tracks and stuff, so when he was a kid. I got him a bunch of Hot Wheels cars, and then he wanted all the tracks. So we set tracks up all over the house and shit. It was crazy. Nice. Yeah, it was good times, though. <laughs> I'm going to say back in the day, I would choose Kenner, which obviously is not on this list. But today, okay. I would choose Hasbro, I think. Yeah, today, Hasbro, hands yeah. down. I mean, yep. I thought there was a rumor around that Hasbro was – I mean, Hasbro is overtaken, I believe, Mattel. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, and all that, as far as like sales and mm-hmm. just growth and everything. But yeah, Hasbro, I mean, yeah. I, I was, wasn't there a rumor going on that Hasbro was going to buy Mattel or something? Yeah, it was like last yeah. year they mentioned that. Yeah, I thought I'd heard that. And I don't know if it was ever going to get to fruition or anything, but hey, there's Hasbro a new, Vince McMahon of toys. Yeah, there's a, yeah, really. There's a new show coming out 
I don't know, it's some like stupid reality show or whatever, or a game show with kids as judges. And I think it's, I think it's, it's backed by Mattel. It's called, <laughs> I forget, I forget what it's called, like the toy box or something or other. The goldfish tank. <laughs> something like that. That's yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. I'm pretty sure it is Mattel. Yeah. Oh, and then like uh, kids, like uh, internet stars. Yeah. Oh God, really? Internet. It's gonna be like a, it's gonna be like a real life big situation or something like that. Uh, where, hey. uh, well, <laughs> not exactly real life, but they're gonna have kids <laughs> like, judging the toys or whatever. Huh. All right. Up next, Hasbro Takara Tommy versus third party, and these are just examples, but Make Toys fans, Project fans, toys, and Mastermind Creations. But third party versus official, I guess, if you really want to nail it. We incorporate everything. Chug, masterpiece. Holy shit. Holy sh- Well, I don't know if it's holy. Nah. That's a lot of... Uh, it, that's a lot of... Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of interesting things to choose from here. <laughs> that's what I want. I want to spark up conversation. I just want yeah, to know, like, what is- do you think... Bottom line, like... Hasbro and you're getting the official stuff or you, you had to nix one of them. You know? Which one? Yeah, I'll always take official over third party. That's that's not a, a tough question for me. Okay, that, now see, I used to be that way, but now I take third party over official. <laughs> so, um. <laughs> if I could get official, I get official, but if there's a third party version out there, I go for it. Um, yeah. So you're a third party? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I got third party. What about uh, it's our KO? <laughs> <laughs> you always got to throw uh, in a third option. Yeah, no, no, I'm sorry. No, I would – Um, I'm choosing third party, but it's because of the options that we have. Yeah. I agree. It's a I lot mean, more. And I mean everything from Masterpiece to Chug to these new legends that like Iron sure. Factory and stuff is doing. Yes. Yeah, true. This, this is a lot, I mean, a lot more companies out there. Yeah, mm-hmm. I doubt that Hasbro would ever make like a, a official Decepticon Justice Division or a Tarn. So right, yeah, that's yeah. true. Which is really a shame because doesn't basically Hasbro back IDW essentially? I mean, aren't they? You know, they basically let IDW have yeah. the license to do Transformers, and I mean, and and I don't understand why Hasbro. They're they're basically Hasbro's characters. It's like they're your characters. Yeah. But that's I a kid you... squad. I don't know if they want it for a children's toy line. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> Shit, the kids are kids are reading the comic book. What's going <laughs> true? <laughs> but now they can Wait, act it out. Aren't you, oh. Our children yeah, really reading the comic book. Uh, and actually, you might be right. It might be uh, more adults. Actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me, I would probably go. I'd go official. Not to again, not to say that third party is, you know, inferior by any means, yeah. but I, I you got more options. That's true. You got a ton of companies, and a, a lot of them are actually doing a really good job. Yeah, but yeah. I would still go Hasbro, Takara, Tommy, and all that. You know, even you know, throw in the Collectors Club back in the day, getting those obscure characters. Um, I just don't think third party would go that realm uh, for those um, obscure dudes like uh, you know Ch- for Chug for instance yes we got a Tarn we got the DJD but are we going to get like that punch counter punch or are we going to get some of these 3H wreckers are we going to get some of these um, I don't know if you're a Beast Wars fan uh, universe characters that are part of the Unicron you know war all that type of stuff. I don't see it happening with the third party because it's not going to sell because they're not going to waste because they're a smaller entity. That's true. And that's why I'd probably go with that because I want, I just kind of want a variety of characters. You're right. Hasbro's giving giving me, even though it's a redeco and a little bit of retool, but I'm getting a metal hawk. What the fuck are you with third party, man? I I I just, yeah, I just watched Deluxe's review on that trigger happy. That's the same mold, right? Yep. And yeah. I am really excited to get a hold of that that Metal Hawk now. 
yeah, that's <laughs> that, I, I that have mold is that that figure is incredible. Yeah. The way it oh yeah, arms, man. I, I got the trigger happy just because I thought it looked cool and, and the mold. It's 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 one of the better figures that Hasbro's done in a long time. I really liked it a lot. So that metal hog is the same mold. I'm about to get that too. Yeah, minor wars all over again. Repaint school. <laughs> well, and it also like. <laughs> Hasbro proved to me with the Titans return line that they're willing to go in the Japanese realm. And that's the realm. Realm. Yeah. So I like that. I like the fact you're getting an Overlord. Right. You're getting a Black Shadow. You're getting, uh, we got a six shot. Uh, you're getting mm -hmm. Metal Hawk. We're getting six shot Sun, Quick Switch. You know, <laughs> we're getting all this, you know, these characters, which is really cool. And I like that. They're doing shit, Zane, that I never thought they would do. Oh yeah, never thought Hasbro would do it. So I gave, I gave him some credit for that. That's pretty awesome, you know. We're getting a God Jinrai. Uh, they yeah, they yeah. answered the call. I mean, we, I mean perfect that. effect probably will do better, but hey, at least we're getting. You have that official option. True. So yep. all right, moving on. This is something that sparked a little interest because I was talking to my wife about it. It's like GI Joe versus Transformers, and for me, I was taking it back to the eighties when they first came out, and what I predominantly played with i played with my gi joes more than i played with transformers oh, and I for did. that nostalgia reasons i would pick mm. gi joe yeah um i i did too um I'm, i think i'm a bigger gi joe fan than i am transformers fan uh this is gi this is nowadays gi joe just doesn't have anything really out there that much so you can say it sucks yeah well it does <laughs> it's, it's, it's terrible there's not there's no there's nothing you know we don't have the the I mean, rest like, you were you were at NJCC. There's so much stuff that you no, no, old stuff you could buy. <laughs> I, I agree, but that's true. But I'm, I'm there's no there's no TV show to back it up now. There's no, um, you know, for me for me yeah. I'm talking about for little kids nowadays. I can see where GI Joe just kind of is almost extinct. You know, um, for Hasbro, their one two punch was Transformers and GI Joe for a long time. Yeah, for toy yeah. shows, it was a nice yeah. you know. I was like, great, this is cool. Transformers, I can go GI Joe, but now it's. You know, Transformers obviously can hold it, hold their own, but it's right. just like for Hasbro, it's it's Transformers Star Wars. For you know, and Star Wars has always been there, but it just ugh, it irks me that I can't get any more GI Joe. Hey, do you guys? I mean, if you think back, like you're playing with your friends, you're playing your Transformers, and you know, you, you go through transforming all of them, and then you know, sometimes you're like playing, and it's like. And then you start transforming them and it's taking forever. And do you guys <laughs> just kind of like, does it, does the fun just kind of like bottom out and be like, hey, let's switch on to something else now or something like that? Or I don't know. I just, rem I remember having that kind of situation show up. Whereas with G.I. Joe, you know, you just had your vehicles and your dudes and yeah. easy oh, peasy. Yeah. You got the <laughs> backyard as your jungle set yeah. and you're, you're good to go. I, I remember actually messed like, Masters fixing that problem for me. I you know what action masters were pretty cool because I thought they were like transformers that were just like GI Joe figures. Sort of. That's how I treat. That's how I treat. They didn't have the articulation as a GI Joe, but yeah, the whole I nuclear it was, yeah, <laughs> yeah. lots of transformations. Yeah, but it, I thought it was pretty neat. I had the, I remember I had Devastator with Devastator action master. I thought it was pretty cool. But I agree with Brian. It got cumbersome to. Yeah. Okay, we're at the arc, you know, wherever that you had it, and like, okay, let's transform and roll out. And yeah. so you have like seven cars, and they're all in robot mode, and you're like, shit, got transformed. <laughs> and then you're moving them like a step by step, <laughs> step by step. I hope we're not too far away from the Decepticons. This is gonna suck ass. Yeah. And you're like going from the yes. driveway to like the back. You're like, come on, <laughs> come on. We're yeah. missing one. Where is he? He's somewhere in the grass. I don't know. So. It's <laughs> I didn't know why I was such a con fan because the cons flew everywhere, you know? Yep, yeah, that, that was nice. <laughs> that was easy, you know? <laughs> it's so much easier. You could just pack up the G.I. Joes and the APC and you're off. <laughs> you're yeah, just yeah. like, let's, let's go. Same yeah. with Star Wars. You could just pack them in the Millennium Falcon or something and just fly away. Yeah. Um, and all that. But, Yeah. Now you can incorporate movies and you can do all this as far as a franchise. Obviously, Transformers is going to dominate GI Joe. Uh, but, but that kind of reminds me, like for stuff like GI Joe and Star Wars, it was always figures and vehicles sold separately. Yeah, you always Wolf. had both right there. Yeah, 
Yeah, but G.I. Joe had vehicles that came with figures, too. Yeah, like Wolverine, yeah. Cover Girl, Zartan mm-hmm, right. with his gift, Sergeant Slaughter with yeah. his, his tur- yeah. uh, triple T. Thrash it with the jet and drip. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Was it Ace? Ace came with the Sky Striker. Yeah. Wild yeah. Weasel with the Rattler. Okay, sure. so I think, okay. Well, right. Yeah. Cutter with the Hovercraft. General Didn't... Flag with the, or no, General Keelhaul with um, Admiral with, Keelhaul. With, with the flag, with right? Flag. Yeah. Payload. What was the name of the Never mind. What was, the name, of the, what was the name of the jet with the sleeping wings that kind of replaced the Sky Strikers in season two? Slipstream. Yeah, Slipstream came with the. What was the name of that jet? The Conquest. The Conquest. Oh, yeah. that was the backward really? wings, right? Yeah. Yep. yeah. yeah. That, the Conquest was a badass jet, man. That was, but that <laughs> Night Raven was so much yeah. cooler than that drone. Oh, I love Night that Raven. drone. Remember when they started repainting the stuff with like the Python Patrol and the Tiger yeah. Force? Yes. Or, oh, yes. Yeah, the Tiger Force uh, Conquest. And the Sky Striker. I don't know what was that one called with the the Raven that they they decked out in the nice like silver chrome. And uh, I did the same thing the, with the Havoc. The, they did the same the thing with that. I can't remember what I know what you're talking about though. I I can't remember the name of it though. Oh, that was so like oh my god, that looks so cool. Yeah. <laughs> remember the Awe Striker, man? Oh god, I have like yeah. seven. Of those. <laughs> Dude, I lived in a place where we had those Bilco doors for the for the basement, and we would just, you know, throw our vehicles. They'd all roll down the thing. Oh, I mean, it's so much fun. Oh, Good yeah, times. Dude. I loved it, man. All strikers were great. The the yep. uh, the Jeep. Uh, I, uh, I had what the, it was called. I had the GI Joe cargo care. I mean, our transporter. Y'all remember that? Do you remember the ABC. Yeah, yeah you, you could fit like like twenty eight guys and twenty eight figures in the damn thing. <laughs> yeah. It was insane. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's pretty good. All I right, used to make like bunkers out of popsicle sticks and stuff. Uh, so. that's, oh, it's Lincoln Logs. That's <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Lincoln Logs. Oh, or Lego or whatever I can get my hands on. Yeah, the cool thing about that was you could blow them up, blow it up. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> now, did any of you guys freeze your GI Joes? Little oh, I used to do action. It. Dude, I, did, I used to do it did. every yeah. Saturday morning. I wake up early, put them in a Tupperware container for yeah. some, and then go watch cartoons. Yeah. And then, like, slowly, like I'd slowly, like, drizzle the water out of the faucet to, like, yep. oh. God. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. yeah, I loved doing that. I'd had a little, like, bathroom <laughs> sink, like, a yeah. little battle scene and have, like, the <laughs> dripping water. They're in the little ice cube. Yeah. That was cool. I would freeze my uh, uh, Eco Force and then the. Uh, the uh, ninjas, the ones with the color changing effects. Yeah, right. They try and like get like a, a better color effect out of them. Yeah, I remember those? It's great stuff, man. I used to mummify them in dental floss too. Oh, I used to put tin foil on them <laughs> just to armor them up. <laughs> I'd put tin foil just wrap it around their arms and their chest and stuff. And I'm like, I have all these weird fucking GI Joes. <laughs> I was I was steal my mom's like hair bands and use and wrap hair bands around to make it like it was a like uh, like they got wounded and the hair band was like bandage you know? Oh, I, <laughs> I used to take a, a, a red <laughs> marker and put it on a Kleenex and put like some scotch tape over it and just like tape it to their arms or their body so they had like wounds. That's so, cool. I mean, I got That's like cool. in depth yeah. shit. Yeah. That's oh awesome. man, the imagination back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> now it's like. It's gone. It's a lost. Yeah, like, <laughs> you could figure oh. out like twist ties you would use for something, and you know sure. anything you get your hands on. Dude, I'm gonna go digging for some some old Joes, and I'm gonna freeze them tonight. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm thinking about <laughs> how I do that. Old school. It's like the um, Bala versus Venom that I don't really care about. I'm like, I might freeze your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I got some styrofoam cups. That's what I love. I get some styrofoam cups, get them in that block, and then break off the cup, and then you have this nice solid bass. Like, yeah, right. Excellent. All right. Okay, All right. moving on. Right. This is probably pretty obvious, but who would you choose, Optimus Prime or Rodimus? Choose to do Optimus. <laughs> Which um, is your favorite? Who would you rather have a 64-episode <laughs> season of just watching all the time? Let's let let's let's just break it down. Would you rather have heroic, awesome guy, father or figure, or whiny kind of figure? Yeah, absolutely. Or, or the or or the little whiny bitch. Every time he turned around, was bitching about having to be the leader. It's not fair. Yeah. So 
I say Optimus Prime if you haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my choice is Optimus. Uh, yeah, I gotta well, go yeah, with we, Optimus. I've got I, one, two, as three, much three as four, I five, like six, mine. seven Optimuses right in here in arm's reach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me, eight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Rodimus was like somebody I'd like to hang out with, but as far as like following in the battle, uh, be Optimus. Yeah, yeah, because he was like a little bitch kid. You know, you could hang out with him, and be like, "Hey, all right, you're cool. We can party." And with then Rodimus, stuff. Rodimus <laughs> would say things that Optimus would never say, like that episode of uh, Dark Awakening when they were on that escape pod from the ship that blew up. Spike was like, great. What did Daniel and I do when the air runs out? You know what Rodimus says? He says, great. He says, you got two choices. You can either suffocate or smother. <laughs> suffocate or smother. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm like, that will Optimus ever say something like that? Ever? That is... That's Actually, classic. I, might have, I might have a little more respect for Rodimus for saying that. <laughs> I'm like, wow, really? You can either die heroic or just shut the hell up. Yeah. <laughs> he must have been on his period. Uh, he he must have been on his period. Keep it 100. Wow. Yeah. Um, oh, I will admit that Rodimus, when I, as a kid, seeing him for the first time and then in the movie, I was like, wow, this is a really cool looking character. And yeah. to see him grow from Hot Rod to Rodimus, like a Rodimus. That was cool. Rodimus, I was like, wow, that's, that's really badass. Cool, and, yeah. And I like the robot mode and the, the space age Winnebago, you know, all that type of stuff. Until but knowing the, the character more, yeah, getting the toy yeah. and the dirt face and um, <laughs> the stupid ass fin on the back and everything else and the slender tapered jean look, you know, it just was too much. Um, but the the vehicle mode looked really badass and it, at yeah. least it came packaged that way. Yep. But yeah, I'm not a fan of Rodimus, but I absolutely adore Hot Rod. Yeah, yeah. Even though he knows he can never get the girl, that ass belongs to Springer. Yeah, about it. he hooked up with a human. Oh, oh yeah, the only yeah, human. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, using abuse his ass. Yeah, they did have coffee the next morning, didn't they? Well, yeah, for breakfast did. or something. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Laker lubricants. How's that energy oh, taste? Oh, 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 man. <laughs> whoa, oh, whoa, I'm dead. Whoa. I, I went there. Okay, so up next is Megatron versus Ooh, Galvatron. I know that they're the same person <laughs> at G1, but... Yeah, but, you, but you know what? They were vastly different, man. Oh, yes, yeah, they, they were. Really they crazy. Were. The other one was just very... Um, I wish Anna was awake right now. I, I love Anna. Would love this. Wake her up. <laughs> Why she oh, Galvatron sure. fan? Oh, she loves Galvatron, dude. That's like, <laughs> that's probably her favorite Decepticon. You know, between what's between Galvatron and Starscream. Ironically, one kills the other. It's kind of funny, but <laughs> um, yeah. But she she loves Galvatron. So uh, I would say Galvatron has more personality that we got to see in season three. Yeah. Yeah, which even I like. Was schizo. <laughs> but yeah, that, that was even. Better. Yeah, but Megatron really has a lot of cool moments. Yeah, in the, in the first he does. Two and, the Decepticons you know, retreat. Uh, yeah, right, right. right. <laughs> but he, he had some moments where you could say, "Damn, I'll you know, rip out your eye." Right. Yeah. What? What? A, what an awesome he, villain! You know? He wasn't scared of Grimlock. No. Well, that's because he's a. You know, he's badass. You know? <laughs> it's mega he's nice. Even though Gridlock told him I like stupid enemy, but he, he was like, I'm not scared of you. And oh my god, was Megatron so badass in Transformers Prime, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was remember when, absolutely. Yeah, remember what Arachnid? Yeah, that is the Megatron uh, I like. Remember when Arachnid had that Insecticon to attack Megatron? Yeah. Oh, and he, he, he went, he went like right Gladiator of K-On or whatever. Yeah, he's yeah, like, he's like, like you ass. don't know, like yeah, pretty much. He's pretty much. He said, "I'm from the streets." Yeah, <laughs> the that's street. right. You must have just the like wrong you said, bro. Yep, <laughs> he is a bad. I mean, he's just yeah. He's, so he's he's been a great character in, a, in all the different incarnations of him too. Have been great, you know. But then you got you didn't need a Matrix to help him out. That's true. Absolutely. I mean, not. I'm not trying to diss Optimus fans, but yeah. kind of got a little bit of a crutch with yeah. the Matrix of leadership. 
Yeah. There's a little more strength, a little more wisdom if you're, you know, looking at it. Megatron didn't have that. Yeah, Megatron had a dream. <laughs> That's what it started out with Origins. I have my robots. <laughs> I will tell you the the different the biggest difference between them is Megatron put up with Starscream. Yeah, yeah. Maybe because he saw the qualities he could he could use in Starscream, but Galvatron. Galvatron. I don't yeah. know. Galvatron just sort of said, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, I'm eliminating this problem right fucking now." Yeah. <laughs> <You're done. laughs> well, Galvatron. Oh, that was. Up with this. Well, he threw him out of Astro Chain. That's right. <laughs> to be fair, that was like pretty much right after like they killed Megatron. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, so, maybe the star screen went one step too far. That was it. Your, your history, you know. But on a bet, I think it was it was perfect though. I think Starscream took a good opportunity. So do I. But he didn't I think, uh, like count on Unicron coming by. Yeah, right? no, he didn't. So it was such a great moment too. And I will say, Galvatron at least had Cyclonus underneath him, even though Soundwave was in both. But. True. I'm not trying to take Galvatron. I, I mean, I'm I'm for Megatron, but uh, Galvatron, I just liked his quirkiness um, when he was stuck on that world with the the crazies. I like that. <laughs> that was that was a great episode. The C minor episode with him with all those freaky <laughs> human or alienoids and all that type of shit. So it was pretty cool. It's, which which what episode was it? You talking about the one with the mental the mental? Uh, it's like a web, uh, mental web, whatever. web world. Is that what it was? Yeah. That yeah. was good. That's like my favorite uh, season three episode. It's <laughs> 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 a great episode, man. I thought it was chaos and C minor. Chaos and C minor. That was the other one that I was like, okay, this is funny too. But um, yeah, I yeah, you know, fuck it. I'm taking Galvatron. <laughs> and I wouldn't have known. And I want to yeah. know why in the world did they draw him flying with Soundwave holding hands? Like, what the hell? They were friends. <laughs> 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 All right, <laughs> let's just leave it at that. I'm I'm going with Megatron because Galvatron. There is no risk of getting in trouble with the TSA. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That, that's just Megatron is way more badass. You don't want that. You don't want and, that and uh, pat down. You don't want that pat down. That's and right. Story, like my first Spockon was like within like a couple years of September 11th, and I got a reissued G1 Megatron, and I didn't want to put it in my check-in, so I had to take it out of the package, transform it into robot mode, and put it back in my luggage. And hope that the TSA wasn't going to notice and uh, and take it away. So, eh. bullets. Galvatron is a fire bullets. Yeah, but he's got he a is. nice horrible electronic noise. That that would scare <laughs> off. That scares off little animals. <laughs> it scares <laughs> off little animals. <laughs> but yes, the plastic bullets. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's the most badass toy ever. But it, at least Galvatron was its its own, wasn't a rehash from another yeah. series. It was a, you know, made by original design. Right. But I'm still go, I still go with Megatron. I like Megatron too. Yeah, it's hard for me, but I'm gonna go with Galvatron. <laughs> but Megatron. All right. for me. Megatron. <laughs> did, you, did you say Megatron ring? Yep. All right. He still functions. <laughs> right, so here here is a um, here's a debate that I've had a while back, and you may you may share the same or not. But back in the early two thousands, we got a lot of reissues. <clears throat> reissue was the, the the biggest thing going on, you know, early mid two thousand. Uh, we had the the ter- Takara reissue, and then it came into the collection, then the commemorative, and then the encore, and then sometimes now it's in the platinum, all that stuff. But right here, how do you guys feel about original versus reissue as far as putting it in your collection, knowing that, well, I want the original that was released back in 84 or whenever it came out, and the reissue is not the same. Even though you're you're going to be the only one that's going to touch this thing, unless you have your original, but um, you get to put the stickers on and have that nostalgia feel. But it's not technically the same as 
having like, the original. Yeah. You say like they change coloring and things like that. No, basically. no. I mean, some that of these are straight up the same, exactly yeah. the same. Okay. And mm -hmm. I'm just saying, some people are purist. They right. need the original. Right. I want the original. I don't want to reissue because that's that's not the same. What do you guys feel about that? Would you take whatever because you just want the character? I, or are you like, no, I, I want the reissue or I want the original? I liked getting new toys as a kid back in the 80s. And I like getting fresh new toys now. I will take the reissue every time. Yeah, you know, I would take the reissue too. Like, <laughs> no, no, Jim, are you talking about people who, who uh, MS, MISB collectors or? Um, no. Okay. no. No, it's just getting that character like Starscream here. It doesn't have to be in the box, but to know that I'm getting the official like back in the day release compared to, oh, I'm getting the the Takara, you know, reissue or I'm getting, obviously there's going to be differences between the commemorative, the Hasbro, because it's going to have extended, you know, missiles for safety reasons and all that type of stuff, but the identical stuff. Mm. That's what I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. Well, I was getting ready to say reissue, but now that you mentioned missiles, you know what? Prime doesn't have short smokestacks, so I'm going original. <laughs> but Takara, though, you could go with... Oh, damn it. That, that Whatever's cheapest. Okay, whatever. whatever. That's a good point too. Whatever's cheapest. That's another thing. All right. Like Fort Max is a good example. Do you want the original or are you willing to buy the Takara reissue Encore for a cheaper price, obviously? But it is the Japanese that comes with the sword. Different box too. Or do you want the Hasbro? I don't, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, with that one, I definitely want reissue Fort Max. I say so too. Yeah. Unless you're collecting for uh, what do you call it? Value or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll go for the Takara reissue because it shoots bullets and it won't cost me an arm and a leg to actually get the bullets. This man loves shooting he bullets. Loves, I know, right? He loves this you're, game. You're a Megatron yeah. fan, aren't you? <laughs> I will, it's, I, I'm a little fixated on Megatron today for obvious reasons. Go. Cool. Yeah. Um, man. For me, it wouldn't matter as long as it's, if there's a reissue. Like back in the day, it was nice because we all thought we were going to get reissues of almost every G1 to a certain degree, like through season three. Mm -hmm. uh, because we got Cup, you know, for obvious reasons, we didn't get the Dinobot Sunstreaker, Wheeljack, Mirage because the molds are gone, you know, but yet they can get knocked off. Um, True. But if there's no significant change as far as coloring, and or like missiles, that type of stuff. If it's spot on, then I would go with reissue. I don't really care. Um, it's just cheaper, and I like like what you know, um, Rick or Patrick or Dust Point Two Point Oh um, <laughs> <laughs> said. I like having new toys and getting that that nostalgia feel like I get to put the stickers on and they, they do come with right. the die cast. They come with the rubber tire and it's just like, wow, this is really cool. Yeah. Um, so that, that new toy smell that too. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> yeah. How many of you guys smell your toys when you get them? I do. <laughs> I admit it. I do. I don't know why. <laughs> I just, I got it. It's like, Oh wow. That smells good. Well, with third party, toys i i smell them just to make sure there's no chemical or nothing <laughs> so I gonna, like, this thing russ is passed out on the floor like whatever yeah. i was smelling something it's like oh dude crush me here you know but... cool all right here's a big one we're almost done chug versus masterpiece what do you choose? <laughs> masterpiece all the way all right <clears throat> Mm. Dun, dun, dun. Wow, oh. that is hard. And this is not official. This is every every chug from third party to official masterpiece, official third party. Do, 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 do. Mm. Oh no! Yeah, you know I love masterpiece, but I tell you what, I'm a chug guy, man. I still, I, I still like stuff that that, especially third party, some of the stuff they do for chug. It's just amazing. Some of the characters we get, I don't know. I have to yeah. say Chug. I have to say Chug. Without Chug, be, I wouldn't be able to have DJD, you know? That, that would just ruin everything for me. <laughs> <laughs> huh. 
that's my reasoning. I yeah. chug all the way. I love masterpiece, but I will not get a full masterpiece line that I want right. in my yeah. lifetime. Uh huh. Unless they start cranking them out left and right, I'm not going to get it in my lifetime. Or by the time that I feel like, you know what, I'm too old for this shit. Um, so yeah. chug, at least I am, or I have, almost. True. I mean, I just need a Desaurus, even though my 2005 Botcon Death Source is good enough, but I still would like a Desaurus to go with my TFC Toys, Lyle Kaiser, and the Fans Project Dino King. Um, you know, but we're getting a Road Caesar. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, I need a Star Saber for my chug, and hopefully someday that'll happen. That'd be epic. <laughs> but we, I mean, come on, are we going to get a Metroplex in the, in the Masterpiece line? Uh, I don't think so. Are we going to get a Unicron? I don't think so either. Primus? No. <laughs> um, huh. Trypticon? Ah, no. Scorpionog? Mm. Um, and if we do, then it's it's really not going to be to scale. And you're going to have to just be fine with that. Yeah. Or be fine with shelling out a shit ton of money. But how about the rest of you? Man, this is a tough choice. But you know what? I just looked over and saw my fans toys Dinobots, so I'm just gonna have to go with Masterpiece as a result really? of that. Oh my god. <laughs> That's cool. The fans <laughs> toys is you know, I mean, I love like I, I love Chug for all the reasons that you and Russ just mentioned. Like yeah. I, I still love those toys. Yeah. But I just happen to be looking at them. And I tell you, Jane, you don't have them. But these no. fans toys Dinobots, man, they are something. To people, I <laughs> I'm, swear. I'm sure they no, are yeah. incredible. Yeah, nice. Yeah, thanks, Brian. It's rubbing it. Yep. In. Sorry, bastard. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go with masterpiece. Um, I think just looking at how like toys age over time, like some of the chugs, they like felt great when they came out, but looking back out on them. I just don't appreciate them the same way, but, but Masterpiece, huh? for the okay. most part, up really well. Cool. Here's a question, then. What do you have more in your collection, Chug or Masterpiece? Masterpiece. Shut up, Charles. You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen your Planet X and all that other I stuff. Front. I'm nothing but Chug. I should I, I missed part of it. What do you have more in your collection, Chug or Masterpiece? <clears throat> like just sheer quantity of figures? Uh yep. Oh well I definitely have more Chug, but that's because they're cheaper. I'm just that's it's just a question. So you well, have that's, Chug. All right. That's an argument toward Chug then too, isn't it? They're less expensive. You can take so. it wherever you want to go with it, but I'm just yeah. it, <clears throat> yes, there's not as much masterpiece as Chug, but no one's liquidated them besides dust, you know, <laughs> and going that route. But I'm, I'm just curious. For me, I have more chug, obviously. Yeah, I have I mean, more. It's chug. been around longer too. You could you can argue that. I mean, chug classic started in 07 or 06, 07, I think, and it's gone strong till now. But yeah, I, I gotta go chug. I just. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I say I own more chug. I mean, I think I think any any a lot of us would, right? Unless they're just not collecting it at all, or or you or, liquidated it, or didn't collect it right in the past, or got rid of it. But, yeah. Um, but uh, I mean, I I have I I focus some of my collections. Like all my combiners are pretty much chug. Um, like even like I don't even own the big boys like the TFCs, and I don't own the um the i guess like feral rex or any of that stuff like i have a couple combiner wars and i've got the fans project little ones and i've got hercules right so mm. it's like uh and then you know i have my wreckers that i built in the chug scale and i got the primes to choke a titan i guess or whatever choke, but, uh, <laughs> I mean, choke a horse but uh, I even like Decepticon jets. I have a, I have a focus chug collection of those. Of just um, like I had this, I just had this overwhelming uh, 
uh, compulsion to have Decepticons always be planes. Mm -hmm. So I've got a, a I've got you know, the core seekers. I don't have any cone heads, but I do have like the weird ramjet oh. and thrusts that came out in those universe lines and the generations Megatron and stuff like that. And okay. Cool. Yeah. So and you're I, a chug. You're, yeah. You're a chug. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I, I collect masterpiece though. I mean, when, sure. Once I get my display together, there's going to be some <clears throat> tough choices to be made. But it's a difficult question. Yeah, um, yeah. all have great points, um, and it's whatever makes you happy. But and it's great to have variety. But, Definitely. But for me, uh, I don't think I'm going to get what I want out of the masterpiece line. Not to say that I'm going to stop collecting masterpiece, but yeah. I'm not going to get everything that I I truly want. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Oh well. Okay, moving on to some other stuff. Yeah, we're still going. I'm trying to get through this. It's going to be a longer show. Star Wars versus Star Trek. Which one do you like more? Star Star Wars. Why? <laughs> why Why is that, Charles? Is it a Wookiee thing? Just... <laughs> <laughs> Ewok? I just... Slave it's Leia? A... <laughs> it's more, more of the characters that I like uh, in the story. Compared to Star Trek, oh, yeah. I, just, I never got it. You don't like Robin? I don't like the uh, <laughs> Klingons. I was a fan of next. Uh, I was a fan of the Next Generation because of Patrick Stewart. But I just there's something about Star Wars I like better. You like smuggling and all that. <laughs> cool. Jedi, Jedi, Sith, <laughs> droids. Yeah. You don't like data? You don't like the Borg? Cool. How about the rest of you guys? <laughs> yeah, to me it's Star Wars. Um like like Chuck, next generation, I really love that show, but you know, in my heart, it's Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah, Star Wars for me, man. Just I I like the the whole ex the, the uni the just the whole universe of Star Wars is just more yeah. appealing to me than Star Trek. And I like Star Trek as well, but but if I had to pick one, I prefer Star Wars over that. So. Go. Trent's. Oh, you boy. One. You got to pick one, man. Uh, <laughs> I mean, because to me, they're kind of different. With Star Wars, you could take oh, any of those characters and put them in different settings, and when only the setting would change. Star Trek, in some of the episodes, if you take away the whole science aspect, because Star Wars science seems to be shits and giggles, whatever. Uh, the whole, <laughs> what is that, the potato drive from a uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Yeah. If you take the science, Star, Star, Trek, Star Trek is more for like science geeks and nerds. I think Star Wars yeah. is more straight up fantasy. All right. Uh, but as far as Bush, come on, you got to yeah. choose. I wouldn't mind being a Jedi, so I got to reluctantly and just by a narrow margin, I got to go with Star Wars. Oh, all right. I thought we had a Trekkie. <laughs> if it wasn't for the whole Force aspect in Jedi's, or oh, I'd be Star Trek. Nice. In, in defense of Star Wars and their and the whole science thing, though, there there are some science facts in Star Wars. Just a few, like like the whole Tie Fighter, Tie Fighter. You know, it's twin ion engine. That's like a uh -huh. real. That's real. That's legit. Oh, it is? So you could, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's a real <laughs> Doctor uh, Rosen. Doctor so Rosen. That, that technology is, is, it's, it's 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 kind of being worked on to, to realize it, but it's, it's that actually, light speed shit. That's you know, unreal. um, that speeder bikes they're, they're on the way. They're, they're hoping to get to that at some point. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I will. I would say that the solar get there's a ship that um that Count Dooku has the solar sail. That's legit. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that, 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 that is legit. Solar, yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's legit science. So, yep. you know, there, there's some legitimate, in space. Mm -hmm. right. There's some, some, some legitimate science things. You've been listening to Nerd Ridge a lot, haven't you? A little, a little. Not, my my <laughs> wife listens to it all the time. It's more than I do, but <laughs> I do catch <laughs> it. Yeah. I would, I, for I, me, I would go Star Wars. You were Star Wars? Are, are you trying to say the Force ain't legit? Because yeah, <laughs> especially especially <laughs> since trick you, Russ. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about the rest of you, but you know, multiple times a day, I can make hand dryers go, faucets go, <laughs> doors open. <laughs> Dude, I'm, 
Okay. <laughs> I can just walk into a room now and lights will come on, man. I'm just, dude, I got that shit down on lock. I just waiting for my my uh, my lightsaber to show up. You know, someone needs to make one of them. I got these little droids yeah. that go around my carpet cleaning it. it was, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Pretty bad. <laughs> Love them. <laughs> They're going over, all over the place. Now, tell the truth. When you go into a bathroom and you see one of those paper towel dispensers, you don't hold your hands up like, Oh, I do all the time. Yeah, Absolutely. man. <laughs> when I when I go into a when I go into a store and with the automatic doors, I would wave my hand. <laughs> I mean, Anna's always like, "Shut the fuck up! Don't do that." You know, I'm like, Ugh. here's the question: If you ever go to Canada and you're you're going through a checkpoint, do you ever tell the the person right there, the the custom guy, these aren't the droids you're looking for? <laughs> okay. I've never done it, but you know what? I might have to. <laughs> <laughs> They'll give you a little bit of a look, but some of them are like they smile, look at you, like, "All right, you're not the only <laughs> asshole that did that to me." But you know, um, yeah. All right, but Star True Wars story. I think, has a better mythology, a little more in depth on their world, characters. Star Trek, yes, but I, I don't know. I just, I like the lineage. No, I agree too. with you. Yeah. So, what were you saying, man? I was going to say true story about uh, pulling an Obi-Wan. I was in um, in Philadelphia, and I had a knife pulled on me on the way home from school. Wow. And I just dead looked at him in the face. I'm like, you guys don't want to do this. I'm going to walk out of here. I'm going to go home, and you're just going to leave me. And they totally bought it. So nice. they didn't rob me. Hey, all right. You did the whole yeah. Jedi mind trick. Nice. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> They pulled out like a lightsaber and said, yeah. Either that or you just stunned them that you actually said that. They're probably like, this fucking guy is crazy. <laughs> Did you <laughs> talk in backwards Yoda speak? <laughs> <laughs> Yoda no, speak. I didn't. But, um, Did the Wookiee cry? I actually. <laughs> it started being your chest like, God! A volunteer at a, like, a Christian ministry that uh, reaches out to teenagers. And I taught a, a sermon on uh, Wednesday, and uh, the Bible verse I was teaching like very closely matched uh, a line from uh, Yoda, the prequels. Mm. Just like read that line like in a, in a Yoda voice. That's great. Nice. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I was actually in a Star Trek club in uh, in high school, but yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Star Wars. You can turn your back on your fellow Trekkies. Oh my! I for it, Star Trek defense, I do like their new movies, yeah, even I though they're too. not really remakes. They're because they're going off this. It's like a like a it's like, it's like an, the original because yeah, Spock, kind of like Spock was the missing link. You know, like a new timeline, I guess. What yeah. Did, right? yeah, yeah. And I think that's pretty cool how they did that. And I mean, they, they uh-huh. did it really carefully because they have such a core following. And right. I think they did it really well. Um, and I am also a big fan of Lens Flare and the Beastie Boys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I gotta love the Beastie Boys. But it's like Transformers, Michael Bay having Lincoln Park and everything too. Like, what the hell? All right, moving on. So, going into Star Wars, are you Jedi or Sith? Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jedi Master, you want to be a Lord, Sith Lord. I go with Jedi because I don't want to have to be looking over my back wondering if my ma- <laughs> own master's plotting to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that challenge? Hell no. You don't want to dabble? Hell no. Darkness. Sith all the way, baby. You take out Ooh. your master before he can take you out. This is all good. <laughs> all right. Right. We know, we know <laughs> Russ's intentions. I'm not rooming with you. Yeah, I'm not rooming with you. Yep. Kill or be killed, man. <laughs> One of us is going to leave this this hotel room. That's right. Okay. Fucking Thunderdome, baby. We're in there. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd say Jedi. Yeah, more friends, I think. Yeah, have you ever seen a Sith ghost? So I'd go Jedi. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. Yeah, the only Sith ghost I ever seen was in uh, 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 Clone Wars when Yoda 
I, I I don't know if that really was Darth Bane or if that was just like a dark side energy culmination being or or if he was just hallucinating or something. Yeah, yeah I, got, I think it got better. Yeah, Yoda was smoking up right throwing in. It's all good. That's how it, that's how the Jedi were clouded. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, ain't, ain't too many force uh, Sith force ghosts we've seen in the movies. No, yeah, yeah, yeah I totally be Jedi. Just you gotta know how to do it, man. <laughs> you got Obi Wan, Luke, Qui Gon. I'm a Qui Gon fan, and hell, you got the badass motherfucker, Mace Windu. <laughs> yeah, he's and rocking Luke, the purple lights. I'm gonna, and someone's got to bring that. Yeah, back. And Luke made it okay. You don't have to wear like a tunic and a coat or. Cloak yeah, or whatever. He made black so. look slimming and nice. Yes, he <laughs> liked it. This is really crazy. My favorite character is Obi Wan Kenobi in the Star Wars. You're Robert saying Sith. Sith. Absolutely. <laughs> I wish Obi Wan would turn to the dark side. It would be great. Shut your oh, mouth. Man. Us. Damn. <laughs> wow, that's sick. That, that would have been interesting. That's an interesting, all interesting alternate Wait. reality to Do- see. Dooku tried. Dooku tried to turn him, but he wouldn't. Yeah, he so. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Sith because they have the coolest lightsabers. Yeah, they do. And Absolutely. Yeah. Something cool, yeah. crazy like rock some saber chucks. Saber chucks. Whatever you don't, <laughs> whatever you don't yeah. cut off your hands. Yeah. yeah. How would you even use those? That's wild, dude. Oh. That's what the force is for, because that that's how they like keep from cutting themselves in half all the time. Well, it didn't work for Darth Maul. Well, he didn't cut himself in yeah. half. True. But if you can deflect your own lightsaber blade, you'd think you could deflect someone else's. <laughs> Wouldn't that be true? Well, I would love Darth Maul is a punk. I'm going to be better. <laughs> Darth Maul's a punk. Chat. But yeah, no, I would. That's, it is cool to see the like a different <laughs> type of weapon instead of having the same old, like, here we go, we have a sword. Like Darth Maul rocking the two blade. Um, Kylo yeah. Ren. Okay, it's a little weird, <laughs> but uh-huh. that was a different. It was cool, functioned. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I could be Sith because Kylo's there. <laughs> uh, yeah, but Kylo's not always Sith. Uh, well, he, okay, he's a whiny crybaby. <laughs> Rodimus. <Yeah. laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely, he might be worse than Rodimus actually. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know. I yeah, Jedi. So all right, <laughs> all right, moving on. Uh, yeah, well, I'm sorry. This is taking forever. But it's, uh, I don't know. Hopefully we're having fun. Lucy's or graphic novels is co- uh, to comic books. Would you rather have the individual comic or graphic novels? Collections. That could go either way. Collecting them for value or just story, What, whatever. You take it. That's a graphic novel. Cool. Cool, cool. Yeah. Graphic novel. You can have have them all cool. like groups mm-hmm. of, of individuals you know there's best part of the, the graphic novels you don't have to you know always hunt for certain stories and just pick up the graphic novel or, ha- or have them all yeah that is a good point yeah that's true and it's easier like i i own a ton of lucy's and it's like all right, let me dig out these books and you know, take them out of the bag, read them, put them back in, stuff like that. Put them back in the drawer. It's just easier, the graphic novels. Hey, James, quick question. Is yeah. that a photo of your graphic novels? Uh, no, that is not a photo of my graphic novels. Okay. I try not to use any of my photos. Um, I'll leave that just yeah. a mystery. Because my next towards... question was going to be, did you take all your Lucy's out and throw them on the floor? <laughs> I, I wish I had all those Lucy's. <laughs> I would not be he doing this. Make... <laughs> he decided to make it rain with all his Lucy's. I, know. I, like, I got Amazing <laughs> Fantasies 15. Yeah, I got Amazing Spider-Man number one, Captain America. God, I can't believe that picture. They actually gave that Silver Surfer his own comic. God, hey, hey, come on, Russ. Oh. Tone it down. Tone it down. Oh. Anyway. Um, you, know, you love the silver suit. Uh, I like to chop his head on. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, chop his head and put it on a pipe. Yeah. Graphic game, yeah, really like a oh, Game of Thrones style. Anyway, Game um, of Thrones. Style. <laughs> 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 
I like. I think oh, I go. Man, I see you in a V log in your car, and you're like, "Yeah, I hate the silver reserve," and just pop over by the passenger side and just lift up his head. See, <laughs> <laughs> throw it out the window. Oh, yeah, get one of these mannequins. Right get one of those mannequin heads that Anna has at her job and paint it silver. That'd be great. Isn't that T one thousand? Right. Well, he kind of looks like T one thousand a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, huh. I actually, I thought that. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw that movie, I was like, damn, that's a Silver Surfer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Graphic novels for me, man. All right. They're, they're awesome. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, nice, nice charm to the Lucy's, though. Like, you got yeah, alternate covers, and they got the... That's a good point. All the yeah. stuff on the front. I will admit that what you said, Brian, they're high-maintenance. Yeah, to get them out, and then like I always have to make sure I don't wear gloves, but I got to make sure that I'm like I have like my hands are clean. I wash them like two times, yeah. can't get them out, and like okay, I'm gonna thumb through this and all that. But I feel like it's kind of like a getting a DVD collection and then transferring them over to Blu-ray at times because I want the better yeah. quality. And I don't need to, you know. But it's like oh shit, I still have DVDs, but. Yeah, I uh, I'm gonna go with um, with graphic novels. In addition to all the other like reasons everybody talked about, I, I agree with. But I kind of see it like like Lucy's as like getting combiner parts one at a time, freaking thing all at once. I don't want to wait yeah. like another month or two months or three months. I just want the whole story all at once. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess good. it depends too. It's like if if I haven't read a comic in a while, but yeah, I used to I used to you know get the Lucys and then I'd I'd wait for the cover to say this concludes this story arc. Then I'd go get them and read them all at once, right? Yeah. And you know, so it depends on you know how you like to read the story and also how you like to maintain your collection too. Yeah, I would admit, like the IDW Transformer collection books, they put all of them into order. So you don't have to go searching like, okay, so it went from like this spotlight to yes, you know, this origin to this story arc to this. I, I like how they piece that all together for you. Yeah, I admit I that's, that's cool because even because I read them on Comixology now and I have to like open up the wiki page. Right? All right, what's the next issue to read next or what's the next issue I need to download? <laughs> you know, something like that. All right, so the big question now is DC or Marvel? <laughs> and I had to put it out there. Encompass wow. all of it. Villains, heroes, stories. Mm-hmm. You can even go as far as movies, which we're going to go into a little bit later here, and, well, pretty soon. So, how uh, about it? Marvel. And give me a why. I just, there's way more characters, way more characters in the Marvel Universe that I'm a fan of than DC. Yeah. Like Squirrel Girl? <laughs> no. I will say Submariner's cooler uh, than Aquaman. But absolutely. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he's he, probably because he's like not really a good guy or a bad guy. He's kind of about himself, man. <laughs> kind of dig that about him. So. Good character. Um, yeah, I, I'm a I'm, I'm a Marvel guy, I think, man. Because there's like a couple of DC, you know, characters I really like, but most, but I like a ton of Marvel guys. So, cool. Um, and it's Marvel's just got some of the the better stories, in my opinion, too. I mean, DC has a, some good ones too, but Marvel has a lot of good stuff. Like Secret Wars, that was just wonderful. First one or. The, the well, yeah, well, was the, first, the first one was too bad, but uh, all the all they did a good job, even when they re you know, they redid them, you know, they changed some stuff, but for the most part, it was still good. Cool. I'll just say Marvel. Hey, would you eat any money, Mo? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> the only thing I like in DC is Batman. So yeah, see, yeah. Yeah. And that's and that's mainly just because of the animated series, yeah. and the eighty nine movie. Mm, you know what? I, don't, I can see why the animated series was really good, and yeah. you know, I, I was a big fan of the old the old uh, detective 
um, um, Batman comics back in the day. So that's probably the only true, you know, DC character I really love. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, I didn't read much DC and Marvel as a kid. And so my only real exposure to Marvel right now is, is the movies, but that's a different, that's a different slide. <laughs> yeah. So I won't, I won't elaborate more right now. Okay. Who's next? I'm going to go with Marvel. Um, I think, which I don't think really necessarily applies to specifically what's going on in the comic books right now, but just over the course of history, I feel like, like big gun characters are just OP and they're just like very God level and Marvel's like big guns, top tier characters. Like you have Tony Stark and Peter Parker. They're just like more human and broken and fragile. And I just find that a lot more relatable. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, look at you getting deep. Hello. All right. Nice. <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't have thought about it that way, but that's actually a good point. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for me, I'd probably go DC. Uh, off of the comic books, I, I like... Granted, yes, they, they re freaking do their worlds all the time. Yeah. But I do like the story arcs and for some reason i i don't know i the whole batman joker relationship i love yeah that's um, point. superman lex luthor i really i love that um mm-hmm. and you get a little bit i mean i not to discount marvel you get a lot of that stuff but back then like early stuff you got like the killing joke you got the watchman you got swamp thing you got some more raw more in-depth adult stuff i mean yeah you could go vertigo that was all that stuff but instead of marvel is you know it's it is what it is and i, I like it i like the stories but I, I just like the the darkness at times um yeah but i will say marvel movies are, are better even though dc has some good ones back in the day i'm not sure about their justice league but you no know. It is what it is, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Yeah. All right, so let's choose Superman versus Batman. Who are you going <laughs> to The Boy Scout or the Dark Knight? Uh, definitely Batman. Go yeah. Superman. yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go with Superman. Oh, wow, Superman, really. Went for the blue boy, huh? All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Batman for me. Yeah, I go Batman, too. Yeah. I'm going to go Batman, but for a really out-of-left-field reason. I'm choosing Batman because of Batman 66, and there's nothing over the course of Superman's history that's, that's anything like that. If, like like what? What makes... That's just like Batman? camp and cheese, but like really just awesome, enjoyable. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they even like brought it back, kind of in uh, like Batman: The Brave and the Bold, that uh, that cartoon series. Yeah. But Superman is just like a boring Boy Scout dope. Well, I wouldn't say that. Stable. He always I just say he saves the day, and then it's yeah. said and done. I don't know. There, there's, there's, with Superman, it, it, it's, it's, it gets interesting when you add uh, the whole Kryptonian thing into it. That's when I always thought that there, there was a real epic. Um, you know, just an an epic history with Superman. I mean, his you know, with what happened to his planet, and then there were Kryptonians that survived. He has had to deal. Yes, he's had to deal with them at times and shit like that. He's had some pretty good, some pretty good, uh, some pretty good stories. Um, yeah. You know, but I mean, is he ever allowed to have fun? I think he put the weight on the world on his shoulders. Yeah, that's exactly. That what he he can't. Did. I think he has, he has the chosen. I, think, way. I think he has more fun when he's Clark Kent. Yeah, yeah, like but like, Batman was molded by a traumatic experience right. to be the way he is. Yeah. Superman really didn't have to be who he is. He nope. didn't. Um, he chose yeah. to be that way. It's same. Well, I mean, like Batman, but I mean, like, like you know, you go even to the movie world first, where yeah. you know Clark is talking or Superman's talking with his mom, Diane Keaton. It's like you know, you don't owe this world nothing. 
You know, you don't have to be their their savior. You know, if you don't want to, you have the choice. Just like Batman does, but Batman has this underlying like urge, you know, necessity that. But Clark, well, I don't know. He doesn't have to. He doesn't fit in. He's not even human. Well, Batman has a drive. There's a revenge drive there. Um, yeah. uh, like a drive for vengeance to to make sure that what happened to him doesn't happen to anyone else. You know, where Superman, there's not really a drive. He's just he's just doing it because he's a good guy. You know, <laughs> he's looking out for the world. And I just feel like he also. I mean. I'm a I'm more Batman because I just like the character, and yeah, I like the rogues more with him. But sure. I mean, this is think of Superman. You have all this power and all this 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 mm-hmm. godlike ability. You can't save everyone, you know. But I feel like he he tries to, and it's just like I'm surprised it doesn't overwhelm him and just want it tears him apart. And he says, "Fuck it," <laughs> and leaves or does something <laughs> else. You know. Yeah, I do think some of the best Superman stories happen when he's like out in space. Yeah. I mean, I love it when he takes on Darkseid all out, like from like back in the day of Justice League and or Justice League Unlimited, where he's like, you know what? I can finally let loose because you're a villain that can take it. And that's like, oh man, that's finally Superman's getting you know, it's like he's he's coming out. He's he wants to kick some ass. I like yeah. that. I like it when he lets his guard down. Not that, like, hey, you know, Batman, we saved the day. It's like, fuck you. I just took a bullet for your ass. You can't joke. Not today. <laughs> you know, all this type of stuff. <laughs> he never, he, Superman doesn't ever get the big picture. Because at times, even though yeah, I think he's above everyone else, and he won't admit it. Well, he does sometimes have his moments where he, he, you know, I'm, you know, it's almost like I'm Superman, you know, just put yeah. his chest out a little bit. <laughs> but I do like All Star <laughs> Superman, where Lex Luthor was able to get the last laugh. The point. And it's like yeah. Superman needs to reignite the sun, sun or something. I think that was it, and he killed. He, he dies. Yeah, you know, and it's like, and Lex Luthor's like, "Wow, I, I did it. Well, this sucks." <laughs> you know. Yeah. All right. What do I do now? <laughs> it's like, all right, this is. Hmm. My nemesis is gone. Damn. All right, moving into Marvel real quick. Captain America versus Iron Man back in the Civil War. Were you Team Cap or Team Iron Man? Iron Man. Ooh, now, like which, Civil, which, which Civil War are you talking about? Are you talking about the um, one from the comics or the one from the movie? I'm just using that as an example. I'm just talking character-wise in general. Uh, Do you like Captain America? And I don't care who you want to use as your Captain America. I just have Steve Rogers there. If you want to do Sam Wilson, you want to do Johnny Walker, you want to do the no, Patriot Steve, 76. Steve's, Steve's the man. Steve's the man. There's no, there's no doubt about it. Uh, Winter Soldier? No? You don't like it? Hell, Hydra. Who is that? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Throw that in there. Why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Throw that in there. Yeah, that is good. I feel, I feel not quite by that. <laughs> you don't like Iron Man being the womanizer, though? Drunk? That's pretty cool. That was. No, I mean, I, 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 I like Tony. Tony's cool. Yeah, I respect him. But, Tony's down earth. But uh, I kind of respect him more. As much as I agree with Tony Stark's reasoning that, you know, superheroes have to be, so they have to be held accountable to somebody, I kind of got to go with Team Cap. Cool. Pro Mask. <laughs> Definitely Iron Man. Come on, man. It, I, I will. I, I will say this: if it wasn't Silver for Surfer movies, fanatic. Yeah, if, yeah I'm fucking Silver Surfer. <laughs> if it wasn't for the movies, though, I wouldn't say that. It, it, it's the movie version of Iron Man that that made me really like him. Tony Stark is fucking great in the movie. I didn't. I didn't really care for Tony Stark that much in the comic books. He's much better portrayed in the movie, though. Yeah. Um, I, I like yeah. Him. Oh, you mean you mean Iron Man, RDJ? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Robert, Robert Downey Jr. Robert big. Downey Jr. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, he's playing himself. Yeah, that's a good point. He's great. It's great. <laughs> I know. He's just I, like I, that character you know. through and through. I I really um, believe it. He's well. he's just awesome, man. And I think that uh, I it made me like I made me like real appreciate Iron Man more than I ever did. Um, so mm. just like him better. I like all the different suits he has too. It's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, he's a genius. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. Always modifying himself. Yeah, that's cool. I go Cap. That's I'm gonna go with. I go Cap. Iron Man. Iron Man. All right. Because 
He's got real issues. Cap's just a Boy Scout who works for Hydra. <laughs> He's a Boy Scout who works for Hydra. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Oh, man. Damn that's you, Red Skull and Cosmic Cube. Uh, that's fantastic. Yeah, I will well, say Cap has a better nemesis as far as the Red Skull. I mean, who really is Iron Man's like true nemesis? Iron Man's greatest nemesis is himself. The bottle? Yeah. yeah. Again, the bottles. The bottle. Yep. The a woman. <laughs> um, well, remember back in the day. Not just the bottle, be- but like how much of a jerk he is. It was supposed to be Ming, remember? <laughs> oh, the Mandarin? The Mandarin, yeah. Yeah, I remember the uh, Mandarin. Fit and fang, foom! Um, <laughs> or, um... Yeah, but I think Stan that's Lane, right, though. Whatever. Iron Man's biggest nemesis is himself. That is true. That's true. He kind of f himself up a lot. Uh, All right, moving on. Yeah, we're almost done. I don't know. This is kind of boring. Okay, real quickly, cross the board, new Teen Titans or the New Mutants? This is something Dust would have enjoyed. Uh, I got to go with the Teen Titans. Ooh, yeah. 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 I go with Teen Titans as well. I like the Teen I'm, Titans. I'm more, yeah, I'm more familiar with them. Yeah, yeah, they're more iconic as far as like having Robin Kid Flash Cyborg. And they had a really cool show, Teen Titans Go. Yeah. New Mutants, though, turned into X-Force. Come on. Got to give them props there. Yeah. All right, how about Avengers versus Justice League? Because we got like two more, three more pictures and we'll be done. Um, Avengers. Avengers. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, Avengers. Justice League. Avengers. Nice. Cool, cool. I'm what about the with, uh, Justice League. Avengers okay. is basically like a team up of all like the B League <laughs> heroes. Justice League is t- taking the A team heroes and putting them together. Yeah. But who is in who's the A list in Marvel? Pretty much the guys that well well some of the guys like Thor and the Hulk have to be there for it to be the A team A team yeah. Avengers for me. You know. The new Captain Marvel, Karen Davis, yeah, I, I, due to what she's capable of, I rank her up in there too. I don't know. I think, um, I, I don't know. Avengers, yes, you have the A listers for the DC world altogether, but I think you have the A listers for all the Avengers also. They may not be all on the same team at the same time, but um. I mean, remember, technically, Spider-Man was a member of the Avengers. Uh, you've had you've had several guy people. Who I think everyone in the Marvel world. universe. Has been the Avengers. Avengers. Exactly. Avengers, yeah. So saying that they're they don't have any of the main guys. That's the of course they did have. <laughs> yeah, if you well, want to go like, Justice League, Justice like, League had uh, Europe and international, which wasn't that great. Right. Back in no. the day. I'm speaking like more along in terms of like the main roster. Like a lot of the the AT Marvel people are just like. What the Hulk? He was on the team. Thor, Cap, Iron Man. Yeah, but know. like people like Spider Man and Wolverine. They were Avengers. Uh, as like regular full time people. But keep this in mind too that the, the Justice League has a lot of B <laughs> B heroes on the in the Justice League as well. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I'm could, not talking about like the full roster, just like like yeah. the main like the people that are iconic, like. Well, you can say the same thing. If they've all been a member of the team, then you can pick and choose who you want. So then you'd have all the A-listers for Avengers, I'm just saying. Right. You want Spider-Man on there. You want Wolverine on there. All right. They were Avengers, technically, so let's put them on there. Remember Batman. Captain America. Batman was come and go as well. You know, he wasn't always there. Um, Cyborg was not an original member of the Justice League. No, he was Looking at this picture. Yeah. um, But you could throw in Mash and... um, Excuse me, Martian Manhunter in there if you want. So you got yeah, four. that's um, who I feel I should be up in there. And some of these guys were JSA before they become Justice League, mm-hmm. right? So it it, it kind of goes but, both both ways, you know. <laughs> but I wouldn't count Avengers just because oh we got the Black Widow and we got D Man or you got like Marvel <laughs> Boy and you got you know Firestar or you got some of these 
like, oh, wow, the New Warriors are now, or the Great Lake Avengers. Um, the Avengers had some A-listers. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, For sure. It's just they don't need the, the A-listers to sell the books like the Justice League does. If you want to put that in there, good. I don't know. But um, I would go Justice League, though, because I like all the characters. And it's like, but I'm just like, <clears throat> it's weird to have that team and to have any flaws in that team. That's what makes it's too, to me, it's too, they're too godlike. It's like, who the hell can take them on? Um, legitly, I mean, just think about it. You got Superman, you got Wonder Woman, you got Green Lantern. You got Batman. I mean, the greatest detective, the fastest man on earth, the most powerful man on earth, the the greatest you know fighter, female fighter. You got Green Lantern with the power ring. You got Aquaman who can talk to fish. You know, and you got and we <laughs> That's got exactly well, what you I'm know, talking about. All and this, then on the other side, you have like Hawkeye and Ant Man. Oh, oh, you do know that Aquaman can do more than just talk to fish. Now, oh, right? I know that, but I'm just saying. And predominantly, we have. <laughs> More water on the planet Earth than you know land. So yes, he is a dominant force. But I'm just saying that's always a joke with Mr. That's Archer. Just, <laughs> but that's just funny because originally Aquaman. That's all he really did. That's like, all he did in the Super Friends. It's like I mean, shit. The Wonder Twin powers, you know, were a lot cooler. Never, I got a I got a seahorse. Well, I can turn into a sponge. Oh yeah. Whenever yeah, Aquaman man. was in trouble, he call he call a starfish to help him out. <laughs> <laughs> he got a whale. <laughs> I got some tuna fish coming. Yeah, that shit was great. But God, yeah, that- one day we should do a comparison like, okay, like who's better, Quicksilver or Flash? I go Flash. Flash. Well, yeah, um, Green Flash. Arrow versus Hawkeye. That's a kind of a toss up. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, because they're both badasses, man. Yeah. They both yeah. are badasses. It's wow. The Green Arrow oh. is more politically conscious. Oh. Yeah, the hippie. Well, Hawkeye's more yeah, he, he's, he's not just trying to save the day. He's trying to save the world. Hawkeye's, Hawkeye's a carnage. More, he's more of a soldier, though, too, isn't he? He's kind of like a... Yeah, he is. In, in the new movies, yeah, he's definitely movie, he's more of a soldier. But in the old order ones, he wasn't he's as... He's more of a special forces guy. Yeah. But yeah, he's like the glue that holds the Avengers together. So That's true. He yeah. was like the diggle for um, Arrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> conscious. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. But, That's I mean, you got a Hulk on the Avengers. I mean, yes, Superman, Hulk. I mean, Hulk and Sentry oh. went at it. And uh, a stalemate. But, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's tough. Yeah. Uh, but you got one of the greatest minds, I think, with Batman. All right, moving on to the movies. I know Justice League isn't out yet, but we've seen all the previews. We know what is going on. Avengers has been established. But which one do you think is going to be more enjoyable for you? Avengers... Or, you know, I'm a DC, I want I want Justice League. As much as I roll with DC and the JLA, I think that the Avengers might have a better writer and better director. Yeah, I think the Avengers is better. Will be better. Yeah, it is better. definitely. <laughs> Avengers. I think I'm going to enjoy Justice League a lot more, but in a mystery science theater kind of enjoyment. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good way of looking at it. Yeah, it is. It's a good way of looking at it. Oh, that's cool. Brian, yeah. I hear you there. Yeah, I um, I really enjoy the Marvel movies, but you know, I'm gonna give this DC one a chance. But I, I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna be able to do it. We'll see. I uh. For me, it's kind of unique. I don't have to. I don't. I don't have a, a memory or anything that these movies are tarnishing. So I just can, can kind of go in and enjoy them for what they are. You know. Yeah. I wish I had that. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, no. That's that. That's nice to have. I mean. Yeah. I suffer through Transformers. If that makes you feel any better. Good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yet I did too. Damn. Yeah. That's. I think I'm gonna go suffer back again with Transformers. Like I said, fuck it to the last movie, but I might go check <laughs> this one out. But Wahlberg's got a mullet. I need to see it. It flows so well. But yeah, I don't know. What I happened with Avengers? 
I gotta find out what happened. What happened to Wahlberg's uh, hot daughter in the movie? Shit, where'd she go to? <laughs> Russ, that's a very young time. girl. That's a young yeah. girl. Yes, Russ. I know. Hey, hey, I can say she's hot without like wanting to do anything perverted. Well, to her I name. mean, if he if he was saying that when <laughs> that movie came out, yeah, but now there's like what two, three years later. Yeah, but well, I think Russ is also two, three years yeah. older. Yeah, still yeah, creepy. It's still yeah, creepy. I've, I've, I've actually, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you look at it. It I've, is, got, I've got like yeah. a daughter. I got a daughter that's near her age. Just get this kind of creepy. Oh. <laughs> okay, let, let's just go on here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, what a creepy. Man. Oh, damn. Uh, Come on, man, dude. How you gonna do this one? Oh, I need to. I need uh, to know who's your who's your favorite Superman? Yeah. They're uh, taking on each other. Christopher Reeves, Dean Cain, uh, uh, Smallville boy. I forgot his name. What's his name? Uh, Tom. Uh, Tom Welling. Tom, Tom Welling. Wellings. There you go. We got Brandon Roth, and then we got I Henry forgot Man Cavill. of Steel, dude. There Henry you go. Cavill. Henry Cavill. Who do you like? Do you uh, Who's your wow. favorite? E- even though, even though I, I enjoyed the hell out of Smallville, uh, Christopher Reeve will always be my Superman. Yeah. Cool. I agree. Yeah. As much as I liked. Man of Steel. Uh, I think Chris Reeve edges him out a little bit. No offense, Mr. Cavill, if you if you happen to be watching somehow. <laughs> if you have to watch, we just turn it off like fucking <laughs> plastic fanatics. I'm no longer gonna be a guest on that show. Yeah, definitely Christopher Reeve, man. This is what we grew up with as as kids, man. You know, that's, yeah. that's yeah. That was my Superman. You know, that's who I knew. Plus, it's hard to supersede that nostalgia, that feeling. Yeah, the first see him on the, on the in the movie theater and hearing that music and yeah. seeing him fly and switch arms. I'm like, oh god, yeah, yeah, it's there pretty epic. <laughs> yeah, yeah and, and the fly by at the end. <laughs> yep, switching arm time, and he's just turning around like, oh man. Yeah, like, I got you back. Yeah, it's like, damn, I, I where's my cape? I need my cape. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> No, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Brandon Ruth or whatever his last Brandon name is. Around. Yeah, but o- only Around. because in that performance he did he did pay some homage to Christopher Reeve. Yeah, and to oh, be honest, a carbon copy of him. <laughs> and to, to be honest, I didn't I didn't hate that movie. So yeah, I'm gonna go with moment. him. Mm-hmm. It was interesting, to say the least. That movie. And I think um, Kevin Spacey did a great job being the Lex Luthor like Gene Hackman uh, back in the day. Uh, testing, can you hear me? Yep. Yes, we yeah. can. Yeah. Oh, sorry, my my headset died. I had to leave and come back. Oh, I, I was gonna say, um, where is Tim Daly? We don't like him. What? Get him out of here. What Superboy? No, animated. Oh, animated. Oh, Superman. but this is live action. We're uh, doing live action. Yeah, we're doing with the man who. We're doing live action. We're not screen. doing. Yeah. Because we'd have a huge list here. Yeah. Uh, all hey, right, I moving think, on. I think I know which one's next. Oh, I yep. know, isn't it? Uh, yep. <laughs> so, who's your favorite Batman? You got Adam West. You got Michael Keaton. You got Val Kilmer. That's mine. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you got George Clooney, <laughs> Christian Bale, or Ben Affleck. Again, live action. Kevin Conroy, yes, badass, but live action. I'm going to have to go with Michael Keaton slightly over Christian Bale because Michael Keaton's Batman, as short as he was, he gave you the impression <laughs> that he might fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> You want to dance? Trent's Let's getting dance. real. Yeah, <laughs> you know, he, he made you think he might actually kill you instead. You know, it's funny you say you that. You want to get nuts? Yeah. Let's get nuts. Oh, that's it. Let's yeah. get nuts. No, I like this Batman. Bruce Wayne, though, I like both Val Kimmer and uh, uh, Christian Bale's Bruce Wayne. Yeah. You know, Trent, I was, I was reading an article or watching something, and basically they're saying, Leia, when it came to Keaton's Batman, that he relied more on theatrics and just overall fear like as opposed to of course you know might and muscle kind of thing yeah right? so and that kind of freaked out the bad guys yeah and that's what that symbol was for well it, it was a target yeah. for the bullets to go to but it was he was a symbol he was the bat yeah. everyone else is 
let's put it this way. Val Kilmer and George Clooney, that was thank you, Schumacher. Well, yes, he's got names. Yeah. Yeehaw. You know, move on. But <laughs> yeah, Keaton for me all the way. Even though Affleck, is, I think I'm curious to see more of him. Yeah, me too. As Batman. So, Jamie, you hated BVS, but you didn't hate Affleck as Batman? Not as much as I rewatched it several times. I, I raise it up to maybe a five. I was at yeah, one to three, and I went to a four, and I'm getting kind of like, okay, this is better, but I I don't, you know, I'm I'm looking forward to his just straight on Batman movie, Justice League, yeah, but I don't want all the comedy and playing off of others. I just I want straight up just Batman, and I want to see how they take that, and where they go with it. But I think he's doing pretty good. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, Ben. Affleck. Cool. Um, one thing I really like a- about comics and the cartoons, a-, a lot of people are like refer to Batman. They say like, "Who is this crazy nut job that runs around at night in like spandex bat suit?" And I-, I think Ben Affleck is the only one who fully committed to playing Batman as a total nutcase. And what really sells it is that scene where like Superman mentions Martha and he's like, Martha, like, like, why do you know her? Why did you say that name? Like that is the kind of response that you get from somebody who is just totally off his rocker and just True. like has no control over himself. And I absolutely love that. But is that who Batman really is? That's who I want him to be. Okay. So <laughs> you want him to be an Arkham patient. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> no, I, I get that. I like that. Exactly. I mean, but that's see, that's one of the things I hated about BVS. Is like he's supposed to be the world's greatest detective, yet he didn't see it coming. Um, but he's only human. But that's cool. Yeah. No, well, one, see, no one wants Val Kilmer. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Clooney. Adam West. Val Kilmer is just kind of like an in between. Like he tries to play it serious, kind of like Michael Keaton, but he can't quite pull that off. But on the other end of the spectrum, he doesn't have the bat nipples. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. No, I always didn't. every time I see Batman Forever, I think of I'm like, watching Val, Val Kilmer. I'm like, huh? I think of Top Secret, and I just think of Val Kilmer in Top Secret every time when I see that. I'm like, no, I can't believe this guy's Bruce Wayne. No, but anyone else hasn't chimed in, or are we moving on? Um, <laughs> probably Christian Bale. Christian Bale, nice. Yeah, uh, yeah, Keaton for me. Go. Cool. All right. Yeah. Quickly over this. Original versus remakes. And I'm sure this is going to be biased because we, we grew up in nostalgia and all that. But what do you think? I think one story is better than the other. Going which way? I mean, I'm sure Ghostbusters, you know, you all love the remake. Um, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. When I saw it, I was kind of like, eh, it's not horrendous. And these but, are just examples right here. Okay, so don't. Right. That's what we're just looking at. I mean, there's other. Yeah, examples. these examples kind of lean in one direction. <laughs> but, I mean, there's no other. What what remake? I mean, besides maybe Planet of the Apes, third one, not Wahlberg. <laughs> Star Trek isn't a remake. Not not the Marky Mark remake? I do. Oh, God, no. I like the I like the RoboCop remake. I actually like. It. I never saw it. Yeah, I I thoroughly enjoyed it. Anna and I were watching it, and Anna was Anna was thoroughly disgusted with it because she likes the original RoboCop, and I was like, "I was like, you crazy? This dude's badass." Hey, She's a violent girl. Oh yeah, yeah. She definitely likes some of that old nasty. I, re- I will. Movies. <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street or any of the horror movies like Friday the 13th, the remakes are not bad. They're almost, no, I would I say, agree. at times as good. Mm, yeah. Or at least it goes a different direction as giving you more story that you didn't get yeah. from the original. No, definitely. Yeah. Um, Rob Zombie's remake of the Halloween movies yeah. were really, really good. I enjoyed them a lot. Yeah, I actually like that better than the original. Uh, Even though the original was a, technically kind of a sequel to another movie. 
Right, yeah. right. But and also this, I love the movie posters back in the day. I mean, you can't get away with yeah. like the Nightmare on Elm Street there. You know, that looks creepy and cool, but you know, all this yeah, thing, okay, whatever. But it's with, we're getting a lot of remakes, and most of them haven't been able to touch the originals. Um, now so. that's interesting, James. You're a big Turtles fan. Now, did you did you like the the, the newer Turtles movies versus the the older ones? I liked them, but not more. No, I didn't like okay. them. You know, I they were you know fine popcorn movies. I didn't mind, but no, I like the original for what it's worth. Yeah, I always kind of felt like the original was took the cartoon and put it on the screen a little a lot better than the uh, yeah the movie. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Um, although the, the Turtles, original Ninja Turtles movie leaned in uh, kind of hard on the comics. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it was did. pretty awesome, actually. They did it. The, the newer Turtles movie, I, I think that they did a good job on the Turtles. I thought they were more, I don't know, more robust looking. They kind of had a, you know, a, a more testosterone. Modern... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A little I mean, bit of growth cool. hormone going on. That, yeah, sort of, sort of like mm. roids. You know, roids yeah, <laughs> yeah. kind of got that gamma feel. Yeah, but 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 they were cool. I, I liked it. I liked it. It's I just think I like the original one better. But yeah. <laughs> I yeah. hated Splinter in the new Turtles. That was probably yeah. the biggest <sighs> turnoff. Yeah. I could stand Megan Fox. That's fine, whatever. But I could yeah. not stand that Splinter. No, I, I <laughs> yeah. agree with you on that. Yeah, he's, huh. he's kind of frustrating. Even <laughs> Casey Jones in the second one. I didn't mind that either. But. <laughs> but so you you all probably agree, you know, the original is probably the best. And yeah. here, here yeah. let's let's yeah. flip the question. Do you think it's shouldn't be touched? Don't go and remake something that shouldn't be remade. If it's it should hold the test of time. Do you think most of these movies, the originals, hold the test of time? They still are entertaining back then as they are uh, they're entertaining now like they were back then. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, th- I think majority of them are. I mean, uh, you know, the Turtles movie, the old Turtles movie, maybe, maybe some people would probably think it's not think it could hold up today. I don't know, but yeah, you know. Okay, cool. Uh, I like I like Gabriel O'Neill in that original one. She was hot. <laughs> oh, Jenna, Jenna Hogue or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. Oh, nope. We got a redhead, man. I dug that. And who didn't like the original scene where they're like, we got to go back to the city? And they're all just like that silhouette and they're all just standing there. Yes. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. I was like, all right. They're going to kick some ass. Yeah. That's cool. But, yeah. Yeah. I've got the original one on Blu ray. All right. So this is leaning into original animation to live action. Which do you prefer? And I just threw this out there first. Because this is what my daughter and my wife and daughter went to go see, uh, Beauty and the Beast. So you got the original, and then now you got the remake. Um, and then we'll just go through some of these, and you don't have to like, you know, talk on this. But uh-huh. it's the same thing with GI Joe. Do you rather have the anime, the the cartoon, <laughs> over the live action? Yes. Or you could broaden it and go. Yeah. I'd rather for a property like this cartoon based i'd rather just keep it in the world of cartoons instead of having a live action and then the last one is transformers so what do you guys think animation strictly animation cool good i don't know that that depends on man because like i actually enjoyed the beauty and the beast remake (laughs) (laughs) i I like it i would say hermione yeah i thought about it was was, they did a good job on it um but for the rest of those, you know, definitely GI Joe anime over animation over the uh, movies, and for Transformers, that's the course. Of course, we all like the animation better than the uh, movies. But some things, I how, think about, some uh, things. how about something like the Jungle Book? That had really good reviews. Yeah, Actually, I mean, you can look at Jungle Book. You can look at Hundred One Dalmatians. That's another yeah. thing. Disney is going back <laughs> through all of their properties, and doing a live action for yeah, them. So are. we're going to get a Little Mermaid. We're getting Dumbo. I mean, okay. Corilla DeVille. We're getting a Malevolent... Malef- Malef- oh, I forgot what the fuck it is. It's 
Sleeping Beauty, the one, that one, um, second one of that, all that type of shit. So, does that, oh, we're getting Aladdin. Um, does that take away from the original? Do you think it should be touched? I mean, Transformers, we all know, but it's like, you know, they, for what it's worth, yes, they helped bring Transformers globally out there and helped solidify it. But would you rather have it go back to the cartoon? Like a cartoon movie, mainstream, in the theater, like it was back in 86. Like a Transformers Prime movie. Yeah, I'd go see that. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Yeah. I would yeah. It could be dark. I don't care. Yeah. Kill Prime. Kill Bumblebee, at least, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Strike him down. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, I um, I think I wouldn't mind seeing uh, the Transformers done in a, a live action, exactly how it was done animation. You know, what I mean that that would have been really good. I think it would have been cool to stick to the stories. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why not? I mean, yeah, that would have been. Yeah, that... we have so we have Spike and his dad running around. You know, <laughs> With the hard hat, the, the yellow hard boots. Hats? Exactly right. <laughs> Carly and her. Yeah. Oh man. That'd be fantastic. Chip. <sighs> Good old wheels. Yeah, man. <laughs> I I would want that if it was actually directed by Spielberg. Mm. That'd be cool. That would be cool. <laughs> How about for the rest of you guys? You like it just staying the way it is, or we or let, let me rephrase. We know that the movie industry, Hollywood, is is really heavy into comic books. That's their bread and butter. And it seems like it could be now a twist where they're taking old cartoon movie properties and giving that live action feel to it. You like that? I just remembered oh, how... Right. Hmm? Oh, go ahead. I was just saying only if it's done right. Right. Yeah. We, we hope it's done right, but history uh, showing what it is now, do you like it? I I am very sad that the first Gem movie was so bad, because yeah. now we'll <laughs> never get to see what's her name, Kesha, take it on that like that full role. Like She was perfect for that, as, as one of the misfits. Yeah. Was she pizzazz? I think. <laughs> She yeah, just showed yeah. up like and then like a, a teaser at the end of the movie, mm-hmm. yeah, and that, that was such beautiful casting. Yeah, it would, it would, it, yeah, you're right because the movie sucks so bad. We'll never get to see the the the, the <laughs> best of it, uh, which were the best, really the only good part of Gem. To be honest, I mean, come on. Oh, Not you know you fits. loved it for real. Come on, bro. <laughs> you know, well, you, know, you, you, know you loved it for real and synergy. You're like rubbing your ears, synergy. Like Rio was, was a sexy beast. Let me tell you, he was, he was rocking that hair. Yeah, he was. And Jerrica and was playing him for a fool. <laughs> <laughs> Being gem and all that crap, like I just toy with you. Um, yeah, that's awesome. a that's a good example. But again, like what you were mentioning with the Jungle Book, that's pretty good. One hundred one Dalmatian it was it was yeah, good, but that was good. But some of this other stuff, I mean, Smurfs, you could throw that in there. You like the, the Smurfs, Alvin and the Chipmunks, Garfield, um, Inspector Gadget. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that type of stuff. Hell, I mean, we had a great debate last week. Um, um, Manny brought up a, a good, like, which comic book, you know, movie started it all. And all that, so yeah, that's that's always know, that's it's, hard, uh, it's always hard to track into one that set it off, you know. I don't know, yeah, yeah. I tell you what, though, with those transformers, if they looked normal, that's <laughs> no, a relative no. term, I know, but what do you mean, like normal, like they look so stupid, man? Then I I would be able to forgive how bad the movie was, to be honest. <laughs> I think. <laughs> No, I get Jimmy. There's if Optimus problem. Prime looked like Optimus Prime did when we what remember him did? from, yeah, yeah, you know? the color scheme, he had the voice. Okay, let's put it this way: if Peter yeah. Cullen wasn't the voice of Optimus Prime, 
would have would it suck even more? Yes. I just don't want a G one yes. looking <laughs> Optimus Prime as a homicidal sociopath. <laughs> well, I mean, he wasn't always that way. That was right, cool. yeah, he didn't, yeah. He got jaded. Yeah, but I just, yeah. I just need that separation. I don't know. I would, I would like Prime to be a homicidal sociopath. I would love to see yeah, a, you a would. R-rated you movie. Know. Of, <laughs> of, <laughs> you know, Transformers yeah. occurred to you. As much as I love Prime, one problem I have, I've always had with him, he was just too much of a goody goody. I always wanted to see Prime go off a little bit and just fuck well, people. You know, and, how about, well, how about not <laughs> having him kill humans, but have him like, you know, go after and like. Exterminate the Septicons or something. Well, yeah, 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 but you know, humans are evil too. And hey, if, if a human I tries mean, to kill him, he should pluck that bastard and knock his head off. Yeah, yeah. Archiville and Berger and all those guys, he should have yeah. just they all, deserve, they all deserve to be blasted. Yeah, he, you know? he should have taken their faces. Yeah. Should have taken their, or should have just point blank executed them. That'd have been wonderful. I mean, <laughs> like, all right, prime. He only executes all the bus. That's what I would send on. <laughs> I can't do it to Megatron. I can't do it. But yeah, Sentinel, no. come here, here. Yeah, he can blow Sentinel's head off. Right? <laughs> See? So, uh, oh, he did kind of, he did kind of mess yeah. Megatron up pretty bad, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But Megatron but was like a puss, though. In that yeah, game. I know. He had to get played up by a human. He just Sentinel's big. Yeah. I'm no one's bitch, you know, type of attitude. Yeah, that was that was my thing. Megatron was never the guy in charge. He always was someone's underling. He turned out to be the Falling's underling. Then he turned out to be uh, Sentinel Prime's underling. I'm like, come on, man. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's so disrespectful <laughs> to the character, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's, like, it is. it's like, fuck <laughs> you, Michael <laughs> Bay. Yeah, I'd like to grab Michael Bay <laughs> and smack him in the head, man. What the he hell was an underling in Age of Extinction because he turned into Galvatron and he was controlled by the humans for a yeah. while. Yeah, that's right. He was. Yeah, absolutely. Was like, still like, what the hell? Uh, so, <laughs> great. I'm looking forward to the last night. Who the fuck's yeah, controlling him now? Exactly. It's so disturbing. Like, so disrespectful. He was a great character and you just basically made him nothing. You relegated him to being a someone's bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not in a good way like how like Darkseid was manipulating Lex Luthor. Wow. You know, it's this is like he's totally <laughs> someone's bitch. Yeah. Like, someone's like, bitch. Right. Okay, last one. And then we're done. Hero or villain? <laughs> Well, I'd go with well, I'm the person that hero. saves people, not that underlying like Deadpool, like I can be both type thing. No, this is villains are cooler. Are you gonna be the villain? I believe there's a hero in all of us. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay to be the bad guy every now and then. No, yeah, you gotta be one like... or the other. No, I want to be a bad guy. <laughs> I'm gonna be a straight bad up guy villain, straight up hero. Come on, man. Villains are fun, man. They're better. They we have a better time. <laughs> better time. They not a they got all the cool toys and drugs. They do. It's wonderful. You know. <laughs> Come on. Every every like movie, heroic movie, or you know, where there's a hero in it, you can think of. You know that it's always better because of the villain. You know, without the villain, oh, the, I mean, the original Batman. I would argue Michael Keaton was great. But without Jack Nicholson playing the Joker, oh my God, the Joker we was great in that movie. I'm like, come on, man. Yeah, you know, it, it always, you know, the villains are so cool. Oh you know, shit! It's like imagine the Jedi without the Sith. Ugh, the Jedi would be boring. <laughs> Jedi, Jedi were kind of boring. They are boring. Yeah, they are boring. <laughs> right, you you see? I mean, it's, it's all those younglings. Yeah, you know, learning stupid shit <laughs> from Yoda. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, it's like didn't really work out for them, did it? Oh, well, Sith have a good time, man. You know, yeah. they believe in exploiting their power. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Exploitation. This, oh yeah, the Sith know how to party. That's true. All right. Yeah. When you put it that way, the the <laughs> easy way, easy life would be a villain. Sure. Um. It's a hard question, but yeah, I mean, nah. I got yeah, I, I don't want to say villain because I, I yeah, I, I have my reasons why I'd be a villain, and they're not good. <laughs> <laughs> they're not good at all. 
<laughs> well, and I don't want to. I'm not being. Tru- I don't, don't want to be truthful. Be, <laughs> <It sucks>. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, are there really I'd be like, really I'd be like be locked up. As as much as I hate to admit it, I, I think an example that really sells it for me. I was kind of just like half awake through most of Rogue One, and then right at the end of the movie, Vader just shows up. That lightsaber turns on, and I am just squealing with joy, and my heart is just screaming, get him, take him out. And just for that one seat alone, I have to go villain. Of course. Man. Who doesn't root for the villain? I wanted, I wanted Jaws to win, but he didn't. That sucked. You know, fucking fisherman. <laughs> He's just trying to eat. That's all. Fuck you people, you know? <laughs> um, yeah. Stupid ass kids having sex. I mean, shit. She should have been, you know, they should have been watching her kid. Little Jason <laughs> drowned out there. Yeah. He's the victim, you know? <laughs> Look at Karate Kid. Johnny was just the victim because Danny was an asshole, you know? <laughs> he got in his little friend to help beat up these teenagers. You know, come on. Who didn't vote for the villains? I mean, damn. Sweep the leg. Yeah, sweep the leg. Put him in a body bag. <laughs> that was the greatest. Those are just classic. <laughs> You're all right, man. You're all right. It's like, and they didn't even go into Karate Tip Part Two. That was great too. Like, I got second place. Second place, is nothing. <laughs> like, wow, he's kicking their ass too. Now. Uh, but okay, so we know Ru- Russ is total villain. So stay away from him. I would I'd go villain, but I don't want to go. <laughs> Reason, but what about everyone else? Villain, hero, hero for me. Right on, mm. Brian, saving the day. That's right. Oh, goody, goody, Brian, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Typical villain response, uh, Russ. It seems it seems easier. I don't know. You don't have to uh, log in your money, all that crap. Until you get everyone yeah, on your neck going. Can you help me? Can you save this? Can you do this? Can you do this? Can you do that? Can you do this? Sure. Do no, I, I'm, I'd be selective of who I save. Oh, <laughs> so like, oh you're no. like living on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> People like, yeah, that person I need to save. Yeah. I mean, it depends, right? I mean, if the person's a fan of like the Bayformer movies, then you know, <laughs> they're on their own. They're on their own. I'm just gonna, <laughs> gonna eradicate them. They can blame Dude, their parents I, for I think... raising them incorrectly. If you look awesome. at that on a Michael Bay's level, in trouble. That's right. That, that, that really yeah. sounds like you're just a villain masquerading yeah, as a no. hero. All right. <laughs> That's yeah. true. I mean, even I mean, I don't know. If you guys were a hero, would you even save like a Eagles fan? I mean, I don't know if I would. Eagles fan. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, man. <laughs> Yo, no, I Goodbye, Russ. I'm a Philly <laughs> dude. Eagles fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, yeah. Sure. Your wife's the Eagles fan. No, you're an Eagles fan. I'm not, I'm I'm not an in this sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Redskins is though. Okay, yeah, she's a um, Redskins fan. Yeah. In my neighborhood. That's that's cold. Hey, well, hey, I'm down here in Wilmington, Delaware, and I'm a Giants fan living in a green ocean, and it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, you, you know, you're you're built. I feel doubly oh, sorry built. for you for living in Delaware and for being a Giants fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you feel sorry for a Giants fan? All right. Mr. Man. No Championships. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, well. All right. So, um, Charles, arrow villain. Uh, honestly, that's, that's a hard it's a hard decision. You, bet, you, better say, you better say villain. Don't lie to me. <laughs> I will Jedi yeah. mind trick your ass. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh, come on. It's, it's, Who's your favorite Marvel character? Villain. Yeah, you're going to say Venom. I knew you were going to say Venom, so it's villain. <laughs> <laughs> Venom's pretty nope. badass. I can understand why. Yeah. I guess I you could like say Venom. An He's innocent. But... Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Cool. Anyone else need to answer the question? We're all villains. Anybody? Yeah, it seems that way. I'm doing more anti-hero myself. For me, myself, though. 
use that to change it up. You can just say hero or villain. Uh, Trans would be on a killing spree. We all know it. Look what I got in the mail. My villain card. Oh, I am out of here. I'm going to just take out everyone. Give me that chug, kid. <laughs> uh, it depends upon how people will react to me. If they come around, bother me, then yeah, I'm going to be a villain. But once I see a portal open and all those monsters coming from out of space, be like, oh, yeah. Right. Then I might have to put on the cape. You might have to put on the cape. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Because if anybody's going to oh, enslave man. the human race, it's going to be me. No punches on my hunting ground. Someone's gonna be messing with me. Put Doctor Manhattan on their ass. You would, <laughs> you would, you would, you would be a villain, but you'd only become heroic if somebody else was trying to invade your planet that you're trying to. This invade. is my turf. <laughs> that is, that is awesome. That is so villainous. Of, <laughs> yeah, that is. That's that's a master plan there. That is, that's amazing. That's gosh. Good. That's yeah, it is. Damn. Hey, he's more evil than I am. Damn, yeah, that's a little more in depth. <laughs> yeah, it is. Whew. Cool. Got it going on, Trent. All right. <laughs> it's contradictive. Though. It's like, if you mess with me, I'm going to kill you. But hey, yeah. someone messes with this world, I'll save your asses, though. That's right. <laughs> I mean, I'm the one that's <laughs> yeah. going to kill you. It's me. He's, All right. He's so villain, he'll become a hero just to be a villain. That's amazing. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. All righty. We are um, good to go. So that's it. That's the show. Sorry, it was long. I know it was really fucking long. Sorry, this is uh, worse than a freaking San Diego Comic Con. I didn't think listen, it was. Listen, to, <laughs> listen to why you commute. You got a couple days of commuting. Eh? <laughs> there you go. Well, <laughs> so we'll, we're going to end it there. Appreciate everyone watching and um, sticking with us and going through all this stuff. Um, so I know everyone's like gone. <laughs> but appreciate everyone being in the um, in the chat and all that. So um, let's do some outros. And uh, there we go, Brian. Where can people find you? And what would be your villain name? Uh, <laughs> you don't have to do the villain name. Sorry. Uh, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I can't. I'm tired, man. I can't think. I know. I know. Uh, um, but you can find me uh, in the Facebook groups. And also on Instagram as Brinkalizer. And helping out the ROC guys with ETR on Monday nights on uh, Realm of Collectors YouTube channel. Uh, dude, you help the ROC on all their shows except for Stays at Slot. Are you, are you on that, actually? No, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. Okay. That's cool, though. He, he will be. He's he's like our ROC <laughs> superstar, dude. He's everywhere. That's he not, is the sixth, that's he's not the sixth true. man. He's yeah. the sixth man. He's our, he, is, yeah. he is. He's our guy, man. He's the Iron oh. Man. All right. He's everywhere. I'm tempted just to create a show just to see if he pops on. <laughs> <laughs> just something random. <laughs> this sounds a little interesting. I'm going to be on there. So, oh, all right. Charles, you're up next. Where are you at? Uh, 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 Twitter and Instagram and Optimus for Press. Awesome. Up next, Dust 2.0. Oh, is that me? Yeah, that'll be you. Right. That's you. I see Dust. <laughs> I've got there. so many names. There got another Dust, so I'm here, Dust 2.0. Yeah, um, on most places uh, online, I've been going by either Dustbuster or Dbuster Prime. But I just started a uh, a new uh, YouTube channel under the name uh, Rollout Rick. Wow. So, any any one of those things, uh, nice. they they might be me. <laughs> they might be. Yeah, me. I'm everywhere. One day I'll, I'll pick out some kind of consistent identity. Go. Cool. <laughs> That's awesome. And uh, Russ, Mr. Swindle. Hater of anything silver that surfs. For sure. Like to melt his ass. Anyways, <laughs> make some jewelry out of him. Um, I am, uh, you can find me on, on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and I'm, you know, 
you I haven't put I really gotta get, get going and put a video up. I haven't put any new content on my channel in like weeks. So I gotta get something going. I think I'm gonna do a video tomorrow and post it up. I'll, there you uh, go. You got that yeah. nice new camera. Yeah, I know. I, I, I can't figure out how to use it. It's ridiculous. Oh, you understood that. We're still live, Russ. We're still live. Okay. <laughs> but please go check out my YouTube channel. Yeah, please go check out my YouTube channel, please. Watch me try and like have my wife film me trying to work my camera. Quite entertaining. <laughs> that could that people probably would like to see that. Like two thousand one Space Odyssey is yeah. uh, really cool. See me in a rough spot. <laughs> It's like, Russ, what are you doing with that rock? I'm going to make my camera work. <laughs> I hit it. <laughs> I hit it a couple times. It'll start working. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Trents. Find me Trents5 at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Cool. All right. For me, you can find me on Instagram and YouTube, Victory Saber 77. The Facebook page is the Victory Saber 77. If you wanted to join, the link was there. It's still there. We might be here a little bit afterwards. Maybe, maybe not. It's late. I do appreciate everyone watching. Again, check out the Cool Table Network. Like and subscribe. All the Cool Table Network shows should be in the description below with links to their YouTube accounts, at least. But there you can find them on iTunes and Podbean and all those other social play media formats i'll give them five star ratings all that so we do have etr monday night 8 p.m eastern standard time on the roman collectors youtube channel tuesday is the roc hangout 8 p.m eastern standard time and then we have figure bang usually on wednesdays not this wednesday it'll be the next wednesday and i guess i wonder who they're gonna review i wonder yeah yep. i so, wonder yeah i wonder too um but yep and okay. stasis luck before that Every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at Bricks on the Dollars YouTube channel. And that's it. All right, we're done. Jeez. Bye, everybody. Long episode. <laughs> I think I'm going to do a versus episode <laughs> again. Well, that was, that was